Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Good morning, good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street. How is everybody today? Are we ready for a hot, 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 hot day? Too hot, isn't it? Too hot. <laughs> I'm, we're lucky that we're in a really beautifully cool aircon studio today. It's always really strange. Sometimes it's really hot in here. Sometimes, you know, it's too cold. And today it's just right, just right, especially for today. That one day a year that it's going to be really, really hot, you just want to make sure that you've got a nice fan on you. Although I did hear, if you put a fan, you're actually blowing warm air around your room anyway, so don't, don't do it. Or if you do, put, put a, um, a, like a water bottle filled with ice next to it and it will blow the ice water apparently that's a, a reason to keep cool it, do send in your tips of keeping cool hannah says just lay on the kitchen kitchen floor that's how she keeps cool uh we've got a great show today i haven't actually seen debbie harris for so so long her hours aren't on pre-order yet We'll announce when they are. I know it's going to be very, 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 very busy. The sewing machine pincushion um, is really beautiful. It's on the shelf behind. Look at this. It's so cute. A pincushion. We've got kits to make your own, even the little wooden spools. Everything is all there. Um, it's so lovely. Your sewing machine pincushion and the hexi as well next to it. They're going to be available. And I will give you a big heads up um, of when the kits are there. So you can make your own. We're going to start. Are you ready, Charlie? Early bird special. This is a brilliant early bird, Hannah. Thank you for putting this together because I can't actually ever remember doing a bundle as an early bird before. So this hour is all about stash building. Now, when I think of stash building, you instantly, I know, think of fabrics, but stash building your interfacings as well is as if not even more important because when you're making a project whether it be a bag or whether it be uh storage boxes or whether it be a wall hanging you want to make sure that you've got the right interfacings you can have all this lovely fabric but you've got to make sure you've got your interfacings so in here now you're right hannah i can't actually tell the difference i think we must have got h630 in when we'd ran out of h640 but this is h630 it's still a visor lead it's slightly lighter than your h640 but you can still use it for all of the same projects so it's got this really lovely fleecy side and then the glue side and you get all of that you're then also getting your sew in interlining now this is almost like a decaville sort of weight um i'll unroll it so you can see how much you're getting because this is going to be an amazing a really amazing bundle now you could make bag bases use this for bag bases you could use it for pelmets this is really popular with home decor storage tubs i know that um uh, Stuart Hillard used this with a lot of his bags for life as well. It is a really lovely interlining and it is so in interlining. You can sew through that. So you get one piece of that and then you're also getting your medium weight fail safe hem line iron on interfacing as well. It's a meter by a meter. I'm not going to open and unfold this, but it's a meter by a meter. So our stash bundles all our are fabrics and really lovely fabrics. Some designers in there as well all going under 15. So, even though today, 
I mean, this is three very useful interfacings. It is our early bird special, so we are going under 15 pounds. We've honored it as well today. Oh, good morning, everybody who's waking up with us. Um, now, everybody who's getting in, well done, because you are not paying 14.99. You will pay the final price. Oh, I'm so pleased you could do it. Now, Hannah wasn't sure until, uh, right, this is actually a Hannah special. We were told that we could go under 15 pounds for it at 14.99. Hannah's saying, how about I give you this for free? How about you pay for your H630 and you're sewing into lining, but you also get this for free. How amazing. Are you ready? Because everybody will pay the final price. Why does it say Ethiopian opal nugget chips on the show? Jewelry maker. Right, it is £11.48. You get it for £11.48 for your H630, your interlining, and also. Oh, there we go. There we go. We'll crush it straight down for you. There you go. £11.46. That was really weird, wasn't it? £11.48. I think we had jewelry makers. Sorry, the graphics keep crashing. What are the graphics doing? Oh, my word. I think jewelry maker are, are doing some weird. They, we can think, I wonder if they've got our graphics. How peculiar. Um, right, everybody is paying £11.48. Don't panic. Everybody will get pay this £11.48. Speak to the customer service team. It's on the website. It is on the website. Right, we're going to go through to the other uh, studio and see what's going on with Jewelry Makers graphics because we've obviously had a bit of a Freaky Friday moment. Literally. Freaky Friday. Uh, so your H630 is without a doubt, H630, H640, one of our most popular interfacing. So you've got your fusible fleece. You've got your medium weight interfacing. And you've also got your sew line interfacing. Everybody... <laughs> Everybody is paying £11.48. Oops. Let me show you. If you go onto our website, um, I don't know whether you... Can you do it from there? Yeah, brilliant. Oh, you can't. Um, £11.48. Right, so I'll show you here. Oh, you can show that. Amazing. There you go. So anybody who's watching on the web, £11.48. Add to your basket. Sorry about the gremlins with the graphics. That's really peculiar. I think um, Jewelry Maker have got our graphics, or I don't know whether they've got Harbour Maker. I think there's been... Oh no, what about gems? I wonder what gems are doing. Um, oh, they're on another software, so they should be fine. How funny. Right, you've got your 8630, you've got your interlining, and you're getting your free iron-on medium weight interfacing, all for £11.48. Early bird special. Early bird special today. We'll come back to that if we can get our graphics. Can I remind you... It is sewing machine week. Uh, doing a bit of a roundup today because we've been talking about this all week. It's really exciting to be able to do these deals. Uh, and I think a lot of these offers end today at midnight tonight. So if you do want to make the most of sewing, uh, sewing streets, uh, sewing machine week, easy for me to say, then you can make the most of the Juki, the Janome, Elna, Brother Machines. And I do think a lot of these deals end tonight at midnight. So have you got the code there, Charlie? So there are a few machines, I mean a lot of machines in fact, where we can offer you £50 credit to your Sewing Street account. Those of you that are purchasing the 580 plus, 680 plus, 720 Pro or the 780 plus, um, you will all get £50 credited to your, sewing to your Sewing Street account. All you need to do is use the code Sewing Machine 50. That's Sewing Machine 50. Um, what day does it say on the bottom there that it ends? Today. It ends today. It ends today. So it says it ends at midnight tonight. If you do want to make the most of that, oh my word, absolutely go for it today. That is such a brilliant offer, isn't it? Um, oh, we're live on Facebook. Amazing. Uh, and then the other offer are on the smaller machines. So it's still the Elna Browns, the 550, the 560, the 570. You get this. How good is this? You get your free walking foot. Amazing. Because, I mean, we always talk about how 
you can purchase one of these. They're normally over £50. Today, you could get it for just, well, for free. For free with all of them, which is brilliant. Uh, now, today's show, we've got the menu, I believe. Thank you. Uh, so the today's show looks a little bit like this. We've got stash building bundles. We are going to sort our graphics out at the moment. We're having a little bit of a technical issue. Uh, stash building bundles. Sorry, we're going to have to blow my nose as well. I am really. Um, thank you. Sorry, I've got ever such bad hay fever. I need all your hay fever tips as well. I've never had hay fever before. And it's really bad this year. Um, stash building bundles this first hour. Lots of gorgeous fabrics. Don't forget our early bird special as well. Nine o'clock. So in 45, 50 minutes, we're going to be launching the sewing machine pin cushion, the hexi pin cushion as well. There's the sewing machine. I absolutely love this. I think it's going to really fly out the door. That's the sewing machine. And then we've also got the uh, hexi one in that hour as well. At 10 o'clock, we've got a quilts showcase. Now, some of the most popular quilts we've managed to get back in stock. Um, the Dina design quilt that I had on with Delphine Brooks uh, literally last week was amazing, completely sold out. There is one become available. Uh, that's gonna be on pre-order. Well, it's on pre-order now, in fact, actually, if you want to make the most of it, at 10 o'clock. 11 o'clock, we've got the brand new Camden bag by Debbie Harris as well. It's another brand new patchwork bag. Really cool, bit boho, 60s sort of feel to it. Love, love, love that. Uh, so that's coming up with Debbie Harris. And then we're gonna be doing the roundup of our sewing machine week at 12 o'clock. So if you've got any questions about any of the offers, any of the machines, get them in. We've got Laverne saying good morning. We've got Patricia saying good morning from Blackpool. How's the weather? Jackie said good morning, Vicky. You could move to Scotland to keep cool as it's pouring down here. Oh no! Oh really? Oh no! Well, yeah, I think Scotland might be the only place actually in the country that is um, that is cooler today. Maybe we'll need to head up there. It's supposed to go right down from like 30 degrees to like 15 though overnight. How does that happen? Crazy. Um, make the most of those walking feet. Go on, let's try the graphics. Da 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 da. Yay! Right, there you go. We're crashing the price though, Hannah. Here it goes. £11.48. £11.48. Right, it's staying there at the moment. It's staying as the right graphics. Have we got the technical team in the gallery? Oh, we've got one of the tech ops from Gems there. Did someone say it happened because of my singing? Uh, I love about 48. So not only have you got your eight six thirty, you've also got oh, it was you who said it was my singing. I'm sure it was your singing actually. You've also got your medium weight interfacing, and you've got your sewing interlining as well. All for eleven pounds forty eight. Good morning, Tom. You keep cool today because you've got really you know fair skin, very fair skin. Um, Donna said, good morning, Vixen team from a very sunny North Devon. Oh, lovely, sunny in Blackpool. Have a lovely day today. Stay inside, it's too hot. Stay in with us. Just £11.48. What a brilliant stash building bundle. You're basically not paying for your medium weight interfacing. Well, you're not. You're not. You're getting that for free at that price. £11.48, this should be over £15 great bundle for an early bird special that is amazing thank you ever so much oh. i think it's going to be a fun day today as long as we iron out all the creases today today's obviously the rehearsal ready for john scott's birthday show tomorrow so as long as we iron out all the creases today because can you imagine john tomorrow morning on his birthday if this happens oh he's not going to be happy um Morag, Morag, this is really, um, Morag just said, Morning Vicky, elderflower eye gel from the body shop is good for hay fever. Uh, I'm really bad, take mental as well for it now. It's um, a bright breeze, dumb freeze. Oh, lovely Morag, thank you for the recommendation. I'll have to try that because yeah, I've, I've not had hay fever before. Ha Hannah's 
always she suffered from hay fever for a long time as does debbie harris so yeah we're all going to be sniffling today i'm afraid laurie's just said good morning vicky and team have a great day we're gonna have a lovely day today regardless of graphics we don't need graphics we can have fun we've done menu we've shown website but let's show you how to pre-order oh yeah we won't put we haven't got anything on the pre-order well we have we've got a couple of hours on pre-order but debbie's hours aren't so we'll show you the pre-order in a bit come on over with me so right you're gonna have to work with us at home today because the graphics are appearing online um on our screen it's coming up as as jewelry maker you can see that uh, but all of the graphics on the website are fine so what we're going to do on air is I'll tell you the code and I'll tell you the price that they're going to. I'll show you the product and then I'll show you the website. That's probably going to be the easiest way, Charlie. Are you ready? Everything is going to be under £15. We're going to crash prices to silly prices. I tell you what, you always benefit when gremlins are here because it means that we do some really cheeky, naughty deals and we just say to the management, well, we had technical issues, so we had to crash the prices lower. Where should we start then? Some are already lower, but let's reduce one. Let's start with one that's reduced. Show me the honey. Right, are you ready? Shall we do your beautiful bee fabric? Now, your item code for this is F for Freddy, A for Apple, 6660. F A6660. Uh, it's coming up currently on the web at £18.77. There it is. It's coming up currently at £18.77. Um, right, so you're getting all three of these fabrics. Today, we are, let, we're going to have to try and do charades. We're crashing the price. £14.99. It's on your screen. £14.99. There it is. Oh, morning, Sue. Morning, Mum and crew. Hope Maisie is well and happy. Oh, she's loving, loving, loving being out in the garden. Uh, you look very fresh and cool. Um, I am fresh and cool, Sue. Thank you. I'm very cool. I am fresh. No, I am um, actually had a bit of a... I, I bought a really lovely summery dress to wear on air today. And I put my shorts on to wear just on the way to work. I put my shirt on uh, just to come in. My light shirt that needs an iron. Anyway, I've got here and realised I didn't bring my dress with me. So I am very cool in my linen shirt today and my shorts. We're supposed to be wearing a nice summer dress today. Fourteen ninety nine, and remember, this is for three half meters. Now I love this print. It's got little honeycombs in the background. It's got your black and white print of flowers, beautiful golden tones. You've then also got here your half a meter of black, and you've also got your lovely grey um, sort of black monochrome look with the splash of colour from your honeybees. Fourteen. 99 all three half meters all three half meter fabrics for 14.99 remember your code is fa6660 oh thank you ever so much for shopping on the web there's loads of you there you can still speak to the customer service team <laughs> um, Sorry, we're laughing at these technical difficulties. I think the sun's got to the computers. We should be fine in a moment. We've just got to log in and log out again, and we should be up and running. All three half meter cuts. 14 99 three half meters. Uh, this is one of your biggest bundles, by the way, under 15 pounds. That is a brilliant price. Everything is going under 15 this hour. So you can really stock up on your stash. Uh, we're going to try and fit in as much as we can at this hour. Um, right, I think... I think we got our graphics. Yes, there you go. 14.99 FA6660. You'll show me the honey. Uh, 100 and well, uh, these are 112 wide quilting weight fabrics. Oh, it is a buzzing deal, isn't it? It is a buzzing deal. Oh dear, jewelry maker, have no graphics either. Have you swapped? 
Have you ever watched the film Freaky Friday? It's Freaky Friday. It's basically Freaky Friday today. And it's Friday, isn't it? Yeah. We seem to have swapped graphics, which is very bizarre. Never, ever happened before. We'll see how long it, it works for before we um, get too excited. Shall we do the linen look? Um, oh, this is a brilliant price. So you get, I love these. I actually went yesterday to a really lovely um, village in Derbyshire called Melbourne and they had such gorgeous creative arty shops and there were lots of lovely cushions and things like that with these panels you could make such beautiful homewares you've got the birds oh you've got the lavender oh i love that new panels and then look you've got as well half a meter which is extra wide of your hedgehog imagine making things for your kitchen with that oh i love it little hedgehogs he's so cute so so cute So you're getting those two brand new uh, panels, the new panels, and you're getting half a metre of fabric. Are you ready for the price? I mean, this under 15 is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? How much would you pay in a garden centre for a cushion with this on the front? All of it's 11 97 If you've got the early bird special and you've got this, in fact, what I would also do is add this bundle to your order. You could make your cushion backs, couldn't you? And you could make really beautiful, a tote bag cushion back, um, or use this as your, your, uh, your cushion back. Absolutely, just get the bundle. Oh, Maureen, thank you. Um, so for hay fever, apparently, damp brush your hair. Oh, okay. The pollen that's in your hair. Oh, I see. And hay fever wet wipes are good to, to have to hand. Oh, okay. Brilliant. Oh, I'll get some of those as well. Uh, these are all 80% cotton and 20% polyester. 80% cotton. Uh, well, they are cushion fronts, aren't they? They're ideal. And I love this one. This reminds me of the Brie Marion. It's really beautiful. Do you remember Brie Marion, the um, cross stitch designs that we did? That's what they remind me of. Eleven pounds and uh, eleven pounds and ninety-seven pence. Stash building bundles all under fifteen pounds this hour. How cute is that? Oh, are you feeling awake now, Hannah? Yeah. Eleven pounds ninety-seven. Uh, at the moment, I think we're back anyway. I think we're back up and running. We're cooking on gas. Oh, that's funny. Right, sorry, one second. I just need to, um, to blow my nose, please, Charlie. Thank you. And please, my direct, I actually got my mug from this because Becky was just like, oh gosh. <laughs> oh, you have got hay fever, haven't you? I've never had hay fever. I know John t suffers te terribly with hay fever, doesn't he? Do you get it every year then, Hannah? But this, this is particularly bad. Oh, Hannah's just got all allergies, full stop. Kieran does, he has it all year round. Um, is this a blue tit? Oh, it's so pretty, isn't it? Single figures, two panels, your lavender bundle, your blue tip bundle, and half a metre of your adorable hedgehog fabric as well. All for £11.97. There's less than 10 of those left now. Okay, that one is about to sell out. If you've got it in your basket, there's more of you have got it in your basket than we have availability. Um, yeah, let's do the ivory bundle. Two metres of ivory. Now, it's called a backing bundle. It is your regular width fabric. Um, so you could use it for anything. It isn't... Uh, I don't be put off by the word backing because it is your Rose and Hubble gorgeous quality quilting weight fabric. Uh, right, we've maxed out as many as we can. You're getting two metres, 114 wide. And just so you can see... How much you're getting here? Loads. Whether you want to use it for the back of your quilt, or whether you just want it for your stash, so you've always got ivory in there. 
this is perfect 100% cotton for your linings of your bags for your cushion backs uh, for your backgrounds of your appliques just for a contrast of uh, you know with any of your fabrics or with your piecing this is perfect isn't it to go with it's just always useful always useful for your stash just £14.99 and you get can you even see it you get all of this or even just to make uh, I'm not, Wow, there's loads. That is a real stash builder, isn't it? Oh, my tissue's falling out of my sleeve. <laughs> I need a hanky. I always have a tissue up my sleeve now, and Hannah's saying that's such a mum thing to do. Maisie is starting to already yeah, be like, oh, mum, get off when I go out with a little, <laughs> little tissue. Especially when it's my um, sniffly tissue. <laughs> and she's like, oh, get off. That's your hay fever tissue. $14.99 for 100% cotton. We've maxed out as many as we could. We've got black as well. We've got um, your, oh, we've got jade two meter bundle. $14.99, but this is of course, always very, very useful. Just $14.99. Um, let's do black, speaking of useful amazing contrast with your tulip pink i love when you've got a dark background and a real pop of color <gasps> did you see yesterday delphine's buddha quilt that she's made for john's birthday oh my word it's amazing i mean that i can just imagine like a buddha on a black dark background if you got this bundle today she's done it on like a navy blue but if you want to do it on a black oh my gosh it would look amazing um i actually got a look at that the other day on the shelf i've got the hair that would look lovely with a border. Um, if you did that as a centre of a quilt, you could do a really big border around it, couldn't you? It'd look amazing. Just think about your colours. Just think about the contrast with a black background. It works really well. But equally, again, linings for bags. I like having a dark lining. I tend to spill everything in there. So this is perfect for that. What's that, Hannah? Yeah. She wants me to open it out. I have been doing Delphi's sweet cautious. Can you tell? <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm aching still from that by the way. She, I, I'm not going to lie, she is the best spin class teacher I've ever been to. She was brilliant, but she was brutal, brutal. She kept telling me off, she kept calling me out in front of everybody. She was like, you're not pedaling fast enough. I was like, oh no, I am, I'm trying. Oh gosh, but it was, it was good fun, it was good fun. 14.99 and look, you're getting whole two meters, 112 wide or 44 inches wide and two meters cut off the bolt for you. So if you are multi-buying on it, remember it's already cut into two meter cuts for you. So that's four units that you're gonna get for 14.99. How lovely would this be to embroider onto as well? <gasps> this would be so beautiful. I, I do love having a dark background when you're using bright, vibrant colors. Uh, I always think of like Alice in Glass and even just, you know, Oh, solids, even just using solid fabrics with it, not necessarily all of your, your different uh, pattern fabric like Tula or Cafe, but it does look great with black. Okay, so that's two meters. Then we've got Hannah's pick. So we always struggle to get jade in stock. I don't know why it is, but it seems to always disappear. Whenever we get it in, it then always disappears. We have managed to make 15 bundles. That's it, 15 bundles. So, if you do want that lovely, gorgeous jade, Hannah say I'm calling it, it's my favorite color of all of the solids. Do you know, I think I agree with you. I love this color. Oh, I remember Odile collection, uh, the French artist. Oh gosh, yes, it would go perfectly with that. But I'm also thinking, look, some of these liberties, such a gorgeous colour. And for less than £15, you're getting two whole metres with your pinks, with your oranges. Uh, we've maxed out on this. We never, I've never, I've never ever done a two metre jade bundle before. And it is a beautiful colour. This along with silver mink I'd put together. Oh, I think that'd look nice. $14.99. Hello, Carol, good morning. Where are you in the country? You ready for the sun? <gasps> You ready? My mum's got Maisie this morning and she's, um, she says I'm keeping inside, keeping inside today. Too hot. Stay in the cool with us. 14 
I did say to Kieran, do not open the curtains or the blinds. Do not open the curtains or the blinds today. We've got to try and keep it cool. The extent that we have to go to for the one day of 30 degrees. Don't. They've been ever so mean in the gallery. My mum's my got a really poorly eye and they're laughing about it. Well, I say she's got a poorly eye. She's, uh, I don't know whether she's got some sort of infection in it, but um, she needs to get some antibiotics anyway. And I sent a message, but I don't even know why, why it's funny. It's just Hannah. Hannah laughs at awkward things. 14.99 for two whole meters. Oh. Oh yeah, that makes sense. So um, the lash people lash, who have their lashes extended, like the lash extensions, they've had to close today because it doesn't set at the temperature. Kieran, he does flooring, so he's doing screeds today, which is like uh, pouring concrete things on the floor. He says you can't do it over 22 degrees. So I said, oh, does that mean you've got your? Uh, your is, does that mean he's got the afternoon off? No, no, he's got he's find more things to do. I think. <laughs> Right, that jade has sold out. Oh, so during lockdown, we really struggled to get any grey fabrics. Um, that was, it was crazy, wasn't it? We couldn't get anything. We really, really struggled to get grey fabric. Oh, really? Oh, do, were you at DFS? <laughs> Ain't events. I thought you said in DFS. I thought Charlie just said, when I worked in DFS in lockdown, we had a real shortage of black carpets. But he said, no, in events, they really struggled. We, we couldn't get grey fabrics. I think there were shortages of lots of things. But it's, it's strange, isn't it, how we could get lots of different fabrics, but it was grey. Couldn't get it. Couldn't get it. I'm just going to hide behind here. 14 99 two metres. Ignore the word backing fabric. <laughs> it could be used for everything. It's uh, your regular width fabric. And grey is always very, very useful, always popular. Um, you could use this with a really nice pink. Oh, look, with your Liberty, we've got a fat quarter. Or are these fat eighths? They'd look lovely with this, wouldn't they? So, you know when you said about you were working for the events company during lockdown, but surely there weren't very many events on. What sort of events did you have to do, Charlie? Conferences on Zoom and things, awards and Zoom. Ah. Oh, right, OK. Lots of charity events, things like that. Oh, fabulous. Fourteen ninety nine. What was the weirdest event that you did on Zoom? Oh, gosh. I did an ABBA show to uh, Russia, to uh, somewhere, I can't remember where it was, but it was, um, it was a long, long, a long, long way away. I think it was somewhere in, in Russia, um, right at the start of lockdown. And we had to do, we had to do an ABBA show on Zoom. And it was really bizarre for a corporate company. And they were all sat there in suits and we were doing ABBA. It was really bizarre. That was the weirdest show I did. Right, shall we do? Oh no, yeah, let me move on from that story. Um, shall we do the solids? I've also got a metre bunny. What's this? Is this a metre and a half? We've got to come to that because that's crazy. I've got a metre of white and I've got a metre of pink and these look lovely together actually, look at those. I think when I had some new Creative Grid rulers I was given this uh, beautiful pink to work with and it is so lovely, it's like a rose pink. We've got white metre bundles, so that's two units and it will be cut off the bolt for you. Um, so this, just so you can see, it's again one metre piece, oh this is going to be on and gone. It's 7.49 and that's what you're going to get. See, that's the price normally that you pay when you're talking about pattern fabric. Surely for one half metre unit, you're getting two uh, units for just 7 49 100% cotton. Uh, maybe you're getting a new machine today. Maybe you're trying out all these stitches and making your own stitch charts. These would be brilliant. Don't forget, 
It is so machine week and lots of the offers actually end at midnight tonight. Uh, the sewing machine, of course, week ends Sunday, the 19th of June, but the ones that we are crediting your account £50 ends tonight. So if you do want the 580 uh, plus, the 680 plus, the 720 Pro or the 780 Pro, then you can get £50 credited to your account today using the code Sewing Machine 50 If you do have any questions about them, it is a bit of a roundup show later on at 12 o'clock. Get all of your questions in about the machines, about the offers, and of course we can answer them for you throughout the show. Um, we're live and interactive, so come and say hello. Remember, I'm on Facebook Live. Uh, we've got a live chat via our website as well. So if you do want to come and say hello, yeah, please do. Let us know what you're up to today. We're sitting in a studio with no windows, so with full air conditioning. So we're going to stay really lovely and cool, which is great. Okay, so that's white, one metre, 749. We also have the blush. Um, all of these bundles, by the way, are absolutely flying out. We guaranteed our bundles under £15. This is again. Oh! That's even lower. I don't know why. I don't know why. Obviously, this should be seven forty nine. It should be the same price as the white. It's the same amount. Look, I'll open this out as well. Um, this is, yeah, it should be seven forty nine. I have no idea. So, is that not you, Hannah? Somebody else created this bundle. Uh, they set the price to six ninety nine. So the system's set to it. There you go. Uh, Hannah said, I'm taking advantage to somebody of someone else's mistake for you. For you at home. Everybody make the most of that because that is a 749 bundle. You're getting 50p off. Oh, it's cloudy in the northeast. I yeah, I was going to say, you're probably gonna be quite grateful that it's cloudy, because it's probably still gonna be hot. But uh yeah, maybe it's best that it's a bit clouded. Just six pounds ninety nine. We can't handle it in this country, can we? We're not we're not we're not ready for it. It is only one day though, and then we go back to to normality. I do love the warmth. I do love it makes you feel better, doesn't it? Having but just, you know, a, a nice twenty-four degrees, consistent weather, not this crazy thirty degree heat. Okay, so your blush pink, oh that is so pretty as well. Again, I'd put this with your liberties. There's so many that go with these liberties. Can we do these soon? Because I love all these colours. In fact, go on. I've been showing them all hour. They are Liberty. They are Liberty. And they are one of the most iconic prints of Liberty as well. Look at all your blues. You've got four of your beautiful different shades of blue. I mean, that's a project in itself, isn't it? Plus, then you've got these really lovely shades of pink. Two different shades of pink. You've got your bright yellow and your lovely green as well. Wiltshire Shadow is absolutely iconic these are all fat eighths so those of you that have not seen a fat eighth before this is what it looks like so it's half of a fat quarter basically half of a fat quarter 14 out of really useful size to work with um, in fact for Debbie's projects we've cut some fat eighths today uh, especially for smaller piecing or for a plique for FPP these are going to be really lovely I know Sally Ann Harrison's done a lot of um, Liberty sort of patterns with smaller cuts this is going to be perfect for that I wonder what project this was cut for because this would have been cut for a certain project. We don't cut fat eights very often, you see. Fourteen ninety nine for all eight fat eights. Uh, I, I don't think if you go into Liberty, you can ask for cuts like this. So if you like a, a certain fabric, I think you have to purchase at least a metre or so, or maybe even more than that. I know that they don't do half metres, I know they don't do fat quarters, and I certainly know they don't do fat eight. So to be able to get a huge selection without having to purchase, you know, a whole kit, it's brilliant under £15. It is the only Liberty fabric of the hour, under 15 And look at that gorgeous colour as well. Really beautiful colour. Uh, we had tried to get as many as we possibly could of these as I knew they'd be popular. They've gone with virtually everything. They went with the black, with the white, they went with the jade, they went with the rose pink, they went with the elephant grey, they go with your white. Um, obviously you can pick out any of these colours and it's going to be brilliant. Fourteen ninety nine. 
Have we got the sewing machine on pre-order yet? We're going to do an announcement soon. It's not there yet. £14.99. pence. Hope everybody's having a lovely Friday. Let us know what you're up to this weekend. Hopefully you're going to be spending it with John Scott for his birthday. Big show, big show. Has everybody sent his, him a birthday message? Is it his official birthday tomorrow? Sunday, I think, is his actual birthday, I think. Watch tomorrow, because that is that is his birthday show tomorrow. Oh, in fact, actually, is he doing a whole event? Is he doing a birthday weekend? Two days. Oh, here we go. Thank you, Jan Hill. Jan Hill said it was cut for Delphi Brooks um, for the mixed media artist B quilt, I think. Amazing. Jules, my youth. Is this your quilt? The purple one? She's just put, morning ladies, have a great show, my quilt looking good. It looks amazing. I love that. Um, there it is. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? I love those colours, Jules. How are you? How are you? I'm off to London tomorrow, Jules. Coming to see you. I'm going to watch Harry Styles at Wembley. I'm hoping it's not going to be... It is going to be slightly cooler tomorrow, which is good. It's still nice, though, in London, apparently. Uh, OK, loads of those have gone into baskets. That is the only Liberty fabric that we've got at 14 99 OK. I've got some solids. Look at how bright this is. Orange. So, this was a complimentary collection for... A project and I think ignore the graphics because it says complimentary right Jan Hill do you know because you seem to, to help me out with this do you know what this was cut for because this was a complimentary bundle against uh, a fabric collection I believe yeah let me know what fabric bundle it was to go with because it's lovely isn't it really lovely colors um, do you know the breakdown of the colors Hannah Uh, you've got candy blue, you've got lime, orange, and pomegranate. All about that summer feeling. This is like cocktails on the beach. Club Tropicano drinks are free. Uh, Claire said Elton John came here to Norwich and the music could be heard all over most of the city. <gasps> Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? Imagine if you're just sitting in your garden and you're listening to Rocket Man and it's actually Elton John singing it in your city. That is so cool. A bit different, but we had Pub in the Park in Warwick um, last week. <laughs> different vibe. And we could hear, I'm sure it was Chesney Hawks, really loud. Not quite the same, but I love I Am The One And Only. And I could hear it from the garden. Kira's like, oh, I can hear the music. Come and listen. I'm like, I'm sure that's Chesney Hawks. <laughs> What's that? No, it wasn't the neighbours two door down trying to trick me. It was Chesney Hawks playing in Warwick Park. £14.99. My favourite thing, though, when I, did, I went to pub in the park in Wimbledon, Jules, I told you about it. Do you know who served me um, little mini fish and chips? Ian Beale from EastEnders. How random is that? Nobody else recognised him. I did. I asked for a selfie. I did. Oh, your blues bundle, Hannah, is gorgeous. I really like this. If you want a day by the seaside, look, here it is. This is going to go really nicely with the new uh, nautical fabrics that we launched on World Ocean Day. $14.99. Rachel says, morning, Vicky. Vicky? Vicky? <laughs> Who's Vicky? Do you want a Vicky? Uh, morning, Vicky. Buying my fabric stash. I've had lots of brides lately marrying at their local hotel. You play at, at Swindon Pear Tree. So Poppy, who works on Lifestyle, who you've met here, um, she's getting married next year and her partner lives in Swindon. So I've recommended the Pear Tree to her. So she might be getting married there too. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, Jan says, sorry, I don't remember. Don't remember. £14.99. Half a metre of your white fabric 
and then three different shades of your beautiful blue really beautiful blue two meters half a meter each um, that's a great stash hang on we've gone up to four fabrics now when you start looking at four fabrics in a bundle under 15 that is really good <laughs> are you are you being that neighbor that's trying to uh how to just keep saying oh do you want to open them all out it is impressive to see how much you get in all fairness to you so you've got your blue do you know what the colours are called, just in case we like an, a colour and we want more of it on the web? Cadet Blue. I think this one's called Cyan. Oh no, this one's Powder Blue. The other one's Cyan Blue. And then you've obviously got white as well in here. These are lovely. I do really like your blue fabrics. I think blues are always going to be some of the most popular, aren't they? The Powder Blue on the web looks quite grey, but it is a really lovely light blue. Look at these. And then you also get half a metre of white as well. That is a lot of fabric for £14.99, isn't it? Two metres, plus you're getting your white as well. Half a metre of your cadet blue. Half a metre of your cyan, half a metre of powder blue and half a metre of white. Oh yeah, that's it, exactly. If Bobby's fiancé needs any assistance. So, do you mean with um, his, his outfit or for hers, Rachel? Sorry, I'm just going to sneeze, I think, Charlie. Thank you. Um, £14.99, two whole metres of fabric. Remember, that is a lot for your money. And it is really lovely Rosen Hubble quality. Those of you that have bought our solids before, um, it isn't like your craft weight cotton. It's quilter's weight. It's really lovely uh, for, for lots of your project, whether it be quilting, whether it be bag making, whether it be home furnishing, uh, toy making. Lots you can do with our quilter weight fabrics. The blues, very, very popular. Lots of people have got those in your basket. Remember, you can keep checking out as much as you want. Um, if you're now building up a lot of your fabric stash this morning with these deals, you don't need to wait till the end of the hour to check out. You can check out as many times as you want and it's still all covered with one postage and packaging, unlike other craft channels where you have to keep checking out at every one. Um, thank you. No, you're not. No, you're not. Hannah is now on her lunch. She's eating Thai curry. It's not even nine o'clock. That is hilarious. Um, the other day, <laughs> the other day, Bruce said that he bought some cutlery in for us because he um, got a bit upset that he saw Hannah eating her cottage pie with her hands. <laughs> so we bought cutlery. That is the funniest story I've ever heard. I love it. But she's she's got she's now got a cutlery. She's having a Thai curry. I'll keep that blue fabric around if that's okay. I'm gonna keep that around. Let's do the fish. Now these are all new for World Ocean Day. You've got your lovely fish. It's a stuff fabric. It's beautiful. Either I make beautiful ties, hankies, sets for men to bridesmaid sashes to match as well as alterations what an honor it would be okay i will send your details i will send your details rachel i love it i would read i think in a past life i must have been a wedding planner or organizer because i just love it yeah i would really i'd love to do events i'd love to do events planning £11.98 I'd also really like to be a weather girl but I've decided that I have to either go I had to look you have to go to Edinburgh University or to I think Durham I think there's a couple of ones that do me is it meteorology what's the yeah you have to actually do that to be a weather girl 
And I, I have to be quite good at ge geography as well, which I'm really bad at. This is so cute. I'm thinking like a little drawstring bag. If you've got a nice rope handle, a nice big rope handle, beach bag. Wonder how many people are going to be at the beaches today. It was very busy on the road yesterday. I don't know whether everybody's going off on their holidays for a long weekend. Right, single figures on this one left. We've got the anchors as well. Same collection. Uh, this is anchors. Oh, and you've put a lovely bright red with that, Hannah. Very nautical. We are going to be putting the sewing machine pincushion on pre-order very, very soon. Can I show you? Because it isn't, um, it isn't one that you're going to purchase like this. You're going to make it. It's one you can make. How cool is that? It's not on pre-order just yet, but we will let you know when it is. Oh, I love it. And look, you even get the button included and you get the little spool as well. It's so cute. And you get the tape measure for around the edge, the ribbon. I love it. Absolutely love it. That is going to fly out. It's going on pre-order very, very soon. That's your nautical anchor theme. And do you know what I like? The background of this, how it looks like the sea with all the deeper patches of the sea. And then you've got your coordinating red that matches in perfectly with the red anchors as well. Oh, do you know what? It's 10.78. What's a few pence bef between friends, eh? Should we squeeze it under 10 pounds? And it means that you get to save that 78 pence that Hannah says you can go and spend on uh, some sweets. Do you remember when you used to go and have like 20p and you used to pick out 20 penny sweets and there'd be a queue behind you and be like, oh no, I want one of those, two of those, penny sweets. Are they completely gone now? You can never go to any post office and go into the counter and get all your penny sweets. Oh, back in my day, back in my day. <laughs> £9.99 for your one metre bundle. I tell you what, I've been watching Love Island and that's enough to make you feel old. Hmm? No, because you're young. You're the same age as the Becky. £9.99. It is good, though. John Scott got me into it. <laughs> I think they should do an adult's edition. I'd love to see John on Love Island. <laughs> How good would it be? I think they should do a 35 to 50 so that John could be on it, obviously. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Oh, we've got another nautical bundle here with the, uh, the boats, the sailing boats. Uh, this one comes with your spotty fabric as well, your polka dots. Oh, get all three bundles, trust me, at these sort of prices. Now, this had been on pre-order and it was already selling. £11.48. What sort of um, curry is it? Thai red curry, she made it herself. Is there any roulade left from yesterday's show, by the way? There was roulade in the building yesterday. You weren't all here, were you? It's a passion fruit roulade that was made. I love passion fruit and meringue roulade. Um, let me open this one out. You've got, again, the hint of red. So if you do want to multiply your bundles, it's from the same collection. So it's all going to tie in together. You've got the sea in the background. You've got your multi-directional boats. Eight chances on this left. This is your true blue sea. And we've put it with a navy blue spot. Half a metre of each. Once you've got your hexy pincushion pattern, you could absolutely make this because you could fussy cut these boats into the centre of your hexes, couldn't you? That'd be really nice. I've got this lovely bundle together. Oh, is it this one? With a Henry glass. Uh, you show me. Oh, that one. Yeah. Now, this is a new Henry Glass collection. Oh, Charlie loves this. Don't let that put you off. He's got good taste. <laughs> but this is Charlie's favourite. You've got that lovely rose, beautiful grey stamp, and then you've also got the pop of yellow. And we've put it with a grey in it, a really light lemon as well. 
14 pounds 57 we've squeezed it under 15 pounds morning everybody will be watching while getting ready for my dad ascot or oh, my local sports club from trisha at workshare i love days like that so are you still getting all dressed up are you gonna wear a hat because i've been invited to a couple of these ascot days where they do them at different clubs and i thought but yeah, do you take a roulade with you? A trifle? Do you wear a hat? Are you going to drink pims? Oh, Trisha, what a perfect day for it. Is it Ladies' Day at Ascot today? Too hot to go to Ascot because I've been before and you can't get a seat. You can't get a seat, so you aren't going to be able to get shade today. I'm really concerned. I'm really concerned about them all in the bandstand, you know, when they're stood in the... Uh... I actually saw a picture last year and it literally looked like... Uh, like a deep fat fryer. <laughs> it just looked like everybody was literally being grilled or deep fat fried. <laughs> too hot, too hot. You have to find it was like a meme and it was like, oh my word, everybody is literally like cheese on toast there. <laughs> £14.57 pence for three half metre cuts. So at least you've got a bit of shade in your sports club, Tricia. Oh, yeah, if you're wearing a big hat with a big brim, then that's fine, isn't it? £14.57. Um, this is a new Henry Glass collection, then. Oh, what's the name of it? Misty Morning. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, it is gorgeous. That is the first time I've seen this collection. Um, you're getting half a metre of it as well, so um, you get a really lovely size, really nice amount. We haven't mixed it with any solids yet. The only uh, way we've seen it is in the, the, you know, the fabric collection. So we've made our own bundle. If you did get it the other day, this is lemon and silver that we've put it with. So if you like the bundle, but you're thinking, I've already got that fabric, get yourself some lemon and silver off the website. All of our solids are always available. Uh, hi, Trisha. She says, yes, I have a lovely frock and I have a hat. We have a meal and the race is on the big screen. That's brilliant, isn't it? What a great idea. Because one, going to Ascot, well, it's quite far from us in Warwickshire, isn't it? And two, it's, um, it's very expensive and you just end up, you know, not finding a seat, spending a lot of money. I think the jug of pims was about 30 pounds or something it was really expensive but whereabouts in Warwickshire are you where's your where's your race day happening let us know Trisha thanks for your message I love how interactive our show is this morning come say hello to us let us know how you're spending your very hot Friday morning uh 14 pounds 57 pence brand new Henry Glass hot off the press shall we do it in a moment, we are about to load the sewing machine bundle. You can make your own sewing machine pincushion. Um, it even includes the little spool, the button on the side there. Uh, you've also got your um, tape measure. You've got this beautiful fabric. In fact, there's loads of really lovely fabric bundles and collections. This is going to be really exciting, so definitely stay tuned for this. We're going to put it onto pre-order in just a moment. What's uh, Pauline saying? Oh, you're watching! <laughs> Pauline, Pauline made the passion fruit roulade. Can you tell I've been thinking about it a lot, Pauline? She says, sorry you missed the roulade, Vic. She says, I'll make another one soon. Please, can we, like, sort of have a bit of... Uh communication next time, Pauline, of when I'm in. <laughs> I saw it on Facebook, I thought, oh my word, that is literally my dream dessert. Gutted. This is also from the Misty Morning collection. I tell you what, it's a very diverse collection, isn't it? If you've got the florals and you've also got this uh, very modern circle print, I love that. Half a metre of each. No, oh, uh, it was obviously very, very tasty if all of the hobby maker team wolfed it down. Yesterday, I was on a spa day and Kat was in and Liam was in and Andy Love was in on uh, as a hobby maker. And I was messaging them and I said, look, You've got Pauline's roulade. Yes, I'm sitting at a spa, but you've got Pauline's passion fruit roulade. Count your blessings. <laughs> Just £14, 57 pence. Again, under £15 for all three fabrics. Half a metre of each. And that one is really lovely because it almost looks like um, it's got a bit of texture to it. That'd be really cool as binding, actually, wouldn't it? Oh, is it Nuneaton? Oh, gosh, you are close. I used to live in Tamworth. Yeah. Oh, that's where I grew up. Is that near you, Charlie? No. Charlie was like, oh, really, did you? And then he, I said, were you there? No. No. Oh, 
okay. He used to play basketball there. Uh, £14.57, another Henry Glass, beautiful collection. We've also got a Moda, which we haven't done yet. We are going to squeeze this in, don't worry, Debbie will still get a full hour, but because of the technical difficulties at the start of the show, um, we are going to make sure you get all of these bundles under 15, don't worry. Which one next, Hannah? Right, just to give everybody a bit of a heads up, if you want the sewing machine pin cushion kit, go for it we are loading it onto pre-order now you get everything that you need you get your fabrics you even get a lovely little bag that's got the the, the button and the little spool so cute isn't it i absolutely love it i mean imagine this next to your sewing machine perfect size as well to be able to fit all of your pins uh because this is padded you could put like your little applique pins there keep all of you your dress make pins you could coordinate it couldn't you because it's a big pin cushion so if you do jump to the website, it is now live on the website. Click watch live and scroll down. Two columns. On the right-hand side, you'll see pre-order. Here are all the bundles we're still yet to do. And then there are the quilts. Oh, the Tula Pink sold out. Loads of quilts. Sewing machine deals. It's because uh, we've only just loaded them. They're at the bottom. There they are, though. $13.99. That's really good. Really good for the kit. Oh, Debbie's also going to be showing you the uh, Hexi pin cushion as well. There are kits for that. We're just waiting for them to be uh, to, to, for them to arrive. So the instructions are there, but we have got some kits as well. We'll show you them as we get them in. Uh, but how gorgeous is this? I know our cat very excited about that as well. She messaged me last night. Um, shall we do birds and butterflies? Um, you tell me which one. Is it this one? Birds and butterflies, I think, is the solid colours. This one is complimentary from a panel, I believe, that we did. Oh, this is a really... I love those two together. These are, these are four colours that I would never think to put together and they work so, so well, don't they? Go with that, actually, don't they? There's a lot of fabrics that these are going to go with. Ooh, try them out. So you're getting all four. We're not even at 14 99 and that's four fabrics this time. OK, that is another silly low price, £12.99. Just add those to your order because they um, shouldn't really be going back to air. That was a complimentary bundle for a Birds and Butterflies fabric panel that we had. You've got a second chance at £12.99 on that. That is a really good price. What does that make our price per half metre? Right, hang on. It should absolutely be fourteen ninety nine. That's really low. All the others were fourteen ninety nine that had four fabrics. Uh, Hannah is making the most of somebody else's mistake again. She's saying, "I'm not claiming this is my own. I haven't done this. If there was any management watching, this was already set at that price. We're at three pound twenty four a half meter, and that's for Rose and Hubble beautiful quality solids as well." $12.99. Okay, there are a couple more bundles. Sorry, I know that we're running into Debbie's show, but don't worry, we'll make sure that she gets the full hour. We'll just run over onto my quilt show. I think it's going to be like one of those days today because we started the day with some gremlins. Uh, but we're all up and running. Thank you to our technical team who was speedy, speedy. Hannah was the technical team. She logged out, logged back in, and it worked. Technology, eh? Technology. Just £12.99. I've got those earphones, those headphones or earbuds, whatever they're called, that don't have the wire, they're just wireless. But they keep running out of battery and it's really annoying me. I'm like, I just want to go back to the days where you have a lead that plugs in and it's fine. And you don't have to charge them up. I mean, they're great and they were really good when I was in lockdown and do lots of walking. But now I'm just sitting. I, I just want to... I haven't got a, a normal pair of headphones anymore. So, yeah, it's really annoying technology, isn't it? It's great when it's great, but then when it goes wrong, it goes very wrong. When they swap graphics with Jewelry Maker... <laughs> It is Freaky Friday today. Right, £12.99 for your birds and butterflies complimentary fabric. That's two metres at £12.99. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. Very low price. OK, next bundle, Hannah. 
Can we do the other full bundle then, the green? This is a really lovely green. It's the same green that's in that other bundle. In fact, this will go really nicely as well. Right, just because of what we did in the last one, we might as well honour it with this as well. So this time you're getting your blue and your green. I would mix and match, certainly, because look how well the pink goes as well. Um, and the gray, all of those are lovely. You've got completely different choices here, but still we've matched the price. Now that is Hannah's fault. Hannah did take it that low. She can't blame anybody else. This is from the Enchanted Wood panel. Uh, complimentary panel from the uh, sorry complimentary fabric bundles from the enchanted wood so these aren't you know the the uh, enchanted wood collection these were the complementing fabric so you can use them for whatever you want we've just stolen it and taken it lower should have been 14.99 today 12.99 is he an in today is he here yet? Have you seen him walk in, Debbie? No. £12.99. We're just trying to get those other hexy kits on for you before we start the hour. Um, all of those are available on the website. Grab what you can. Uh, a couple other bu bundles just to bring you very quickly. Yeah, that's fine. I've got a Moda bundle. I've still got my one and a half meters, which is a silly price. If you've got that on pre-order already, well done. Don't forget, you can get your sewing machine pincushion already on pre-order. Uh, we've just loaded it in. The kits are there. Everything that you need to make Debbie Harris's brand new sewing machine pincushion, which I believe has virtually already sold out. We've got to kind of stop talking about it. Need to speak to Ian about getting some more of those. Uh, right, Moda bundle. Sorry to shout, Moda Bundle. Got very excited then about the Moda Bundle. New Moda Fabric. How can you not get excited? Brand new Moda Fabric. Uh, and it's from the Starlight Gatherings collection as well. This is your Starlight Gathering collection. Uh, Starlight Gatherings tile, star traditional bundle, fabric bundle. There is a lot of words in the graphic. Bundle, fabric, bundle. Was that you, Hannah? <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, that's guilty. Moda Star, like Gatherings Tell, Star Traditional Bundle, Fabric Bundle. I think that's when you'd taken your drowsy, uh, your drowsy hay fever tablets, not your non drowsy ones. Fourteen ninety nine. They are lovely, though. These are great for fussy cutting, aren't they? Or for centering with your. Maybe with your uh, EPP, if you're getting the hexy pattern, once you've got your kits and you've, you've made it once with the, pa with the uh, fabrics, make it again and again. Centre these really lovely stars, these lovely tiles on your EPP. £14.99, traditional Moda fabric bundle. We've put it with that lovely claret and also your blue. Squeezed it under fifteen pounds. It's worth going back through the website and seeing what is available because we've done everything all under fifteen this hour. I love this bundle. Okay, they're on the website because we're running so far over. We'll leave those with you. Can't leave you without doing this one, though, because you told me that this is really silly. Price on this is amazing. It's a metre and a half of your natural seeded cotton. Uh, it's six ninety nine. Oh, just buy it. Add that to your order. If you've bought anything else today, just add that to your order. Uh, it says it's a backing bundle. It is. Let's have a look at the width of it. I'm going to open this out very quickly. But that is a lot for your money at six ninety nine, isn't it? Look at how much fabric you're getting for linings, for bags. I always love it for home furnishings as well. I think it looks great. If you're making yourself, um, oh, look at that. That is a lot of fabric. Your regular width, $6.99. So much that you're going to be able to do with that. If I were you, I'd be multi-buying. Uh, just be aware, though, if you are multi-buying, it already comes cut, as you see here, in a one and a half metre bundle. Lowest price of the show. We guaranteed everything under 15. That's one of the biggest bundles of the show. And yet we are still lowest price by a mile. OK, we're going to go to a break. We're going to try some more stock. We're going to have a, have a bit of a chat with Debbie. So definitely have a look on the website. Grab what you can. Uh, and then we will regroup after the break. Don't go anywhere. Debbie's joining me right after this.
you are invited to a very special event, my birthday. I've decided to have an extended party across the entire weekend and I've arranged for so many exciting things for you to enjoy. I've got fabulous special offers and a free exclusive tote bag designed by me for anyone who shops on Sewing Street over the weekend. Join me for all the fun on Saturday the 18th and Sunday the 19th of June from 8am to 1pm. See you there. Imagine seeing a quilt block that you had made on display at this year's Festival of Quilts. We have the most exciting competition. 12 winners will not only have their block made into a winner's quilt that will be displayed at the Festival of Quilts, but they will also get £100 credit added to their Sewing Street account. If you're interested in taking part in our Designer Quilt Block 2022, please go to sewingstreet.com for more information. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. 
Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Right, are we ready to regroup? Uh, sorry about the slightly longer break. The reason being is because we've just had to discuss with Debbie to see what we can do as pre-orders have only been live for about 10 minutes and they've gone absolutely wild. So much so that all of the sewing machine bundles have now sold out. Um, how about sewing machine pattern on its own? Literally a few of the patterns on its own. Um, we will also do the demo and then we're gonna come back and try and, uh, and, and, try and get more. It will only be instructions on their own, obviously, because the uh, the kits have been cut with with, uh, with with fat quarters and fat eighths and things. So we do want to make sure that, in terms of time, you don't have to wait anymore. So if you do want your instructions on their own, then nine ninety nine. We'll do the demo, and then I'm presuming these are about to sell out. We'll try and get some more, and then we'll talk about hexes after. So, well done to everybody who's managed to get them. Don't panic that it's quarter past nine. Debbie will have the whole hour. We're going to run over. She's just said to me, I'll just stay with you all day. It's fine. So, yeah, don't worry. You'll have plenty of time to, to watch the demo. And, and because you're not going to hear me talking about everything, we're going to get straight into demo anyway. So they're just £9.99. And you get all of your templates, anything that you need in there. They're really lovely and glossy as well. So you'll be making loads of these, won't you, for friends and family? These are absolutely perfect. Uh, they are sold out. We're getting more. We did discuss with Debbie. She's happy to uh, to get more of these for us, which is brilliant. Um, so, if you if you got the uh, sewing machine instructions on their own, and you want the fabrics, because we're not going to be able to put together more kits, we've got look a massive mega bundle. We've only got them in a mega bundle. We haven't got them individually. But what an amazing fabric bundle! So you have got buttons, you've got um, your safety pins here, you've got your scissors. These are gorgeous, £67.41. Safety pins, scissors, flowers and buttons, all your threads. I mean, this is a huge sewing mega bundle. Brand new collection to us for £7.49 a half metre, so all of those fabrics. Debbie, huge congratulations on a massive sellout already. Thank you, thank how, you everyone for buying. How are you? I'm good, thank you, I've seen for ages. It has, it has been ages. ages Did you have a good night ages. in the camper van? Oh, I had a great night. Was it hot all right? It was a bit hot, Yeah, a bit hot, but I was under the shade, under nice. the trees. Oh, oh it's lovely. lovely. Well, it's really yeah. nice to be back with you. And you. Um, now, what is your angel policy, Debbie? A couple of people are asking. Uh, you can make and sell or oh, gift or go, yeah, whatever at all. It, the angel, my angel policy is on my website, but it's basically, as long as you're making it, then yeah, but don't reproduce or sell the pattern. Yeah, that's Please. absolutely fair enough. Please. So there you go. If you do want to make to sell, if you got the pattern, these would be perfect and you could make lots of really lovely sewing machines for your craft fairs and craft stores look at that just 67.41 now debbie do you need the mount board base as well yes you do yeah 
Because uh, yeah. it's not in the bundles, is it? So if you did check out, you just need to get yourself a mount board base if you yeah. don't already have some. Yeah, at, or at home. I mean, the mount board is good because it's nice and thick. Okay. So the, the mount board's good, but just thick cardboard would do. Um, you could double layer up some card at home if you've got from cereal boxes if you wanted to. It's only a pound. It's worth adding to your order. Oh, it's definitely worth it. Yeah, if. Yeah, for a pound, I would definitely add that to you. You only need Especially one. Especially if you've paid your P&P already. Yeah, you only need one. One A4 sheet. Oh, brilliant. And it's perfect. The perfect weight. Oh, great. Yes. Just one pound if you do it's want nice your mount strong. board. Brilliant. Um, yeah, you only need one sheet and it's only a pound. Add one. that to your basket. So, can we go straight into the sewing Shall machine Shall uh, demo? Oh. Yes, please. So, in the pattern, you get all of the templates that you need. Is get that right? everything you need. So, you get obviously the pattern here. So, it's got all the pictures um, and step by step instructions of what you need to do. So, that's really clear. Um, and obviously, everything you need on the back. And if all my contact details, so if you need any help, I'm obviously around and oh. you can get in touch. That's no problem. Fab. And then with, you can also get this insert for the pattern. Okay. The pattern pieces, the templates. So it might be worth, especially if you're going to do this a few times, photocopy this. It's double sided, so you will need to photocopy it. Although this one is pretty straightforward because it's just the template for, I think it's called a net, isn't it? Oh, Where okay. it's like yeah, the yeah. net for the box, the template. Um, and everything's there, but I would photocopy that and then you've got your original. Okay, so with I'm going to start with the uh, template. So if you get your mount board, because it's A4, and what I've done, what I found really useful for this pattern was using washi tape or masking tape. Mm -hmm. So if you cut the template out from the pattern here, mm -hmm. and then stick it with your washi tape. I love this stuff just because it's it's very temporary, isn't yeah. it? Temporary tape. And then just tape on your pattern onto and the mount board. And you can get board. really pretty designs, can't you? Yeah, I mean, you, don't, you don't need to have it nice, but why wouldn't you? Do you know what I mean? Um, put your washi tape on and I'll What's yours got on just, it? It's got little leaves and it's like gold. Oh, it's cute. I mean, we really don't need everything to be pretty, but of course we do. <laughs> so once you've, once you've pinned, well, I mean, pin, that's the thing, you see, you can't pin it on. Stick it onto your mount board. And then I've got a oh, rotary I was gonna cutter. Ask how do you cut it? Because it's obviously thick. It's thick. So I've got my rotary cutter that's not got the the sort of um, guard, texture yeah. here, the guard that I use for card and paper. Right. So that it doesn't blunt my main blade because I've got two. So if you have two, put use one as your paper and card cutter. And then I'm cutting this exactly the same way. I mean, you could cut it with scissors, but. I'm cutting this exactly the same way as I do fabric. So it just makes it nice and simple. I'm just going to put it down there. So literally, because you've got your washi tape on, it holds the template onto the mount board and just cut it. You see how it is quite thick, but it just cuts like that. Cut it out. So I'm not going to do all that because I'll just, I don't want to waste any time. And there's one that I've cut oh, out before. Okay, and then do you score those lines? And then score the lines, yes. Yeah. So again, get your ruler. This time though, you don't need your blade. Just get your scissors, because it helps if you score the card, because then you can fold it a lot easier. So if you get your ruler in exactly the same way, and I'm still using it the same as I do for fabric, I'm still lining up everything so it's square. And then just get the edge of your scissors, not the blade, just the edge. And then if you just mark down there a couple of times, it just scores it. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. Yep, so that then you can fold it and do that for all the edges where all the lines are on your template score. Okay. Okay. And that's your, that's what's called a net. Not a net, a <laughs> net. Okay. And then cut your fabric an inch, give an inch seam allowance for this mm -hmm. around the edge. So you place that down, face down. It doesn't really matter, but I like, because you're folding it that way, fold it with the folds coming towards you, if that makes sense, where you've scored it. Place that here, and then with a glue pen, literally oh. just your sew line. Have we got any of the sew line glue pens in stock? Oh, I hope we have. I'll have a look and see if the, we do, because the, they're so useful, oh, aren't God, they? Oh, God, you can't, yeah. Well, these are useful for your hexy one as well, I yeah. suppose, aren't they? I mean, I literally go through tons and tons of the glue. 
and then you can just even though it is fabric glue it does if you put it on your card and then you can just fold it fold the fabric round because you're only holding it temporarily and then you're going to sew it right okay and sew it so go all the way around the edge cut into the corners so that you can um fold it neatly they're not going to cut are they my little applique scissors so you just fold in this a bit like wrapping a parcel isn't it this bit put the glue on your card so that you're not stretching the fabric i never put glue on the fabric because it'll stretch it fold it round cut into the corners so you can get those edges so it's a bit like sewing but it's a lot quicker yeah absolutely <laughs> it's a lot quicker, isn't, isn't it it's not cheating it's just helping and it's it, it is a specially derived sort of developed glue for for working with fabric as well yeah, isn't it it's perfect. so if you're sewing it then it's not going to gum up your needle or anything no not at all and all you're going to do with this is hand sew it together so that your base is nice and firm and that's what's good about the mount board because it is really quite firm and solid there's not a lot of weight on your pincushion but it has got to carry the filled body of your sewing machine okay. it's a really good size pincushion it's as well just, isn't yeah it? yeah it's nice and um you can then you can, i like a big pincushion so you can just kind of stab at it you don't yeah. want to be having to so once you've covered your um template like that with your, your mount board with your fabric then you can just fold it up and then you can just hand sew i won't spend the whole time hand sewing it i'm just going to show you different stages so once that's together you can use your washi tape again just to temporarily secure yeah and then pop your washi tape oh pop your washi tape on you might need two or three bits because this is only narrow now when you're folding your pieces down you're trying to, you want a less of the seam so showing obviously as possible, although your tape, your ribbon will cover that anyway. And I love that you've included all of those little bits, so your ribbon, your little spool, your button as well, it's all included, it's attention to detail. Yeah, it's just nice, because I, the reason I, I designed this was we bought some um, pin cushions to sell. And they were that style, and everyone was buying them as pin cushions. And then everyone was, loads of people were saying, "Oh, I want to make one of them. Yeah. I want to make one of them. Have you got a pattern?" So now we've got pin cushions at home that um, you know nobody really wants pin cushions because you want to make them. They, you it. want to make them, don't you? Um, if you're into your sewing and your sewing machines, you just anything yeah. with sewing machines on. Yeah. Oh, that's why I love these fabrics as well. Oh, with a, a nod to our craft, they're lovely, aren't they? Oh. I love the colour tones of them. They've got like that lovely minty green and pink. Yeah, because that's one of your favourite colours, isn't it? It that is. Aquary. Yeah. It is. It is my favourite. I, I, when um, Jen sent me those colours, oh my goodness, so pleased with them. They're really nice. So I'm just doing a slip stitch across my washi tape's not holding that very carefully it looks very pretty though you do, <laughs> yeah if you can get a ch an opportunity to use washi tape why wouldn't you take it and then you just go all around just do like a whip stitch just a whip stitch yeah all the way around and because you've folded your fabric around the template it's nice and firm it's nice and in place not going anywhere and you can see how quick that sews together okay so you sew that all the way around that bottom edge and that will be the underneath. So where your box goes down like that, yeah. that will be your base. Oh, what I haven't done um, is put some H640 under there. Oh, so, so you make it slightly little, cushioned. Yeah, sorry, forgot that bit. Put a little bit of H640. So do you cut the same shape? Exactly the same shape, yes. Okay. So just cut the shape. I mean, you could literally do that almost by eye. You know, what cook if you hover the H640 yeah. over the top. Yeah, don't, you don't, it's not absolutely necessary because with that being a card base, as I think you said earlier, Vic, you can get your applique pins in. Yeah. But 
it's you're not going to no. pin into that anyway because no. it's a base yeah but i still put the h640 on it it's oh, all in the pattern all in the pattern put um, that underneath the h640 well I don't know if we've got HS40 available. Have a look on the website. But remember, our early bird special today was amazing. Uh, thank you, my glamorous sister. Thank you, Becky. We've got our H630, which is... I mean, if I had told you it was H630, I don't think anybody would have noticed that it was an H640. The difference with H630 and H640, I physically can't tell personally. It's slightly lightweight, slightly, but it's perfect for this still. And in this bundle, you're getting H630, and look, you get loads of that, loads and loads and loads. I mean, that's even just a quarters. So you get loads of H630. You've also get your sew-in interlining and you also get your medium weight interfacing. And at that price, you're getting your medium weight interfacing for free. Um, that is another one that should be over £15. So I just thought I'd remind you about that one. So thank you, Debbie. Thank you. So I'm just cutting from your fabric. You need a piece that's one and a half inches by 18. So I folded this in half, cut it one and a half inches wide. And then I'll just measure nine inches along the length because obviously I've halved it. So that will then become to 80, uh, 18, yeah. Just let me double check, it's not 18 and a half. 18, what's that saying, measure? Check, check the measurements and cut it once. Uh, what is it, measure, measure twice, measure, measure twice, twice, cut, cut once. once, that's, that's the it. one. So always double check. So, <laughs> what this provides? Oh, <coughs> excuse it's me, it's, a, it's hay, hay fever. fever. What do you hay do fever. for your hay fever? Well, this year, um, or last year actually, I found fexafenadine. Okay, is that a tablet? Perfect. Yeah. On prescription. Right. Okay. And I've had one this morning. I have one later. I don't know if they want a day, but I take two. And they are. <laughs> we don't recommend, you know. I mean, I'm not pushing drugs doctor. or anything. No, I'm not pushing drugs. Obviously, do follow me, but they are brilliant. Oh, okay. And nasal spray, eye drops a lot. Yeah, you don't yeah. look at all sort of phased by no, the hay fever this morning. I've, I have it's been bad really, this year, isn't really, it? really, really bad. The worst I've had it for years. Is it you? Yeah, well, I, I don't get it normally. Oh, you do. This is my first year of having it. <gasps> I don't know why on earth I've suddenly got it this year. I was reading about it. But my last eyes night. itchy, everything. It's a pollen bomb, apparently. Oh, uh, okay. Because of the something to do with the weather in May. Was it wetter or drier than normal or hotter? It's got produces pollen bomb, oh, and that's no. why it's really bad. Right. Oh, okay. Not that I'm a doctor or anything. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Doctor Harris over here. So, <laughs> I can only talk from my experience. You know. So with the body of your machine. You have got the sew machine pattern here that's in your, um, obviously on the other side of your template for your base. And you've got the template here for the base of the, the body which will go under here that sticks onto the base. Now that, let me just talk about that. You cut two of these pieces, mirror image, so they need to be opposite each other. So when you cut them out, just fold your fabric in half and then just cut them out together. Now this piece is a little bit bigger seam allowance than you need. Okay. The reason for that is when I tried it, when I did the template with just a quarter of an inch seam allowance, you know when, because it was then so small and you've got three bits of fabric making that base because it's uh, a real 3D shape obviously. Yeah. So you don't be put off allowance. and think, oh that looks really big. I've been generous with the seam allowance. Makes sense. And then no, what you'll you. do, because you're going to fill it with toy filling, as you then sew it up, you can just tuck that extra seam allowance in. Yeah, that makes sense. Does that sense. make sense? Yeah, thank so you. So please don't look at that and think, oh, I've got too much. That's how it's made. We are going to get more of these instructions, by the way. Bear with us. They are literally being booked in as we speak. So as soon as we get the go-ahead, we'll be able to bring you the graphics live for the new set of instructions, which I think also come with yeah. your little bits and bobs the as well, your yeah. spools You get the buttons. button um, for the spool and the little oh, wooden bobbin. Oh, beautiful. And a little pack. That will come bag. in bundles and in instructions on their own as well, doesn't it? Yeah, they come with the, uh, they'll, they'll, I'll send those with the patterns because they go together. Oh, and they're not, they're not always easy to get hold of, no, just these not. small bobbins. They're the, so cute, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, they're lovely. Okay, if you do want uh, the instructions, bear with us. 
we'll get them back and you do get those as well anyone who checks out on the instructions on their own you do get those as well and they come in a nice little sweetie bag it's so cute oh look with a little sticker a little heart sticker yeah they're all cute I, the had to, I had to do it my mum usually packs them up for me oh gorgeous. she was on holiday last week I had to do oh. it myself oh dear so now they're back off holiday my mum can do some more of those <laughs> she'll be pleased to know oh yeah there's going to be loads more orders for your mum don't worry so what I'm going to do now obviously you can see this machine shape I'm going to cut into these inverse angles. Do you like that word, Vic? Inverse. Inverse is a good word, That's isn't it? That's the mathematician it? in me. And the reason we're doing that is because you are going to sew this gusset piece in. I, never, I don't like that word. Gusset. I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know why. I know why. <laughs> I don't know why, really. Yeah, they're not pants, if, but that's what it reminds me of. So the gusset is this part, so it gives it the width. Right. Um, and makes it 3D. So what you're going to do, it's quite fiddly. It's fine, don't worry. It's, but you will, if you just cut into those inverse um, angles, then when you're taking your gusset around those edges, it will be fine. Yep. I, uh, I learnt a good word this week. Go on. So those of you that have got your die cutting machine, your Gemini machine, you know when you've got your dies, especially with pa if you do it with any paper, and then you get all the bits that fall out, that's called ephemera. Mm. Oh, I think it is. Mm. I might have got it wrong. It's not, is it? That no, sounds really not. wrong. Ephemera. I'm sure it's FM, Ephemina. Oh, Pauline, if you're still watching, message in and tell me if I've got that really wrong and I've said something really rude. <laughs> we're just, um, we're trying not to use rude words and then you've just come up with a... <laughs> you said gusset and I said Ephemina. <laughs> I'm sure it is. It's that Friday feeling. Yeah. <laughs> so when you're sewing, obviously it's right sides of fabric together and go really carefully around that corner but, or that curved seam, should I say, but because I've um, put those little cuts in, it does make it easier to manipulate the fabric round. So just take your time because it's important to get it nice and how you want it, because otherwise you might rush and then you'll end up unpicking, which is never a problem, but you're sort of, I mean, you could, if you, I'm not sure if there's enough fabric in the bundle. If you're using fabric where you've got plenty i would cut that gusset piece on the bias because then it will give you more stretch right okay if it's not on the bias it's fine but you just have to make sure you're um going carefully around the seam oh sorry it's messaged in there you go thank you chris ephemera 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 oh i wasn't that wrong ephemera they're what you, the things that exist or are used or enjoyed only for a short time. Is that the, is that the actual explanation, the actual definition of ephemera? Ah. Hmm. Right, okay. Yeah, that's what, that's what um, someone told me over on Hobby Maker. I like learning new words. Every day, yeah, new I, big I like word new words. Of the day. Yeah, that's, um, it's a bit like being on Countdown, isn't it? In Dictionary Corner over So there. I play Wordle. Do you do Wordle? I don't. I know what you mean because it's a bit like lingo, isn't it? Yeah. On the telly. Yeah, it's every day. I think it's the New York Times, isn't it, that do this word oh, game it? every I've day. I've seen everyone doing it and putting but the scores. I often have to, ring, I have to send it to Charlie and say, Charlie, help me. I've only got one more guess and I don't know what it is. Do you find it? Is it, is it quite... Because you get... It is tricky. Some of the words... It's American, you see, so a lot of the time uh, they're American words. I'm like, that isn't a word. Yeah, that's not even a word. It's not because I don't uh, yeah. know it just not real I'm waiting for ephemera but it's only five letters actually isn't it so I don't think that will come up <laughs> you wouldn't think there'd be that many five letter words to keep that going yeah it's so how long it, yeah how it's been going it? for ages Charlie when did you do it since lockdown so oh yeah. really oh it's been going a while then I thought it was newer than that mm. Charlie thinks that five letter words are the most in the dictionary Oh, okay, so there's lots and lots and lots of five letter words. Must be. Have you shortened your stitch length or anything for this or not? I no. haven't actually. Okay. I'm on a 2.4. Okay. But if you, it, it might help to, to shorten your stitch length. I find 2.4 is quite small. Yeah. Anyway. But you can see, I'm, ta oh, I'm taking my time. And you might just need 
to like I was saying about it if you cut it on the bias it will just give you that bit more stretch because mine's yeah. come up a bit short because um, one I'm doing it on, um, on the telly, telly <laughs> not at home and it has come up a bit short look can you see Oh, you've got a bit extra, But it's yeah. because I've got gathers in here because we've been talking about Wordle and, <laughs> and all new words. So yours won't. Yeah, you won't have me distracting you yeah. at home. To make sure, if you're a bit, if you're a bit put off by, by sewing around those curves, then you could just cut this a bit longer. Okay. So that, that, the measurements on the pattern are 18 inches. But if you cut that to 19 or 20, then once you've, cut, once you've sewn round, just cut yeah. it off. Okay. If you're worried about doing what I've done. Mine's only a sample, so I'm not overly worried today. But one little tip, when you've got your piece like this, so obviously that's gonna be turned the right side out and that's how it will start to form. Yeah. When you are placing, so I didn't pin, I'm not a pinner really or a clipper. However, when you're doing your top piece so that it then makes it the shape, I would recommend you pin or clip. Yeah. Because you want it to be lined up. So that piece there, you don't have to interface it, it's fine without interfacing, it holds its own weight. Right. But you want the top piece to be lined up with the bottom piece. Okay. So, so I definitely would worth clip. Pinning or clip. Yeah, because yeah. otherwise you'll get a little bit of a twist on the body of your machine. Okay. So that's how that goes together. Then, as I was saying with this piece, for a similar reason to this, I've made it bigger just to give you that give. Because otherwise, if it's tight and it it's frees, a bit fiddly. Yeah, yeah, it's fiddly. So once that piece, I'm not going to sew that on now. Once that is sewn on there, you would then, again, right sides of fabric together, sew that end piece into place. Here's one I've got in the other fabric, actually. But you can see here what I mean by how that seam allowance is a little bit exaggerated. So from your pattern, cut out in exactly the same way the circle for the base. Again, I've put washi tape on the card so that I can then just cut it out and it stays in shape. And then that gives you this little circle of your mount board. So once you've sewn your bottom base piece in place, yeah. fill your machine. So fill it quite full. Oh yeah, we've got toy filling. Yeah, you need lots of that. Oh yeah, it actually surprises you how much toy filling you use. We don't put it in the bottle because you might already have some at home. It's only £3.99, so if you do want to stock up on your super soft toy filling, like you say, you actually use a lot more than you think, you don't do. you? You do. So make Obviously sure that's nice and firm because you, what you don't want is for it to be falling. So fill it to the base and then this, your round circle of mount board. So you can see I've sewn this with the machine about three quarters of the way round okay. on that outside edge. Okay. Pop your circle of your base inside that piece of, that you've sewn. And this is where that extra seam allowance, so it's about an inch the seam allowance, um, half an inch is better. Mm -hmm. And then you fold that under your card, your mount board. And again, I would clip and then you can just, I mean, it's very rough, but you get the idea. I clip that together and then again, hand sew around the edge just with a whip stitch so it's nice and neat and tucks in but don't worry overly I mean it does obviously you want it to be neat and I know everybody is like me and they do try and get their stitches absolutely perfect of course you want them quite small to close together because you want it to hold however Your ribbon you are covers covering it, it yeah. with ribbon yeah yeah so, so don't be put off thinking, oh, my no, hand stitching isn't very neat. Not at all. It's not a decorative stitch. It is just for um, to sew that to the base. Yeah. And then you're going to put some nice ribbon of your choice around there. Lovely. There's not quite enough of the ribbon to go around the base there. So you use it from your stash. Yeah. I yeah. Would, yeah I, I think it's nice to use a contrasting yeah. uh, ribbon for that base. So once you've done that, so you've got your base that you've sewn together yours will be nicely finished you've got the top which will then sit here and if you've got some you know the really strong um i use the gutterman oh yeah hd2 mm -hmm. yeah if you've got some of that 
um, then all you do is put plenty on here and a little bit on there and then I just wait about five or ten seconds sort of waft it so that it just gets a little bit tacky tacky and then got needles here look all over the place but I can just shove that in there can't I and then you place that so you want it in the center of your base here and then you want it about a quarter of an inch from the back edge so that it fits nicely on there like that and then I just held mine once it was in place for about a minute okay just so that it's secure but I haven't done any more than that I've you not didn't put, stitch it there no, after no just glue I've it not in. stitched it or anything and you can see and this one's probably a bit firmer actually uh, because that got a little bit knocked in my bag last night but they do hold yeah. really well yeah it's perfect that glue or something similar yeah and then it's just a case of embellishing it it might be an idea because to put your to sew your spool you know the um oh, the, the button, button as your yeah. spool you could sew that on before you actually sewed the gusset to the pieces okay. but it can get in the way so did you do it at the end so again i did that at the end again i glued it on and you can see i've actually put a couple of pins in there which i thought oh, looked quite really nice cute. to decorate it so you can pop them in put the spool on with the wooden spool at the top just to make it look real obviously the pun. yeah ah, see what i did there you've practiced that I hadn't. one I you was, had that was scripted i honestly hadn't it wasn't <laughs> god i haven't got time You're so to funny. script then just pop some um thread around the bobbin so that it looks real yeah and Great. then again with your ht2 or, or glue that you use then you can just pop that on the top you can place that wherever you want it to go there or there and you've got your button on the back so just pop that there if you're not putting the pins in and you're going to glue it i would still do a sort of pretend stitch so that it looks like it is sewn on pop that on there and then pop your ribbon around the bottom so there's quite a bit of it's quite crafty this yeah, one isn't it yeah there's I a like bit it. of sewing some hand sewing yeah if it's and there's quite sew a bit well. of crafting as well yeah. which is nice which is yeah i love and it and that is pretty much it it's quite a it's quite a quick make really oh i love it honestly it, it, you're going to be looks, doing a bit of a production line making loads aren't you yeah uh, it, it looks as if it's a bit technical it's really not it's nice and easy and especially as you've got all of the the templates all the instructions everything you need to be able to do it now if you do want to get a bit of a production line going we've got the most beautiful new moda fabric I love this collection. We're working on getting more of the instructions. Fingers crossed they'll be in before 10 o'clock. I'll keep you updated. 67.41 for this whole bundle. You're getting 7.49 uh, off the price, which is basically half a meter for free. You've got this really lovely jade sort of minty green. It's so pretty. Florals with buttons. You've got all of your uh, little embroidery scissors on that one. How cute is this? Hand embroidery needles and spools and scissors. I love that one. You've got the flowers as well in pink. Um, maybe you want to do another one of Debbie's pincushions. We've got another great design, your Hexi. Now this is a big pincushion. So if anybody who's got loads of pins, um, I like to do, those of you that were watching, who was I on with the other day? And I was literally there sorting all of our pins in place. Because we've got so many pins here. And you have pins for different projects, you do. don't you? you do. This is brilliant. So you've got a huge hexi pin cushion, beautiful fabrics, um, and we've got some great bundles. Thank you so much for your patience with this. So obviously, you can use, it's huge, it's absolutely huge. You could use different pins, different sections, your patchwork pins, your quilting pins, your applique pins. Uh, you could keep them all nicely organized on your workspace. And we've put pellets in this, so it's really nice and weighted down mm. as well. It's not going anywhere. 16 pounds 49 for the kit. Now, that's the kit that comes with this fabric. Am I right, Hannah? So in here, you get your instructions and then we've also cut fat eights of your mode of fabrics which are the buttons and the really lovely scissors and then we've also got two of our solids that match in perfectly <coughs> 16 pounds 49 plus of course you get your pattern you get your full instructions 
everything that you need. Now, is this EPP? It is EPP. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. EPP, perfect for hand sew, perfect for sitting out in the garden. I know that when it's nice and sunny outside, you always feel guilty sometimes when you're sitting inside at your sewing machine thinking, I should be making the most of the sun. This is a lovely project to take to your holidays, to take outside. It's a really nice one to have on the move. If you're sitting in the car waiting, you know, for kids to finish their school, uh, you know, different clubs and things, it's great for on the move. Uh, we also have single figures on that one, by the way. I've got this one with the lovely pink and uh, teal, or I say teal, it's like a, a mint. It's really pretty. So you've got the two of your solids, your two of your new motors, and these are cut, like the others, especially for this, into fat eighths, which is half of your fat quarter. Um, but you're still gonna get all of the beautiful quality moda, but now because we've cut them in-house for you, you get them at a really, really good price as well. Plus, don't forget, you get your full instructions as well. Uh, sorry about the gremlins this morning. Uh, because of that, we ran late into the hour, so it means that we'll be running over in this hour as well. So we'll probably be here with Debbie um, until about quarter past the hour. So don't panic if you're thinking we're starting this late. We're still gonna be able to do a demo with this. Uh, and in here, you've got all of your instructions. You also get your templates as well for your papers. You've got everything all included. We'll go through it with Debbie in a second. At just 16 pounds 49 all of your fat eights included in that bundle. That's a really good price, isn't it, for that mode of fabric. We also then have, oh, excuse me, it's different. Sorry. <laughs> We've also got your light pink, your bubblegum pink, and your two moda fat eights. Plus, you're getting your pattern, your instructions as well, all for £16.49. pence. That is a really good price, but look at the size of it. I mean, the end result, it's huge. Really, really good size. Very useful. I think that's what we need to keep in the studio. Can we keep this one for our studio pins? If, if you want it, Vix. We I'll need this for our it. studio pins, yeah. because I'll show you the state, uh, bearing in mind, we are a sewing channel. We always use pins every day. This is the state of our pins. It's actually hazardous. Can I just tell you a backstage secret? I said to Becky, please can you just grab me some tissue for my runny nose this morning, my hay fever nose. She's popped this in the trolley next to it, next to the pins. I've opened it out, it's got pins in it. It's got pins in my tissue. So we definitely <laughs> need this because this is hazardous in our... Uh, <laughs> Have too it. many pins in there. You can have it. It's my gift to you. Thank you. <laughs> I love that pin dish. Oh, sorry. I think that pin dish is lovely, the rose gold one. But we've got too many pins in there and they're all different sizes. So that is ideal. With, you know, dressmakers, bag makers coming in, toy makers, home furnitures. We all have different types of pins, don't we? So, yeah, they're perfect. And they're, again, remember, Angel Policy is on Debbie's website. But basically, you can make to sell. So if you are thinking of these for craft fairs as well, oh, they're really lovely projects. 16 49 or for gifts for people as well. Okay, so that's your pink version. Have I got through them all? We've got instructions on their own. We have got instructions on their own. If you do want to use your own fabrics, or maybe you've got that big Moda bundle, they're just £9.99. What I love about this project, it's, it's achievable for anybody who is new to EPP. I think EPP often daunts a lot of people because when you see English paper piece projects, for example, when I first heard about English paper piecing and I was around Hannah who was doing like an endless EPP quilt that was just going on and on and on, I thought, uh, it's, it's intimidating. I don't know if I've got enough fabric, if I've got enough time to do it. Whereas this is an achievable project that you can actually have a go, get hooked. Honestly, you will get hooked. Um, it comes with a bit of an addiction warning. EPP is very addictive, but it's also very mindful. I think now we're coming out of the, you know, the pandemic, the last few years have been very odd that, but now we're going back into the, the, the crazy world. I think it's really important that we remember to, do our little bits of, of hand stitching, slow sewing, mindfulness projects that can just make you lose yourself. You lose so much time, I think, doing uh, EPP. It's a really lovely project to do. Just £9.99 for instructions on their own. Uh, do you think this is suitable for all beginners of EPP then? Definitely, definitely. Because as you said, I think it's, it's achievable, isn't it? Yeah. It's just the flower. So that's the pattern that you get, the template. Yeah. So I call this the flower. And then with the diamonds, 
that again you get this in your pattern so you can just cut them out I would perhaps photocopy it onto a thicker slightly thicker cut, uh, piece of paper just so that it gives your th this paper is the one I use and it just has a bit more weight to it so you can okay. then reuse your templates so you'll need to photocopy it twice um, but yeah very good for a beginner because apart from your flower your diamonds go in the corners like this and then your other pieces are the rectangle pieces so they're literally just oh, rectangles okay. there for the sides so they're really really easy so yeah definitely a beginner's project because it's achievable so yeah. instead of doing a blanket where you think oh when am I going to get it finished this doesn't take too yeah. long at all so I'm going to start at the beginning of EPP with the templates and things and it's nice that you're working with different shapes as well you've got your traditional hexes but then you could try working out with the diamonds the the, uh, the rectangles as well yeah it's that's good to have it. all different shapes yeah and you'll realize that it doesn't really matter what shape it is right it's just the process is exactly the same and I think that's a nice thing did to, you say we've got some do. EPP card Hannah yeah Perfect. So if you don't already have card or if you would like something that's suitable to make yourself some um, EPP or for other EPP projects as well, if you're unsure what to use, we do sell EPP card, which is a really good weight and it's one that you can then use those cards again. Um, and they're only 2 99 So if you've opened your order already today, it's definitely worth for 20 sheets. <clears throat> that's really good value for money. Thank you, Debbie. Yeah, you're welcome. And if you haven't got a photocopier as well, don't be put off because you could, what I did this morning, I just, I suppose you'd need, you'd need to photocopy it twi at least once though, that's the only thing, but you could place that on top of your card, get your ruler, draw over it and again it would score yeah. underneath onto yeah. the card then you could just cut it out. Everyone's got their own techniques, haven't they, yeah. how they could transfer yeah, the pattern, exactly. so don't worry. Exactly. Yeah. So I've already cut out my fabric, so I do that very... Um, sort of casually if you like you can use a quarter of an inch ruler okay. and you can spend as much time or as little time as you want I literally to get my piece of fabric put the um, template over the top and then I just but eyeball is it a about a quarter of an inch quarter of an inch seam okay yeah and then you place your template on top of the fabric and then with your glue stick again glue the card not the fabric because you don't want it to stretch and then I go round in a clockwise direction and then just pushing down the seams gently although you do want it to be nice and taut the fabric around the card shape okay because you want it to fit nicely okay so I go around clockwise and then you've got a nice shape so I'll do a couple more of those what I also like doing when I'm doing EPP it's fussy cutting. So I've fussy cut so I've got a bit of the scissors and the needle threader. Oh, lovely. I fussy cut so that you've got the handmade in the centre because obviously you're hand making this. And I fussy cut that one so you've got the pink spool of thread. So I love a bit of fussy cutting with EPP. And that's what is also nice about this project because it's quite small and achievable. You, could, you only need to cut out six, um, well, as many as you, yeah. or as little as you want to fussy cut. So you can spend as little or as long on these as you want. It's, right, um, just while you're gluing those, Debbie, breaking news. We've got more patterns. We've got more sewing machine patterns. Oh, you get your little bag as well. You get your little bag with your buttons as well. Remember, you get your buttons and your spool. Everyone that checks out on these, you also get the, uh, the little bag as well with your goodies. Definitely make the most of those. They literally sold out within the first five ten minutes so absolutely make the most of it um if you loved the demo and saw how i love how crafty it is it's so simple to be able to construct for anyone who is new to sewing um or you like a bit of hand sewing a bit of machine sewing a bit of gluing you've got a bit, a bit of something for everybody haven't you in there debbie yeah definitely half the stuff's gone straight into baskets check out as soon as you can any questions don't forget debbie harris designs um just 9.99 i love your logo and everything oh do it looks you like lovely. it yeah you, we, we've not seen each other since i no. did the change yeah oh, i'm glad you like it <laughs> just nine pounds 99 no it looks absolutely lovely um plus you're also getting don't forget your spool and your button all in there nine pounds 99 just whilst we were doing the demo as well, the instructions on their own sold out on the hexi pin cushion. 
We also have some more of those as well. Brilliant. So if you do want the hexi pin cushion instructions on their own, uh, then our £9.99, we've managed to get more. All the bundles for the hexi pin cushions are all in single figures. The ones with the fat eighth mode of fabrics, grab those whilst you can. So just while Debbie's doing her demo, just be aware of things selling out on the website. Sorry to interrupt no, you. No, it's absolutely fine. Make sure everybody's clear. Yeah, of course, yeah. So I've just glued the templates with the fabric over them for the centre one. So it's going to look like this. So you've got your flower, your centre your centre hexagon, then you've got your six around the edge, the diamonds, mm -hmm. and then these the rectangle pieces. And that's all EPP is. I know a lot of people get scared of this term. Someone's messages saying, Oh, I don't know what EPP is, but it's literally just folding your fabric over card, yep. stitching it together. It gives yep. you a really lovely crisp finish. Though, it does, it? it does, it really does. Very traditional and then, technique, actually. Oh, it's so it is, it's very traditional. Um, and I think it it's cool it's got this term hasn't it like say EPP um, I think it's come from America because they have their own way of doing pa uh, foundation um, paper piece in so I, obviously this is the English way but when I was small and used to do it it was just called patchwork right okay you know it's so you can just don't be put off by EPP it sounds a bit technical and it's really not so I'm just, I folded my fabric around the templates. Did you use the hand base ever or have you always used the I've glue? I've always used the glue. Yeah. Always. I love the glue sticks. And because you, you can get the refills so you, you don't have to buy a new glue stick every time it runs out. You can just put the refill in because you do go through a lot of yeah. glue, especially if you're yeah. doing a big quilt or something. Um, but it's absolutely brilliant. And what yeah. kind of threads do you use? I just use a Gutterman all-purpose thread. Right, okay. Don't need a lighter weight or anything, I don't, just your normal threads. Yeah, I don't. Any particular needles you like? I do like these um, very tiny quilting needles because oh, okay. they are quite small. So that compared to, I don't think I've got an, what I would call, an, there's a sort of regular needle. Oh, they are small, Look how much smaller it is. It's only just over an inch. Um, and I find them nicer because they're smaller and more they, they go they're not as um, the diameter is smaller so it doesn't make any holes in your fabric right. as well and it's quick makes yeah. it quicker I think though it is quite a, a lot of people get scared of doing small really small stitches that you can't see I quite like it when you see stitches yeah. on EPP because it looks handmade me too the reason you're doing it is because it doesn't look like it's been manufactured on a, a machine it is handmade so don't panic too much about you know doing a stitch so tiny not at that all you uh, that you can't see because I like I think it's charming I do <laughs> I, li I like to see the um, the stitches so once you've sewn along one edge, what I like to do is, my, my sort of way of doing it, is I like to sew from that corner down, sort of in an L shape, down okay. that seam and across here. So I'll show you, I'm going to glue this one as I go because I want to alternate between a patterned um, shape and um, a plain solid. I always use my, th um, I always have a little, my thimble on as well. Um, not everyone's a thimble user but so if you're wondering what that is on my hand it just <laughs> lives there really it becomes part of your skin so I'll show you what I mean so instead of having to finish your thread there so you don't have to knock that off and then start again here right. you can just do a very quick and quite large running stitch along that edge so just do a running stitch up there it's just catching on that corner of that shape just to take you back up to that corner and then you can start again sewing so place it right sides together and then you can start sewing so when I start at the edge of a, um, um, the shape mm -hmm. I always do uh, double knot that so that it's nice and secure because if there is any stress on the fabric which there will be especially when you're filling it with it's a mixture of toy filling and H640 or 30 okay. and the pellets. Ah, right. So there's a little bit of stress on those seams. So if you put a knot at the end, it'll just secure them. 
These are about to sell out, so I'll just quickly show you them before they sell out. It's very busy this morning, a lot very busy. I think a lot of people are thinking, do you know what? Too hot outside today. I'm staying in. I'm going to stock up on all my stash. We're going to do a bit of sewing. Let us know what you're up to this morning. Uh, just £5.99 and you get loads of pellets there. This is what I find amazing about Sewing Street is no matter how much you're buying, no matter the weight of your parcel, it's only £3.95. Even if you're getting yeah. these. Kilogram of pellets. Yeah. And there's loads in there as well. I'll show you my... my I think I've got half left. So I, I've done that whole one that you like. Um, and I've still got half a bag of the pellets. Yeah. Because I use a combination, I'll show you in a second. I've got enough time just to sew this edge. Oh, I'll... yeah, you've got plenty of time. Don't you worry about time. We've got um, our warning bits, haven't we? We have, we have. Um, the teal bundle's completely sold out. The spearmint and pink, which is this one. This one is about to sell out as well. That's your main graphic, so I just thought I'd quickly flash this up. So you get your spearmint, you get your lovely pink, you get the spearmint with the safety pins and the buttons. It's gone. Thank you, Becky. That one's gone. So the only kit that I've got here now, that one's gone, um, is the hexi pin cushion is the pink. So it's this one where you get the lovely fuchsia pink, you get the like blush pink, you get the floral and the buttons, you also get the one with all of those notions. That's a brilliant fabric to fussy cut, really good fabric for this project. Plus you're getting your instructions, £16.49, all of your fat eights. Plus there is an option of just getting your instructions on their own. It's still, um, oh no, this is instructions on their own, £9.99. Has the sewing machine instructions on their own sold out? Yeah. So machine instructions sold out on their own. Oh my word, I can't keep up. It's been busy, hasn't it? It's this very morning. busy. Everyone's loving your project. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. I'm glad. I just, I try to make things that people are going to love. But things that you love. Yeah, things mean, that yeah. I love. And um, because we're all sewists together, you think, well, if you know. If you like it, yeah. Hopefully that's it. you'll like it as well, which is lovely. And like you say, you go to lots of the shows, you get to talk to lots of customers, yeah. what they like. That's what, really nice. What shows are you at next? What have you got coming uh, up? Well, Festival of Quilts is coming up soon. That's obviously in August. Right. So I'm doing some workshops there as well. Are you? Teaching. Oh, fab. How do we book onto yeah. those? Yeah, so if you want to book onto the workshops at Festival, they are, if you go on to, I think it's, it, is it, it's a website, just Festival of Quilts, I right, think, this yeah. time. And then if you go onto the workshop section, there's loads and loads of workshops. Oh, it's amazing. Um, and you can see, if you just type in the search bar, Debbie Harris, it will come up with, I think I've got five classes. There's EPP, of course. Um, Rosie Rabbit. Yeah. Or is it the, um, the my tote bag? Oh, You know my brilliant. tote bag yeah, that I did yeah. very first thing? Uh, doing that as well. Nice. So there's five classes at festivals, so that's the next Never one. Busy. And then it's Ali Pally and Harrogate, and we might do a couple of other ones in between. We love the shows. Yeah. Oh, it's so... Well, it's so lovely to meet people oh, as well, isn't it? Yeah, I, I just love it. Yeah, and people come over and have a chat, and yeah, it's so nice. Yeah. So have a look, and you can see... Well, if you yeah, go onto my do. website, it shows you everywhere we are as well. We get around the country, Vic, now. I know, it's brilliant. <laughs> so, I won't finish this, because I could, I mean, I'm just in my own little world here. Look, my own, you do, my own little EPP world. You lose world. a lot of time, don't you? Uh, you can just spend... Oh, hours. Yeah. I love it. I, lo I especially like EPP in the evening. Yeah. So you put the telly on. Well, it's social sewing as well, isn't it? You can yeah. sit and watch telly or listen to a podcast or something. Yeah, yeah. Along you're not, with people and not in another yeah, room. Yeah, exactly, because my sewing machine's upstairs. So you, it's very, it's quite solitary, which is nice. Yeah. But then, sort of in the evening, I like to come downstairs and just sit and do this. Well, I know lots of people who are, are, are crafting really struggle to sit watching the telly or doing something without yeah. doing something with their oh, hands. Definitely. So this yeah. is a perfect project just to have down the side of the sofa and to just do yeah. a few hexes even. Yeah. yeah. I've got my little tins with all my little projects in yeah. all different ones and yeah. yeah. Oh, I know people who sit who wait while the uh, kettle's boiling. I think it was Stuart actually who was saying he's got one of those kettles that you put onto the. Oh, the so he has to wait five minutes so he just does a couple of hexes yeah then. yeah it's amazing actually how much you can get yeah. done just in a couple of minutes yeah so you carry on with your shape following yeah. the the pattern here and obviously the pattern itself has got lots and lots um of photos and step-by-step -step instructions so you can follow along and then once you've done your hexagon flower 
Then you do exactly the same with the diamond shapes. So you cover those in your fabric in exactly the same way and you just sew them into place. Mm -hmm. And that leaves you with that hexagon shape. So little hexagons make a, a big hexagon shape. And then you, it tells you in the pattern what size you need to make this rectangle with. The only thing I will say, if you're using this as your template, it yeah. is perfect and the sizes are obviously all right. Yeah. If you're using, it's a bit like a sewing machine, you know, sometimes a quarter of an inch seam yeah. is not Slightly the same different. as someone yeah. else's machine. So if you buy any hexagons that are an inch and a quarter, all I would say was just double check the measurement for the rectangle pieces. That's a good point. So if you're buying already pre-cut hexes, be careful because it won't yeah, necessarily, necessarily fit. That These sizes are for that actual pattern. And my inch and a quarter hexes there are very scant. Okay. So if you've got a punch or something and you make your own or you buy them or whatever, just all you need to double check. Footwear. There's not a problem with all the other shapes, it's yeah. fine. Obviously your diamonds, just make sure they're the right size. And your hexagon, you may need to just make it because if you think about it, an eighth of an inch four times. Yeah, adds up. Adds up, mm -hmm. and then you're half an inch out. Right. So you may, this one's slightly bigger, I think. You may need to, you see that it's about half an inch bigger. Oh yeah. Can you see the okay. difference? So that rectangle piece, I've made it exactly the same width, an inch and three quarters but that is just a half an inch bigger. Longer. So it's no problem. Yeah, like you said, as you, once you've done that flower part, that centre, then you'll soon be able to see whether your rectangles are going to fit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's really easy, but I just wanted to point that yeah, out good, because yeah, point. otherwise you may cut out the size I've said in the pattern and think, oh, it's come up a bit short. So once you get to this stage, I've, I always take out the middle hexagon as soon as I can, just because it then gives you a bit more freedom. Um, and then I've got my iron on here and when with that um, template face down I'm just going to gently press it into place and that will then just set your seams because by setting the seams they're making the um, your stitches part of the fabric rather than sitting on top. Have you taken all the papers out or just your centre one? I've just taken the centre one out, press it there first okay. and then you can pop these out. and because you've you've then sort of set the uh, pieces what it also does is sort of softens the glue as well right. so you can pop the pieces out a bit easier oh, that's a good tip so that's quite nice and you can reuse these so yeah. don't throw them out and you know it makes it more expensive then you can use them six seven eight times if you're careful with them and then you've sewn all your rectangle pieces along each of the six edges of your hexagon you need to make another one as I've started here obviously this morning another hexagon shape so you'll have two yeah and then pop all your hexagon uh, templates and your rectangle and diamond templates out and then with your H640 or 30 there's not as you said Vix there's not much difference between them you will need imagine this is your hexi before I've sewn it on you need to cut the shapes out because you are going to line every piece with Ooh, nice. H640. So I'm just doing this very roughly. I would use the ruler um, and your rotary cutter. Be careful if you're going over these when they're covered in fabric that you don't chop any fabric off. Oh yeah. <laughs> you don't want to do that. And then, <clears throat> obviously your H630 and 40 has got this fusible side. Yeah. So once, do, it, do that for the, draw around the hexagon before you put the shape, the rectangles on. So you've got a nice um, hexagon shape in H640. You'll need two of those. And then when you take the card out of the rectangles, and you'll do this for the, sec, for the center hexagon as well. So when you pop that uh, template out, it just loses its shape slightly. Pop it back and then you fuse that template that you've just done out of H640 or 30 onto the reverse side of each of the pieces. Okay, I'm with you. Does that you. make sense? Yeah, I think so. Because what that does, it gives it stability and structure your shape. Oh yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, yeah. yeah okay. So I've just cut that out to the size each of the rectangle. Yeah. So you'll need six of those. Uh -huh. Do the same for the hexagon before you sew the rectangles on. Fuse that on to the top and the bottom piece and then once that's all together you'll feel then 
you come and you obviously you can't see or feel the texture of that but it's quite solid yeah it is because it's got the solid but still but it's a bit like a beam a bean bag that you get yeah. at school isn't it yeah. <clears throat> and so with that you then take these pieces take your hexagon with the rectangles on and then exactly the same as you did earlier you're going to fold that almost in half there look but the main bit is you're then just doing a normal EPP sewing stitch along ah, each of these edges. Okay. So you do that for all of the edges. You just place them right sides together. Of course, yours are going to be a bit more flimsy because they've only got the H640 on. But that's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't think, oh, it's a bit loose now and a little bit um, movable. It's fine. Okay. So sew those all together and then you end up with a little box shape like this. You take the other hexagon, right sides together, sew around all the corners and all the edges, leave one open, and then when you then turn it out, then you've got, you can see my seam there, because you can perhaps see where those stitches, where I've sewn it together. So that was the seam that was left open. Okay, and what are you stuffing it with? Do you put filling <coughs> in it as well? So yeah, put a little bit of, oh yeah, definitely filling. Yeah. What you could do, is to make it extra stable i did that in this one when you're cutting out your h640 hexagons uh -huh. to line this with if you cut out two more again it's all in the pattern as you're filling it so i would put a few of the pellets in then i would put another layer of a hexagon h640 in yeah then a bit of filling Okay, so you don't make a trifle It's a bit here. like making a lasagna. <laughs> yeah. So you're putting a layer of H640, then a bit of um, wadding, your, your toy filling, then some pellets. Yeah. Because if it was all pellets, it would just lose its shape. So it does need a bit of structure with those hexagon H640 bits and a bit of uh, toy filling. There's loads that you, I've heard that, you know, if you put sand in or walnut shells, then that could help sharpen your pins. That's so, it. Yeah. This one has got walnut shells in. And, um, and you see, I've, that's like a reversible one lot. I've done it completely oh, different on the cool. other side. Oh, I like um, that. That's got walnut shells in, and yeah, it sharpens your pins as they go <gasps> Good in. Good idea. We don't sell them, but I just thought I'd give you an idea. Yeah, um, and that's it. Shells. And then you just sew it to close Fantastic. that seam. So again, you just do a whip stitch over the top to close the seam, and there it is all finished. Amazing. Honestly, it's been wild it's been so it's been busy fantastic. it's been fantastic thank you, it's been lovely thank you for everyone uh, got another new project as well another new up? project camden bag yeah the camden bag you just see it sneaking there behind the uh behind the the, the, the quilt it's absolutely gorgeous brand new pattern already selling on pre-order going on to pre-order literally um it's just gone on well done everybody who's already eagle eyeing it on the website is there anything to round up instructions on their own instructions on their own and four of the pink bundle ready to be allocated if you do want the pink bundle you get two of your mode of fabrics which are absolutely beautiful this one I love so you get the two mode of fabrics and then you get your two pink solid fabrics as well plus you're then getting your instructions from Debbie so all of your instructions which you've just seen how thorough uh, she goes into everything if you've never done EPP before don't panic have a look underneath us on the web because there's also things like the papers H640 there's the pellets there's the stuffing there's all sorts um, added extras if you want anything more uh, all the bits and pieces that Debbie mentioned we've managed to load underneath us on the website so the instructions on their own are just £9.99 uh, what was that sorry Oh, absolutely, yes. So if you do want to jump to pre-order for the bag, it's sewingstreet.co.uk. Uh, don't forget, Sewing Machine Week. We'll talk about that in a bit. I click Watch Live and scroll down. On the right-hand side, there's the pre-order tab. If you click on that, here is... Oh, hang on, there it is, pre-order. Here's the quilts that are coming up. If you scroll, scroll right down to the bottom, you have to keep going past the sewing machines, all of those sewing machine deals, which we're going to talk about at 12. Um, there we go. 
The bag, the Camden bag, just been loaded into pre-order. You can start shopping during the break. Go for it. Debbie, we'll see you in an hour. See you oh, well, uh, not in no. 45 minutes. See you in oh, 45 minutes. Quick, quick coffee. I don't, don't go anywhere because we've got loads of quilts to round up. Oh my word, loads of quilts. Uh, some of your favourites, we've managed to get some back in stock as well. So stay where you are, don't go anywhere. Check out on the final few of the Hexi cushion kits and we'll see you right after this. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting, and of course, applique, which is my favorite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. 
And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. What a great day we're having. Thank you so much for your company today. Uh, just before we get into our quilt show, as lots more people have been checking out on the Blood Brother machine, uh, I thought I'd just quickly mention it. It is Sewing Machine Week after all. Um, remember, it's, uh, we're really, really lucky that we've got such an array of amazing brands now, including Brother. The newest brand that we partner with uh, is Brother, which is a global name. So a machine and a company that's very, very renowned. And when I heard that we were getting a brother machine in um, that had the features and functions that this machine does, I had no idea that it would ever be under a thousand pounds, let alone under 400. It's brilliant. For the amount of features that this has, I mean, no brainer for me. You get an extension table, you can do an alphabet, you've got so many stitches, uh, you've got really, really beautiful uh, quality stitches as well. 250 built-in stitches, eight styles and one step automatic buttonhole. It's a three year warranty with it, which is amazing. Three year warranty, extension table, 399 pounds. These are all different elements that if you are shopping for a new machine and your budget is around that sort of price, ask yourself if you're looking at other companies, does it have a three year warranty? Does it come with an extension table? Does it have an alphabet? Does it have a drop feed setting? So if you do want to do free motion quilting, does it have the accessibility to do that? I mean, there's so many amazing plus points about it. I love this machine. Now, when we had this in with Stuart, it absolutely went crazy. We had two brother machines. We had the embroidery machine and this one. I haven't even had a look in on the embroidery machine because it sold out within like 24 hours. It had gone. Um, so the game changer for me with this is the R split pay. It's amazing. The fact that we offer 0% interest split pay, just £133 split payments, absolutely amazing three split payments of just 133 pounds and you can get this home after the first payment and start sewing with it uh, that's what I find uh, a bit of a game changer so if you do get this today um, definitely click the split pay option uh, problem is there are now less than 10 so the embroidery machine launched how many weeks ago now? A couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago. Um, and we haven't had any wind of any, hearing any more coming in at the moment. That was back on the 8th, so it was the beginning of the month. If we, um, 
if we sell out of this this week, then I don't know how long we're going to have to wait to get any more of the machines. That's the only problem. So if you do want your brother's sewing machine, I just thought I'd quickly mention, can take the free arm off as well. So if you're, you're doing bag making, dress making, quilting, it's got the extra uh, lift on the, the, the foot there. So if you are doing bulky seams or, 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 or heavier weight fabrics, it's perfect. It's got your needle threader, of course. If you're considering it, I don't want to rush or to pressure you, but we are now in single figures. So definitely make the most of it. It's crazy that no matter what you purchase today, quilt kits, fabrics, uh, pellets, sewing machines, no matter what you're purchasing, it's all covered under one post and packaging, cost of £3.95. If you want to do the split pay option, it can be with you as soon as you've paid that £133. I mean, you only need to pay £133 and it will be then sent straight to you. Uh, what date are we today? Is it the 16th? 17th today. So then the next payment will come out on the 17th of July and then the 17th of August and then it's paid off. I mean, how amazing is that? What I love about it as well is it's portable. So when I had um, this on last week, there were so many people, in fact, Rebecca Harrison messaged in. There were loads of amazing designers, home sewers, people who sew for a profession, people who sew every day, or some people who don't sew every day, all loving this machine. There was a lot of people who said they have the Big Brother machine, but then going to workshops and classes, they take this one, or they have this one as a, a caravan. Um, it might be your brand of choice, and you want the same sort of features and functions uh, as your larger machine. Maybe this is your first computerized machine. Maybe, you know, this is your budget, and you're saying, right, I can still get a really beautiful straight stitch. Bearing in mind, when you think about how many stitches you use day to day, you just just want them to be able to do them very very well uh, Stuart was saying actually the reason he invested in his new machine the first thing that he, he wanted to know was how well can it do a straight stitch and a quarter of an inch uh, stitch quarter of inch seam so these are things that brother of course will do very very well but for me the fact that I can personalize and do monogramming is very exciting. You've got lots of lovely uh, stitches as well. Look at this. So you've got all your different decorative stitches all on that stitch chart at the front. Your alphabet is actually under there. So you can see your alphabets, three alphabets, three alphabets. What an amazing way of celebrating sewing machine week with us, getting yourself a brand new brother sewing machine exclusive to us as well it's exclusive to us uh, you could do your variable speed control you got your needle down you got your reverse you can change the stitch width and stitch length just with the plus and minus buttons here it's really intuitive really intuitive if it is your first computerized machine you will love it you do get your extension table included as well with it right if you've got any questions about that Get them in, get them in, because as I said, it is now single figures. Even though it's it's lightweight, it's not gonna be bouncing around your table lightweight. It's still got a solid base to it and a real solid machine. Uh, if I were you, I'd watch the show back. I watched it, it was two hours. Um, so set yourself some time and have a watch. Once you've ordered it, I know lots of people have ordered it today. It was the 8th of June, obviously, 8th of the 6th, if you want to watch back on YouTube. Watch It Back is an amazing show. Uh, they had the representative from Brother here. They really put this machine through its paces. And also Stuart, who loves Brother Machines. It, it was his first ever sewing machine. So he's really champions this brand and, and he actually worked with our team to get it on board. Okay, there are now eight. I'm gonna tell you, there are eight. If you want eight, if, well, <laughs> you might want eight. You might, if you're running, if you're running a sewing studio, you might want eight. Yes, Charlie, you want eight. Yeah, if you want eight, you've got to be quick because there's only eight left. Um, right, are you ready for our quilts? This is like a quilt relay. We're going to go through as many as we possibly can. This is like the best of the best because the thing is, we dedicate a whole hour to these designs, which you can watch back. But this is going to be pit stop through some of your favourite designs and see... Um, see where we go. What shall we start with? The Tulip Inks are sold out. Let me show it to you. We'll run the graphics through. Well done if you got yours. It is the most amazing applique paper quilt. It's my birthday quilt. This is my birthday quilt. I absolutely love it. There's one. There was one. It's gone. 
If you love Tula Pink, there's another Tula Pink quilt coming on Monday. I don't know whether I should tell you that. But if you love pineapples and you love Tula Pink, watch Monday's show. Um, so that one, well done if you did manage to get it. Just £199. I love that quilt. Absolutely love that. What's that? New train, train line opening near Hannah. They've decided the station name is going to be... So it'll go Mosley, Kings Heath. This will be the line. Pineapple Road, they're calling it. People voted of what they wanted to call it. The next train station, Pineapple Road. It's actually on Pineapple Road. It's not just random Pineapple Road. But I love that. That's brilliant. Uh, right, there's your Tula Pink quilt. Sold out. Well done if you got it. So, behind me is the Here I Go Dina Designs. There's one. This was an amazing quilt. We demonstrated it with Delphine Brooks. We'll find the date for you in a minute. The fabrics in here are beautiful. Now, the price on this was supposed to be about 199. We crashed it to 149, and then Molly, who it was the first time ever producing here, she crashed it lower. I mean, she did about five crashes. Um, it wasn't supposed to go this low, but we did say if it goes on air at this price, everything has to sell out. For whatever reason, one has become available. If you want it, there's one left. Are you ready? Are you allowed to honour this? If you want it, it's there. Oh, we really shouldn't be taking it again that low, but because it was with me, we're doing it. Um, have you seen any of the Dina Designs fabrics before? They're absolutely beautiful. Can I sneak them out the box? Because I know this is going to be the box. By the time I've opened it, I've got a feeling it might, it might have gone anyway. There's people who have got it in their basket. And the fabrics are absolutely beautiful. Um, we may have to just look around it on the one on the wall because I don't really want to open this one because I think it has sold out now. And I don't want to ruin it. Uh, this fabric on the border... Oh, all of them. I mean, you've got this lattice effect. You've got the uh, the the red. You, the, sorry, the pinks, the yellows, the blues. This border though is stunning, and you get plenty of that to do the whole quilt. The block itself, Delphine actually demonstrated. You've just got to be particular about your colour placement um, to be able to link them all. So, can you see here? This one. This is a triangle here obviously but it builds up that square so that's a block there and that's a block there so there's only two blocks but it's just about your placement of your fabrics to be able to get that really cool sort of crisscross design very clever in fact Delphine says she thinks that's the cleverest quilt pattern that she's worked with from one of these kits she thinks it's really cool um, another designer that we really like. Uh, one that we don't actually get enough of here is the, um, where is it? The Happy Camper. Happy Camper. Is it this Jennifer Pagnelli one? Oh, I love Jennifer Pagnelli. The colours are so vibrant. It's so fun. Um, this is the Bloom Boldly Quilt Kit. Oh, when was this on air? Everything's in there is pre-cut in there, so there's no cutting needed. Oh, my word, that is my dream come true. Anybody who just doesn't want to be doing all the cutting, it's done for you. It's there, it's done for you. And you also get bonus strips, so you get some extra fabric in there as well. It says it's an intermediate skill level. But I always say, look, if you follow the instructions, have um, a look, because there's also a QR code on here for RB Studios. So... Just be cautious, and I'd say adventurous beginners, if you're confident with your machine, because the cutting's done for you, you know you've got the accuracy, go for it. 129.99, and the colours look amazing. Look at that beautiful border. It's great that the cutting stress has been taken out if you are a beginner. This could be your first big quilt. 64.99 on split pay as well. Look at some of these fabrics. I love this big green print here, but also I'm so excited for you to open this up so you can see the amount of fabric you are getting there. Uh, it's on 64.99 split pay as well. Just because, we can't do this on all of them, 10% off though, just because. Um, we had gremlins at eight o'clock for like five minutes, so we're keeping that excuse going. Uh, just 116 pounds 99. 
You are now saving 10% on a Jennifer Pagnelli. Look at your split pay. It's now dropped under £60. Yeah, remember, you don't need to wait to pay it off to start sewing and start enjoying it. You can actually actually uh, start sewing after you've made that first payment of 58.49. There's loads of fabric in there. I can't open it up. I wish I could. We don't have the sample here, but it includes your pre-cut blocks. Uh, it also includes your binding, your borders. Include your backing fabric. Probably should have mentioned that, Hannah. Do you know if there is... Was this art demonstrated on air? Uh, it's never It's never even been to air before. <gasps> it's been on, but not... It hasn't been part of, you know, a big demo show. Definitely make the most of this because we shouldn't have done 10% off. That is brilliant, isn't it? £116, £99. There's one left. One left of those. Sold out. Well done, well done, well done. OK. Moda. This is the one you get the ruler with as well, don't you? Um, it's the Big Sky Star pattern. It's so gorgeous. And what I like about it as well is that we've got a lot of very bright, a lot of very beautiful floral, quite girly, pretty quilts. Whereas this is a bit more traditional, a bit more masculine. There's, uh, you know, a lot of your more earthy colours. But I absolutely love this. It's called Outdoorsy um, by Kath Holdens. And it's such beautiful, moda, unique fabrics. Also comes with your Omnigrid ruler as well included, which is a useful one to have. It's not like a, a peculiar uh, shape ruler. That's going to be one of your essentials. Let's open up the box in here because Emma demoed a quarter of this. And then Kat, our floor manager, flipped them round so you could see what it would look like when it was done. And look at that. That is quite spectacular, isn't it? So in here, look, you get your ruler, you get your Omnigrid ruler, you get your pattern, you then also get... Oh, they're brushed cottons. Oh, look, they're so soft. They're like literally like fluffy. So you've got your sort of tartan prints. Oh, wow. Do you know what? I'm just going to throw caution to the wind. I'm putting it out there. I love the quilt. I would be also thinking about other projects as well with this though, because we haven't got this fabri fabric on its own. You could always switch in other fabrics. You still use the pattern, but that fabric on its own, look, you know somebody who loves fishing, then you're instantly thinking of projects to make for them without having to, cutting it, to, without having to cut it up. Look, this one. This one has got all of your fishing things oh that's so cool oh my gosh i absolutely love it look at that one that looks like wood doesn't it that is so cool and this one that is amazing oh i love all these fabrics we have no other fabrics in stock like these We've got everything you need and there's your um your background as well and it's, i suppose it's just a timeless design you get oodles of fabric in there and it's completely different to anything else we've got on the show all 179.99 do you know what date emma did this because that'd be quite useful to look back i like this one as well it was on the 19th of March, the 19th of the 3rd. Uh, I, I can't believe I've never seen this before. The big star sky. Uh, the finished size of it is 85 inches. 85 inches, so it's really clear. I mean, you've got loads of instructions with, there's your cutting guides, uh, things you've got to know before you get started. I love that it comes with your ruler as well. That's great, isn't it? For anybody who is maybe doing their first big quilt. So we have found this online elsewhere. You're paying 185.95. Do they have a split pay option? Not that I'm aware of. They may do, but I'm not aware. Um, we got it on split pay at 59.99 and it's under 180 pounds today. Great price. And I just love these fabrics official moda kit so it's been cutted it's been cut all you know for you you've got enough fabric in there to be able to do the whole of the front of your quilt with that really lovely oh really lovely color and your background as well 
Here we go, here's another one. £200 that one is. £199.99. I don't know if they do offer anything like split pay, but we do, we do. We're under 180 Amazing value. Plus, it's only one PMP all day long, so if you've put, bought anything else so far today, £3.95. Especially with these quilt kits when they're official moda. Uh, you're normally having to pay a premium because they're having to be shipped in, whereas... Because of the way that we do it, you're not having to pay those huge premiums. And it's all boxed so beautifully. Yours will all come all wrapped lovely. We've opened this one up before, but they all come all wrapped up. Um, because it's a really special gift to, to somebody or gift to yourself, isn't it? I love those tartan fabrics, the brushed cottons. It is a considered purchase for a quilt kit, but it's the added extras, like the fact that you've got your quilting ruler, like you've got all of those really unique fabrics, something a bit different. But then maybe think about keeping the, the pattern and doing that with all your brights or something. It's going to look amazing with all your bright colours as well. I don't think it's going to be the only time that you make this quilt. But if you do love fishing, outdoorsy uh, fabrics, we haven't got anything else like those. 179.99. They're the only couple of places that Hannah's actually even found it. Maybe on eBay or Etsy or something you might be able to find them, but I don't normally look at comparisons on there. So yeah, it's definitely worth making most of that one whilst you can. Okay. Uh, we'll remind you of that one again in a bit because that's a really good prize. I've also got um, Moda. What sorry? You little one, you little one, what's that one? Is it that one? Oh, oh, this is so cute. Be you little one, it's called. What did you say it was called? You little one, oh, it does say you little one in the graphics to be fair to you. But it says be you little one, which is a baby quilt. It's 46 inches by 59 inches, sorry. And in here, you have got, oh, look at how beautifully wrapped this is. I can't, I can't possibly open it. Look, oh, be brave, it's got a little deer. And inside, oh, these are lovely, really lovely fabrics. It was first on of the, on the 12th of the 5th, but we seem to think that it's been on again recently. Um, with Rebecca Reed, I absolutely love it. Oh, in fact, it was. It was the 6th of this month. It was the 6th of this month. All of your instructions are here included, all your written instructions of working with those panel blocks. You've got the BYs, the little owl. Um, oh, this is lovely, isn't it? I really want to make this. That makes such a beautiful quilt for somebody who's having a baby or first birthday or just because it's so special isn't it 89.99 that's a really good price as well for a moda quilt kit isn't it when every, especially when you're getting all of these really lovely panels in there it looks like you've got a little hedgehog that says be yourself you've got a owl that says be wise a little bunny that says be kind this is the one that's the deer that says be brave you've also got a fox that says be clever and then you've also got the um what's this animal raccoon I think it's a little raccoon that says um be curious how cute is that and then you've got these blocks of hearts and trees that is so pretty all boxed up in your motor quilt kit ready to go 89.99 uh, maybe a gift for somebody for them to sew who's going on maternity leave and wants a little project to do so i started doing my knitting no, when I'm maternity leave, because you need things. You need things to do when you can't really move very far, but otherwise you go so crazy. <coughs> so I did my um, I did my jigsaw, my festival of quilts jigsaw, and I got into knitting as well. But this would be such a lovely gift for somebody to do on their maternity leave. Eighty-nine ninety-nine or forty-four ninety-nine on split pay. Great price, love that, nothing else quite like it. Watch the show back as well. It's timeless, isn't it? And it doesn't have a uh, gender, uh, you know, it would look lovely in someone's nursery, but then it'd be really, really lovely as they grow up as well. Um, and it doesn't matter, you know, if they're having a boy or a girl. So pretty if it's then passed down to siblings and stuff. So you've got the border, which has got a really pretty print of raccoons and owls as well. Oh, I love it. I do love it. I think that's my favourite. 
Um, just while people are going through, I'm just going to have a quick sneeze. Bear, bear with me. And it's all moda fabric as well, remember? All moda fabric. 44.99 on split pay. Oh, grab it whilst you can, because I think that might be the last time that you get to see this one. That is so pretty. Have you found it anywhere else, Hannah? She said, bear with, she said bear with, bear with, bear with, because she has actually found it elsewhere. She says, I did find it elsewhere. Okay, I wouldn't normally do this, but it's $100, which I think is equivalent £81.44. So it's a bit cheaper than ours, actually. We wouldn't normally tell you that. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. But then, please take into effect, that is being shipped from America, which I'm not quite sure how much the post postage would be, but I can only imagine. Uh, so, yes, I'll leave that to you to decide. Especially when we're at 89.99, you know that you're getting this with just £3.95 delivery. You know that you're getting it with split pay as well. Um, if you've purchased from us before, then you know it will be with you in the next couple of days. Brilliant. There might be places in the UK that are doing it. I'm not quite sure. It's worth having a look. Just thought that that's an interesting one that's, you know, a moda. Such a popular American brand. Just 89.99 or 44.99 on split pay. single figures on that one as well just so you know that is so cute i really 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 want one of those i do well hannah says i feel like you're emotional about this one i am but it's because you know when you when you've got a little baby like it makes you just think oh it's so special they grew up so quick it's so nice to be able to have those really beautiful keepsakes um and i think this would be such a lovely gift and it doesn't matter then like you say if it's for a little baby or a toddler or a young child it's just so special for them to keep it's going to grow with them isn't it i can imagine you know having it as a play mat when they're a baby and then as they get older sitting watching their favorite christmas movies wrapped up in it and oh well then you can then pass down through generations it's lovely isn't it that's beautiful and especially because it's moda let's face it um do check out we're on single figures now do definitely check out on that one because that's a beautiful quilt effie woods i'll have to remember um Deb Strain, I have to remember her name because I love that design. I, I love how whimsical it is. Beautiful. Um, right, we've got the Cottage Core quilt. Now, this was a really popular quilt. I think this is absolutely ideal as your uh, picnic blankets, you know, for your... Well, it's a very, you know, po indulgent picnic blanket, isn't it? I know. But or a big if you're going out for a really fancy you know we were talking about ascot today if you've ever seen them when they go out with their um really fancy picnics at ascot or beautiful garden parties where you've made a spectacular quilt show it off absolutely show it off i'm sure about heirlooms here it becomes back that uh, that quilt that you always remember doesn't it and these colors are lovely now it is absolutely massive so it's up to you you could even just stop at these four uh, blocks here and have like a lap style quilt because the finished size of it is 217 centimeters by 217 centimeters you're getting in total 13 different prints over 11 meters of fabric in this box it is weighty and it's coming to you with a discount. Um, oh, you've just taken 20 pounds off. Just like that, willy-nilly. Honestly, she's a rebel today, oh, Hannah. I can't remember the last time we worked together. We haven't worked together for ages and ages and ages, have we, Han? 169 pounds. 56.99, it's been ages. So yeah, she's spoiling me rotten. Haven't seen you since before your holes, way before your holes. Have you got any other holidays planned now? Or is that, is that your holidays? 
Oh, yeah, she's off to Amsterdam in August. Hundred and sixty nine ninety nine three split payments and fifty six ninety nine. How long have you uh, been with Steph now then? There was an awkward pause there. She's like, I don't know, over a year. And this is really lovely that you've got your uh, you've got your gingham print. Of course, I remember you were talking for ages and ages, and it was COVID, and you talked for ages. And obviously, Boris said that you couldn't meet up, um, you know, in only in the car park. And she says, I don't really want to go and meet up in the car park or don't really want to go and meet up, you know, just on a park bench with somebody, I don't know. So it's a bit of a bad precedent. So I had to wait until the pubs were open. <laughs> then she went on a date months and months and months and months later. Oh, yeah, so you've actually been together for years, years and years now. If you'd want a good uh, wedding planner, I'm a very good wedding planner. Not quite ready for that yet. 11 meters of fabric. <gasps> when was this on air, Hannah? On the 10th of March, this was aired, if you do want to watch the show back. Sorry, I didn't know that was coming. <laughs> oh, honestly, I have always felt really sorry for people who have had hay, fe hay fever, but I've never always, I've never really got it because I've never had it. So I've always been like, oh gosh, your eyes are streaming. Oh, it must be really horrible for you. And this year, I feel like karma's kind of got me because I've just not been that sympathetic with Kieran who gets hay fever every year. And oh my word, it's the pollen what is it that Debbie said it was a pollen bomb yeah oh no a tree pollen oh dear honestly someone was cutting the grass yesterday I was like please will you stop cutting your grass it's really getting up my nose <gasps> so thank you for all your uh, hay fever tips 169 pounds for your large cottage core quilt it's 117 centimeter square 11 meters of fabric it's one of the biggest quilts of the hour uh, and it is still on split pay for 56.66 Okay, we've still got loads to do. Uh, don't worry, we're, if we run over, it's fine. We'll run over with Debbie again. We've got a sewing machine round up in the last hour. So yeah, we're gonna uh, make sure that we answer all your questions. Talking about sewing, sewing machines, our brother machine. Here we go, just go down to the basement. We have got our brother computerized sewing machine. <gasps> I know a lot of people have put this in their basket and might be umming and ahhing about this today. Don't wait. Remember, you've got a three year warranty. Get it home, have a play, watch the show that Stuart presented um, back at the start of the month, the 8th of June, um, when this launched, because we had hundreds of these launched, um, and we're now down to, well, if everybody checks out, we've got less than five. Less than five. Uh, just 399. <laughs> 399 pounds, I was amazed when I saw that price, especially when I heard that, you know, it's got 250 built-in stitches, it's got an alphabet included, it's got a three-year warranty, it comes with an extension table. There are so many amazing plus points, and it's brother, it's a name that we know, it's a name that we trust. What's that? It's the newest member of our uh, sewing, uh, our sewing family as well, our sewing machine family. We're really lucky that we are, you know, we bring to you Juki, Elna, Janome, obviously, uh, but now Brother. We're very particular in the brands that we bring to you because we want you to be able to achieve the projects that we bring on air. If we sell you, you know, a rubbish sewing machine that isn't going to do those projects, then you're not going to come back to us and buy the projects, are you? So if you are investing in a sewing machine, we have to make sure that you can quilt on it, you can do your uh, bag making, toy making, dress making, whatever it is that you want to do. On here, if you're a dressmaker, you can do stretch stitching, you can do an overlocking suit. There's so many different stitches for all of your sewing needs, all 399. Uh, it is, it's our most popular, what were you saying, sorry, Hannah? 
Oh, which I find absolutely incredible. The fact that you've got the most affordable sewing machine on your screen with an alphabet and extension table. I mean, there's so many amazing plus points of it. Uh, I don't see this as an entry level machine by any means at all. It's got so many great functions, but today at that price, fantastic it took us ages for us to bring it to you because we wanted a more affordable machine to really do a good job as well so yes you can get a machine in the supermarket that might bounce around your table that after a few months you might think do you know what this just isn't working for me it's letting me down as a sewer uh, that you end up buying another one and spending more because you're having to purchase multiple times whereas brother you know that you've got that reliable name that robust feel it is a really well built machine maybe this is your first computerized machine maybe you've already got a big machine and you're after a second machine to go to classes and workshops to Maybe you just love Brother as a brand. Uh, this is your chance, while well, your last few chances remaining at £399. Hate to sound like a broken record, but as it is Sewing Machine Week, we're about to sell out of one of our most popular and our most affordable sewing machine. Do you know when we're going to get any more of the embroidery machines? No. No, we haven't heard from it. Um, they are out of stock, that's all that we know. They are out of stock, so could be a while until we get any of these machines back in when these go as well it's definitely worth making the most of those i would hate for you to miss out so the only reason i wanted to highlight that again is another four people have got it in their basket so just be aware best of luck hi neve neve message in i have three brother machines absolutely love them and they're so easy to use this is what I find is amazing, is that it's so intuitive. So if you're working with a different brand, sometimes you can look at a different brand and it looks like, you know, if you get into a different car and you're like, oh, I don't know where anything is. Where are the window wipers? Where are this? Where's, where are the lights? Is this going to happen? Whereas actually, the great thing about Brother is that you can get in and drive it. You can just get in. And no matter what brand you're used to, um, it's, it is one of those things that is so, so useful. Talking about comparing it to a car as well, it's simple things like, nowadays, if you're going to buy a car, I have to have one that's got power steering. Like, you just wouldn't look at one that doesn't have power steering. This has got your automatic needle threader. Wouldn't look at a sewing machine now that doesn't have an automatic uh, needle threader. It has a really lovely one. Um, here, there you go. Your automatic needle threader is there as well, which is just a game changer, isn't it? Uh, 399. If you've got any questions about it, get them in and I can ask Neve. <laughs> if you're thinking of teaching on this machine or buying a younger member of the family, it's also got that speed control dial as well, so you can slow it right down. You can use it with or without a foot pedal. Um, the button on, let me find it on the front here. There it is, that one. That one at the front, it means you can use it with or without your foot pedal. Start, start button, which is good. If you're working with, especially with children that can't reach the foot pedal or uh, maybe, you know, you might have different issues that you can't reach the foot pedal yourself or can't, you know, struggle with the control of your foot, then that's perfect. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions about it, get them in. If I can't answer them, we can try and find out for you whilst we're live. So it's definitely worth asking away whilst I'm here live until one o'clock. But thanks for your message, Neve. Thank you. Okay. It is great though, isn't it? I know that Stuart says whenever he works with um, uh, workshops and classes, uh, if he's using Brother sewing machines, he knows that he doesn't need to faff about for the first hour of the workshop showing people how to work it because they just get on and use it. And that's what's brilliant, isn't it? And a lot of the time when you go to sewing workshops, you can spend the first half an hour trying to figure out how to use the sewing machines. Take your own. I mean, that's, that's a brilliant machine to, to use. Uh, so, Jules Muth was watching earlier on. Come on over with me because look at the quilt that's up. It's been up all day. Oh, there's the cottage core quilt. There's the big cottage core quilt as well. Um, I'll show you that in a minute. So, we've got time. I know we've run over on every hour, but don't panic because Debbie is aware. She's happy. She'll still get the full hour. Um, so, this is Jules Muth design with our beautiful, beautiful panel. I love this fabric. Isn't it so pretty? really lovely pastel purples look at the size of the quilt behind me and it's 34.99 that's not your split pay payment number one that is the whole spank it's not even on split pay 
because you don't need split pays. Thirty four ninety nine. It's absolutely amazing value. So what do you get in there, Hannah? Oh, I've got it actually. I can tell you. I've got it here. Um, you have got your instructions oh so it's us the marion instructions jules me you've made it for us i'm lovely thank you alison so you've got this is the one that we had two in one so you have got your purple and then you're getting two sets of instructions there really because you've got your twisted and you've got your strips i don't know whether the panel is big enough to do i don't think it will be big enough to do both but if you um you've got your own fabrics you've got two you've got two in there maybe you've got stripology maybe you've got um different strip panels then you've got two patterns two different quilt patterns in there but how gorgeous is this do it reminds me of do you remember care bears that's what it reminds me of it's so cute it's the really lovely pastels but all hearts I love them. I've been listening to um, a lot of Harry Styles because I'm going to see Harry Styles. And do you know, do, 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 do. do you know that song? No? No response from the gallery, so they don't know. But you're all singing along at home, aren't you? Um, what is it? I can't think what the actual song's called. Something like, treat people with kindness. Do you know that one? Treat people with kindness, Hannah. I've got a cold, I've got hay fever. <laughs> Sorry, I'm singing through my nose. $34.99, your panel, your instructions, and your lavender um, fabrics as well. Do you know what? I retract my offer of organizing your wedding. She's gonna be a difficult customer, I think. Um, maybe I don't wanna do Hannah's first, yeah, as my first one. <laughs> Not her first wedding. It'd be my first wedding that I'm planning. <laughs> No, I think you'll just get married to Steph just the once. Just the once. I keep saying, oh, if I have to get married again, this is what I do. This is what I was like, obviously to Kieran, but I just mean if I were to do it again. Obviously. Although I did have a really bad dream last night and it's made me question everything. Do you know when you wake up in a really bad mood because you've had a horrible dream um, and you just think, gosh, imagine if that were real. It was awful, awful, awful. I feel all right now. Don't worry about me. Don't worry. Um, $34.99. That is the lowest price that you will get on a quilt kit, surely. And you're getting two sets of instructions from Alison Marion as well. Um, $34.99. Look, all of your pattern, your diagrams. Can you remember when this was launched? Have a look back on, uh, on Facebook, on YouTube, because it was demoed. I remember it was demoed. It was back in the old studio. Twisted stripes, strips panel. Most recently on the 13th of, oh, this month, that was with Jules. 13th of this month, if you want to watch it back. Uh, right, what have you got back in there? Oh, that's the pastel hearts. Um, that one's now gone. Let's do some Susie Duncan. This is lovely. I wonder whether she made this with Ben in mind. She's got a lovely grandson called Ben. Susie Duncan um, took this gorgeous 10 inch charm square pack, which has got little froggies jumping on the lily pads. The only way of getting this 10 inch charm pack is in this bundle. And I'll tell you what, actually, grab it because you're making a 14 pound saving on it. That's basically your instructions for free. Um, plus you're getting your two coordinating fabrics. So whether you're doing the quilt or whether you're doing lots of different storage tubs and bits and bobs for a, for a child's room. This is lovely, it's a big play mat, isn't it? It's a round and about quilt. Finish size is 74, 74 square. I don't know whether I've got an around about quilt here. Right, in fact, I do. It's not, it's not the frogs, but it's, it's very similar. Oh, it is. Look, it's got frogs, it's got snails on it as well. Oh, this is so cute, isn't it? You've got the little toadstools, you've got the, uh, the little froggies. What are, they, what are they called before they're frogs? Tadpoles. Have I got it upside down? Let me hold it this way. I don't think there's a direction, to be honest. There are obviously some directional fabrics, but play around with it. They are so cute. Oh, I do like that a lot. And the, uh, the blues and the greens go perfectly with it. 
that is lovely fabric isn't it uh, the only way now of getting your 10 inch squares is in your bundle 57 pounds and 93 pence you're getting a meter and a half of your lining a meter of peacock as well 57 pounds 93 and it will make a really big quilt it will make a really big quilt with your instructions from Susie Duncan and those of you that have watched Susie before she is a fabulous teacher really fabulous teacher so you'll learn lots from her instruction set uh, it's beginner friendly uh, design sashing twist on disappearing nine uh, patch block so you can see I mean these are blocks that you're going to definitely be able to use again you could do it in this fabric and then you could do like your grown-up version with Kaif. Not saying that this isn't a grown-up version, Charlie, because Charlie absolutely loves this. This is a bit of him. £57.93. So it isn't just frogs, look. There's your little tadpoles. These are the cutest little um, snails. I just love their eyes. They're so cute. We have got another version of this as well with sunshines. Lollipops and... Oh, do you know the rest of the words to that? Where does it stop? Sunshine, lollipops and daydreams. I, I don't know whether that, if the next word is daydreams or not. Right, so this is now with a Moda charm pack. It's still the same instructions. You definitely get your instructions. You get a metre of your sunshine yellow and a metre and a half of your red. And then in here, is this the only way of getting this charm square pack as well? Oh, and this is so cool. Look. Oh, look, there's vegetables and the vegetables have a face. Look, he's a fun guy. And that's a, a fun radish. He's a fun tomato, but he is a fun guy, isn't he? You got stars. Thank you for laughing, Hannah. It was her joke. You then also got your straws. You've got, so oh, look, you've got little sunshines with faces. Oh, they are adorable. Apples with faces. Oh, I love them. Oh, my word, wait for the next fabric. Are these little earths? Oh, my word, look at this one. So cute. Oh, love it. Love it, love it. Oh, my word, I've never seen this charm pack before. The only way you can get it is in the kit. Little peas in a pod. Oh, I absolutely love this one. You've got all of the different earths, look, the different colours. You've got rainbows in here. You've got green colourways. You've got yellows. There's the rainbows. Straws, stars, sunshines, apples. Oh, gosh, there's loads you're going to be able to do with this. £62.93. This is, again, a fantastic price. Two and a half metres of your solid uh, fabrics as well. And your Susie Duncan instructions. Rainbow Garden. Do you know what? I can't choose now. I love, love, love that Moda Effie Woods one. I loved that. But this is so fun and vibrant as well, isn't it? Maybe for a slightly older child, this is going to be really good. I say that, but... It's good sensory, isn't it, having the bright colours? But that looks lovely in your home, in a nursery. It's hard, isn't it? Because I always... All of the, the colours that I've picked out for Mason's Nursery are very sort of neutral. And everyone said, oh, it's really good for their sort of sensory development to have lots of bright colours. So it's like, yeah, but my themes are, are greys and creams. But they do look really lovely. And, and we have got lots of bright colours now in our house. You can't... Yeah. You can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. Especially when you have a first birthday party and all of a sudden you've just got, yeah, chaos toys. Chaos toys. Um, okay. Oh, did you know I um, was singing last Friday at, um, it was at an event in Bedford of all places. And do you know who I met? Yvonne McAtamney's daughter, Helen. She came up to me and she's like, are you on Soap Street? She says, I thought it was you. Oh, yes. Oh, Yvonne McAtamley launched these two kits last time I was with her, and they were so popular. I'm surprised we have any left. In fact, I've got three kits from Yvonne McAtamley. Um, I've got the Strawberry Thief wall hanging, which is absolutely amazing. This is the largest one. They've already been selling on pre-order. It's $36.99, and it's a really lovely applique project. So you've got your blue, you've got your... Oh, look at this. 
It's a Strawberry Thief applique project. And look, all with William Morris fabrics as well. Kitted so beautifully from Village Fabrics, it's the last of stock. That could be the central panel on a quilt. You could applique that onto a cushion. You've got the templates uh, and you've got the fabrics. You've got everything that you need. You could put a dowel at the bottom and at the top and hang it. And at the bottom, you could hang like calendars or I was thinking you could do some really lovely macrame at the bottom of it, couldn't you? Like do some sort of fringing macrame and have it, you know, yeah, you like a calendar idea. Sixty-four ninety-nine for in your workroom. Yeah, that'd be really nice. Good idea. Good idea. That is a lovely one. Did you see the other um, projects that Yvonne launched? This was um, the time before she was here, but last month she launched these Mama Duck. Oh, we've had some really lovely projects for children, sort of nurseries and, and bedrooms. This is Mama Duck and we personalized it. It was so cute. There's an uh, embroidery on there saying, Mama Duck said, come back. And look, this daft one at the end. We said he's really daft at the end. Look, he's um, got his head in the water, dunking. And then what we did with the second one from the end was we thought he looked like he was singing, so we put musical notes. Put, we put glasses on the middle one and then little felt uh, wings as well. It's a panel, so it's really simple to do. In fact, it's sold out. Everything that you need is in there, including your felt. We've also got the brand new uh, this month beach hut kit. And can I show you these fabrics? Because they are really cool that Yvonne has, um, has sourced for this, this pattern. So in here, you've got your beach hut scene. Now these are just applique. You build up your scene and you, you do uh, your scene. So don't worry, you don't have to do all this stitching. You can absolutely add stitching, but it's already done for you, look because you've got this beautiful sort of sand dune grass. You've also got your pebble beach, both of them. You've got enough to be able to do the little flags there. Uh, these are for your beach huts. This is for your sea. They're just lovely textured fabrics. Then you've also got really well thought out and lovely quality for your background, uh, for your patchwork bits, you've got your squares there as well. It's a really lovely little uh, wall hanging. The size of it is 13 and a half by 12 and a half inches. But again, this, this could be on the front of a cushion or a, a front of a, a beach bag, but it is so lovely. A, a notebook cover or something. Front of a holiday album would be nice, wouldn't it? But you have got a bit of scope to sort of personalise as well. Like we've put the, the um, embroidery at the bottom here. You've got the lovely patchwork in your border. It's such a lovely collect, uh, collection. Maybe you've got memories from a special holiday. You could put like Devon 2022 or you could put... Uh, it looks a bit like Brighton Beach with the beach huts, doesn't it? 24 99 for your beach huts. Who's that? Uh, all of these for just $24.99. That is the latest collection from uh, Avon Makatamne, the latest kit that we have. Uh, is there anything else that you want to show, Hannah? Just to remind you, that children's quilt that I am absolutely going to get uh, is the Effie's Woods Moda by Deb Strange. It is strange. It was so lovely. Just when everybody checks out, it's gone. It's gone. Once everybody checks out, you've got in here that beautiful panel that says be brave, but there's also an, an owl one that says be wise, hedgehog that says be yourself. There's a bunny that says be kind. Everybody needs to check out. If you've got it in your basket, check out now. Uh, 44 99 on split pay as well. I would absolutely get that. And it is so adorable. The fabrics that are in there are lovely. And they even fussy cut some of these other fabrics um, for the hearts. I just think it's really clever how it's all sort of inter intertwined. Really pretty design. I mean, then, once you've got that pattern, how cool would this be? I'm just thinking of the Curiouser and Curiouser range from Tula Pink that you could highlight one of your favourite fabrics or use it to put photographs. That would be lovely as a photograph. Like, It'd be like a family tree quilt as well, couldn't it? You could put um, 
pictures of your family. Obviously, you've got trees and hearts. Could be a family tree quilt. I think that's a genius idea. Right, we're going to let everybody check out during the break. We'll keep it around to remind you later on. Um, anything else that we haven't got a chance to get to is all underneath us on the web, so have a look through. Don't go anywhere. Stay exactly where you are because we've got Debbie coming back with another brand new pattern, and I've got a feeling this is going to, get, again, be another sellout bag. Stay exactly where you are. Uh, Debbie Harris is coming up right after this. You are invited to a very special event, my birthday. I've decided to have an extended party across the entire weekend and I've arranged for so many exciting things for you to enjoy. I've got fabulous special offers and a free exclusive tote bag designed by me for anyone who shops on Sewing Street over the weekend. Join me for all the fun on Saturday the 18th and Sunday the 19th of June from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. See you there. Hi, I'm Jo Carter and I'm a soft toy designer and I quilt as well. I've been sewing for as long as I can remember. My great grandma, my nana, my mum all sewed and so it's something I grew up around. If I was to give some advice to a new sewer, somebody who wanted to try it, um, that would be to watch a few tutorials but then to just give it a go. Um, and try not to focus on achieving the perfect end result. Instead, at first, oh, well always, focus on enjoying the process and learning a new skill so sort of those perfect results will come in time but developing a love for sewing i think is a really great way to go and a tip i've been given that i still use today is make sure you have plenty of seam rippers it's frustrating enough if you have to remove some stitches but then if you can't lay your hands on a seam ripper and you have to hunt around for one that makes it doubly frustrating um, so yes plenty of seam rippers would be my um, go-to tip Join us for Sewing Machine Week. In honour of National Sewing Machine Day on the 13th of June, we've extended it to a whole week on Sewing Street. We've got product tutorials, expert demonstration, and brand ambassadors joining us from leading sewing machine brands, including Elna, Brother, Juki, and Janome. Whether you want to upgrade your machine or just learn some new skills for your current machine, there's something for everyone. Join us next week from 8am to 1pm. See you there. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. 
Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. such a lovely day today welcome back to the hottest friday i think we're gonna have this is the only hot day of the year isn't it really like the hot 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 day and i'm actually looking forward to tomorrow it cooling down so hopefully you're staying inside you know maybe i keep your windows or your uh, your curtains or blinds shut or something today because it is going to get really really hot stay with us and uh, do some lovely sewing now we've got some more great ideas i'm going to actually grab the bag from behind here because this is gorgeous this is the camden bag it is brand new from debbie habits designs i love the fabric choices as well today this is so cool now debbie i'm going to come straight straight to you because this is something that you said you designed after spending a lot of time in london mm -hmm. your son lives in london doesn't he yeah he does so when we go to visit him we usually stay in camden yeah and i just love all the kind of 60s vibe yeah, so that's cool, down though. there and so I, I took inspiration from our time in Camden to make this bag. Oh, so it's I love the Camden it. Bag. Uh, so in your bundles, just so you're aware, everything today is selling out very, very quickly. If you have got these in your basket, be quick to check out. So you've got your pattern, which is always beautifully presented, um, really, really thorough as well to help you out. Plus, we've teamed it with three really lovely fabrics. So you've got half a meter of your spotty fabric, which is for your lining. And then you've got your two coordinating fabric, which is your cream uh, paisley design. And then you've also got, it, it's a really sort of lightweight denim, yeah, isn't it? it's really lightweight. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, that looks really lovely together. They complement each other perfectly. And that's the, uh, the same fabrics that Debbie's used to create the end sample for just £18.99. Um, that's your cream paisley and dark blue denim. But as I said, it's a really lightweight cocktail. It's a really lightweight denim. Um, so don't worry if you're thinking, oh, but I've never sewn with denim. It's going to be too heavy. Don't panic. It's nice and lightweight for you. Uh, right, we also have the reds, please. The reds are really nice. These paisley prints are perfect for these designs. You've got your spot, you've got your lightweight denim again, and you've got your really cool paisley design. Um, go on, Hannah, just be aware. You do get the three fabrics that you see here. I think um, they've missed one of the photos off the website, photograph. Don't panic, you do get all three of them. Oh yeah, you don't just get those two, you also get the polka dot as well included or £18.99 and you're getting your instructions 
I love that. I think that's going to look amazing. Uh, don't let that one pass you by because that's the one that we're not going to be demonstrating with. So that's the only one that um, we won't have seen made up. So do make the most of that because that's going to look really cool. The one that Debbie is uh, demonstrating with is this one. It's been all about the teals and the, the the mints and the blues today, hasn't it? I've got a feeling this is going to be the most popular. Everybody's going, oh yeah, I like that one. Eighteen ninety nine, all three fabrics. So you've got remember two fat quarters, which is your large paisley print and your your denim. And because obviously the size of the the patchwork on the front and the back, you're not going to lose any of this this lovely uh, design, even though it's a larger scale print. And then you've also got your spot for the um, for the lining. I don't know what's happened, but the photograph on this one doesn't have the, the spot of the lining as well. But you do get it. Don't worry, you do get it. You'll get all three fabrics for eighteen ninety nine plus your instructions as well. And we're going to see how it all is constructed. Don't worry that we've come into the hour late. We will give Debbie as long as she wants, as long as she needs, as we're only on our, our own in the last hour anyway. Um, have I got another bundle here? Is it this one? Right, so this time you're getting like a light rose spot and you've got a really lovely, oh, that's a nice paisley print. They've called it light blue denim, which it is light blue denim. But it isn't necessarily the main feature, is it? So yeah, that's the light blue denim one. I know they've all got blue denim, so just that's your light blue. I like that one. I do like that one. Hannah really likes this one. Um, plus you've got your instructions, of course, as well for 18 99 What's in the lead at the moment? That one, pre-order, lots of people went for that one. Does that on the uh, website show the picture of the spot? No, no, don't worry. You are going to get all three fabrics plus your instructions at $18.99. Uh, this is a really cool bag. I love it. And it's still, it's got, has we got H640 mm, in there again? So it's nice really, and... yeah, nice and scrunchy. I like the, uh, it's nice and soft. Um, what other fastenings do we have in here then? So we've got a magnetic fastening. Mm -hmm. uh, you've also got your inside pocket in there. Yeah. So really useful, especially if you don't want to take a big bag out with you. Crossbody strap, ideal to keep your purse, your phone, your keys in. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a little key fob inside <gasps> as well. Oh, that is handy. How often yeah. are you there scrambling trying to find your keys? Oh, mm -hmm. I know I always am. So that's really, really handy to have that as well. Uh, how much of the H640 do I need? Is a uh, half a metre all half, right? Oh, half a metre is plenty. Yeah, yeah, it's wide actually. Isn't yeah, it? you only need two of the pieces just to cover the front and back. Oh, there you go. So yeah, five ninety nine. If you do want to add any other H six forty to your order, um, right? We have got all of our different uh, bits and bobs. Oh, sorry, tip my microphone uh, to go with. So if you do want to do, um, it suits you there. Yeah. I do like Suit that. you. Thank you. I like it. I like it a lot. You're doing all right today. I'm off to London You've tomorrow. Got a bag I was going to say this will do with London pink tomorrow. I'm doing all right, right today. Um, you've got here your um, adjusters. Now, if you do want to have it as a cross body bag, which I know all of us love a cross body bag, we're going to talk through about how you can you do your adjustable mm -hmm. strap as well. You can make it a fixed length. We haven't included these in the bundle because you might want it just at a fixed length. But if you do want to adjust it, I think it makes it that next step up if you've got an adjustable strap, mm. doesn't it? So it's £2.99. You've also got your, retract, uh, your rectangular rings, which are these ones here. Uh, so if you do want to add these, I like to call them, you know, your bag furniture. These are the things that are going to give you a real professional finish. Mm. You've got your retractable rings, obviously two of them, um, for £2.49. You can make your own strap if you want. I like the finishing with the webbing. It goes it goes with all four colours. It goes with all four colours. Uh, this is a two-metre piece, again, for £2.99. Um, and it, a lot of people sort of cover these as well with fabrics, but it looks nice, just natural and bare like that, doesn't it? Looks nice. It works with all the uh, the fabrics that we've got today, and it works with the design. Just two pounds ninety nine for your webbing, your cotton ivory webbing. Uh, that's a two meter roll for you. Also, instructions on their own. Yes, we can. We've already had loads of messages asking, can we do the instructions on their own? Have you got your own fabrics that you want to, to use? Maybe you've got that new Moda collection that we were looking at in the first hour of all your sewing different notions. This is lovely. £9.99 to use for lots of your fabrics in your stash. 
Okay, so I suppose you would need two fat quarters and your half metre for your lining. Mm, so yeah, awesome. if you are going for fabrics in your stash, this is perfect. £9.99 for your instructions. Right, what are you going to show us then today, Debbie? I'm going to show you how to make the um, one of the front or back panels, because they're both the same. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, they're both exactly the same. Um, so we're going to make one, one I've already made, and then I'll show you how to do the straps, because the straps so that it is a real crossbody bag. Let me move those out of the way before they fly. This one here, can yeah. you see how this is on the front of the flap, um, ah, front, and, and that one's on, one's the, on back. the back, so that it sits really comfortably to wear a crossbody. So, but they're exactly the same, both okay. front and back are the same, so there's no confusion. She says. <laughs> <laughs> Famous <laughs> last words. On the telly. Famous last words. So in the pattern, same as always, lots of photographs and step-by-step -step instructions so you can just follow your way through. So I'm going to start with, um, they're all squares, so it's really easy cutting. You just cut out four of the squares, six and a half inches by six and a half. Mm -hmm. And you're going to place them like a checkerboard effect like this okay yeah I like that blue that blue face is really it's nice it's so nice so nice and this denim like you said earlier bit it's lovely and lightweight it's just it's not much thicker is it than the actual fabric itself no exactly so don't so panic really but nice it would weight. work really well then uh, when you get it home as well if you want to do it with a heavyweight denim if you're doing that yeah. cycling with jeans and things I think if I was using a heavier weight it might be an idea just to um, interface the cotton. Yeah. Just so that that then makes it the same weight as, as the denim. Okay, so make sure that you're sewing these so that it gives you that checkerboard effect. Especially if you've got a directional fabric, because you wouldn't want one going one way oh, yeah. and one going the other. <clears throat> so sew those. Always press, so lots of pressing. When I'm when I sew, it's sew, press, sew, press, or cut, sew, press. Any particular way that you need to press your well, seams on Well, ideally, this? you want to be pressing to the denim side, okay. really, um, so that it's the weight is behind that denim. But like I say, it's not much. Are it's you on? It is on, yeah. Oh, I've not switched it up too high. Um, I've not, there's not much difference in the weight, so it doesn't really matter. And the colours are quite equal as well, aren't they? Certainly with this blue. So I'm setting my seam, and then make sure that you are sticking together. Press to the darker side, in this case the denim, and then press flat. Okay, and then you're going to sew those two right sides together. So make sure that your seams here, they will nest because you've sewn both sides to the denim, they'll just naturally nest together so that your seam is gonna be nice and square and set. So then sew across that way. Do you normally sew barefoot, Deb? <laughs> I always Take do. Take your shoes off. <laughs> always do, yeah. I've, I'm always like this, like I've got one shoe on and one, one shoe, shoe off. off. <laughs> I walk around the house with one slipper on and one slipper off. We're all in our sandals today, aren't we? Yeah. We're all matching me, you and Hannah. And we all got the same ones on? Yeah. They're just so nice, aren't they? Comfy. They're so comfy. You either like them or you don't. The Birkenstock shoes. My mum always says, oh, no, I find them really hard. They She's literally like match my feet. Hannah introduced them to me and she said, you will be able to walk around the world in these. And yeah, I'll wear mine all I, I, everywhere. Yeah, I could walk miles yeah. in them, which I don't, is crazy um, for like a flip-flop, isn't it? Yeah, I don't really wear anything else in the summer. Yeah, they're Just really naked cool. with those on, Deb. Well, <laughs> God. No, I meant on my feet. <laughs> Just the Birkenstocks and the occasional trainer. I'm not a high heels girl. No, Are you? Oh, no, I don't. No, no, not no. Not no, these no. days. I used not to. Not these days. Not after lockdown. I think we've all got yeah. so used to being comfy. Haven't I'm so we? pleased that comfy shoe footwear is definitely in it's fashion. It's yeah. uh, What is it? Crocs and. I'm not sure about Crocs, are you? I haven't got a pair. Do you no, like I still a don't pair? know how I feel about them, but they are very fashionable they've got all the new like, they? fancy are colors they yeah they are fashionable i'm not and they're sure be really comfy i'm not sure about them especially with socks um yeah I'm they're all on love island wearing I, them I, you I, see I know. with socks i know i'm not sure they're not for me crocs but hey each to their own isn't it yeah well we you know we're just not trendy enough are well we, we're just the birkenstock <laughs> girls obviously but yeah 
So I'm fusing the H640 onto the, f the actual front, not the lining piece. Okay. Because I'm then, once I've done that, I'm then going to quilt the bag. Just so it gives it a bit of definition and a bit of, nice bit of quilting so that you've got some um, pattern on it as well. well. So you could do sort of, this is a good chance to sort of do, use your decorative stitching yeah. or quilt, do as much quilting or as little quilting as you want. Yep. I've just extended my um, stitch length because it's just a top decorative stitch, it's not a seam. Okay. Um, I like to go either stitch in the ditch with this one, so you stitch in the, across the centre, or, the, as I have here, to just sew quarter of an inch away from the centre lines, so that you're getting like tram lines. Oh yeah. Going both ways. And what colour thread are you doing this with? Just like a this is or? a creamy colour, yeah. yeah. So I tend to stick to neutral, colours. I'm not a big fan of white, you know, like a bright white. I like the ivories or a cream or a grey, a light grey. You sort of have your favourites, don't you? Yeah. Well, white can look quite stark. It can. And show yeah. up a lot. <laughs> yeah. And I like, um, oh, that's got a crease in it there where it's top stitch. I like a lot of white on white fabrics. So actually, they're not always exactly white. There's yeah. a lot of creams yeah. and greys in those. So I'll just stitch this one and then you can see what it looks like. But because I've not pressed the H640 down, oh, yeah, it has yeah, got a little probably. ripple. But I'm just going to unpick that. It won't be a problem. So when you're at home, spending all the time, you know, press, making sure that you're H640 is adhered. Yes. So can you see how mine's just puckered look? So I'm just going to unpick a bit of it and yeah, then I'd redo it. Yeah, you don't all, do you? No, you can just unpick a little bit, but I won't um, alter that now. But if that was yours at home, you could just unpick. Okay. So press those down so it's nice and, as you said, Vic, when you're at home, make sure your H640 is really pressed anyway, and then you won't get that pucker in there. But you can pretty much press that out. Yeah, you can, anyway. can't you? Yeah, so that's cleared that. If I go back over it, let's do that quickly. And then that's done. Oh, I keep pressing the pedal to put the foot down. Because it's used it, to it, that's duking. what I'm used to at home, yeah. You just go into autopilot without even thinking, don't you? So that's one of the fronts done, or the back, because they're both exactly the same. And then I'm going to get my ruler and my rotary cutter and at this point because that wad in the H640 is just slightly bigger because when you quilt it does shrink okay so to cut both that and the lining at the same time I'm going to place those on top carefully because I've only cut it quite short it's not loads of space so that you I always do this whenever I'm cutting anything I won't cut the lining piece out first I'll always cut, do the front, yeah. so I then cut the line into the front side, size of the front piece, if that makes sense. No, yeah, that's good. So you know it's exactly the same size, and it also gives you a chance to just neaten up any of those edges and square everything off. So I'm cutting the lining and the wood in, and the front, squaring it off. And then, you know, like you said, it all is going to match up. It's all exactly the same then, isn't it? Remember, you get half a metre of your um, Visaline H640 for 5 We have got it available today, which is good, because the other now sold out. We had the H630 bundle, but it's gone. So, square off that panel. And you've got your lining cut as well. And then what you're going to do, I love that polka dot um, contrast for the lining. Yes. So then I'm going to make the pocket. So the pocket, I've tried to keep, I like, I like to make a pattern that looks like it's nice and intricate and lots of details, but it's actually really nice yeah. and simple to sew. So with the pocket, same size as those patches, six and a half inch squares, squared. Place those right sides together and then I'm gonna sew all the way round, keeping my quarter inch 
uh, seam allowance. So this is a quarter inch all the way through, um, all the way through the project. Okay. Always have the needle so it's kept down so that when you get to the corner you can just pivot the fabric and it keeps you in place. Yeah, I see lots of these machines. Which one have you got there, Deb? This is the 570A, I think. 570A, yeah, that's got the needle down position that it just automatically, you can press it, that it, it defaults to needle down unless you don't want it to. Yeah, I like it. I always have the needle down because then you can just keep it down and it i almost use the needle down as, as a pin yeah you know yeah. it's keeping your work in place isn't it so i've sewn all the way round with a quarter inch seam press cut the corners off and i've left a turning gap at the bottom and then when you turn that out make sure you give it a bit of a poke a in the corners to get those edges really nice and square I love this paisley. Um, I've done it in the in I've done the pocket as you can see, the same as the front facing fabric. So, right, it so you have enough fabric in there to be able to do that. Yeah, yeah. So that that then contrasts with that spotting lining inside. So press that um, closed. Yeah, we all love the paisley. Charlie just said it. It's his favourite print. Is it? It always reminds me of. Um, Pajamas, yes. you know, old-fashioned. Yeah. My brothers Fancy. used to. My, well, I say pajamas. My brothers. My mum's got a photo of my brothers, um, both in matching paisley shirts yeah. and ties. And you know, ties you could hardly see the yeah. tie. So they weren't pajamas. They were uh, clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the sixties or seventies. So this is my lining piece. So that's the one I'm going to obviously sew this onto. So this is my pocket. So I've got my opening here and I'm going to place the pocket in the centre. So to get the centre, just finger crease the fabric so you find the centre. And I'm going to place this over that, find the centre of your pocket as well so it's nicely lined up. And you can place that wherever you want really. I okay. like it sort of two inches down from the top. Remember you're going to have a quarter inch seam allowance here and you're also going to have the magnetic clasp so make sure yes, you're going don't too high don't, not too high otherwise you won't be able to get your magnetic clasp in i'm just going to pin that in place in fact i'm going to top stitch across that top edge before i sew it in place extend your uh, stitch length when you're doing a top stitch just because it's decorative and then place it back. So that just gives that top edge a nice top top stitch. And it also, not only does it do that, but it reinforces it a bit, so it's not going to flap around or when you're trying to get your phone in it, it'll just make give it a bit more stability. So pin your pocket in place. It's a nice size pocket actually, isn't it? It's like you big, said, you can put your phone in. Yeah, you can put your phone in. And then on this one, I'm going to move the stitch width across so that it is nice and tight to that edge of the pocket. Charlie's learning loads today. Is he? Yeah. Two pink cushions, a bag. No. He'll have a stall next. Have you finished your block yet? He's bought his first sewing machine. Oh. Oh, fantastic. Brilliant. Charlie, oh, we changed your world. <laughs> it's catching, isn't it? This sewing lot it really is. We've got to get our new producer Ben now into it as well. That's you, your mission. You've got to get him sewing, Charlie. He does seem very invested in it. I bet he'd be a great dressmaker, actually. So there's your pocket sewn in place, and then you need to prepare these little straps for the bag strap. So there's three of these. One is for the inside that you're going to put your little lobster clasp on so you can attach your keys. And the other two are exactly the same. I've, got, I've only got one here because I've used the other, I've already sewn the other one in. 
for the back. So as we're making binding, just fold this square in half, in half again on both sides, and then fold in place. And then we're going to top stitch along both of those long edges so that that secures that and makes it a nice firm strap. Again, keep your stitch right close to that right hand edge. And you can keep your stitch length a bit longer because it is a seam, but it's not really carrying any weight, so it's fine at 3.5. These blues look beautiful together. I They're do lovely, aren't they? Combo. Okay. So you're going to do two different things with these. So you will have three. I've only got two because one is already on my sample back. Hang on, where are we? I'll say that's not quite in the centre. <laughs> there we go. So with this one, I'm going to place this with my lobster clasp because this is be your key ring, if you like, inside your bag. So oh, yeah. place your lobster clasp through the strap like this. Mm -hmm. And then... You're going to fold it, but not in half, because that would give you the raw edge at the top. So I'm going to go about half an inch lower with the strap at the back, and then I'm going to take that top, the, the front edge, over to the back. Okay. And then I'm going to sew it onto the bag lining. Oh, so you don't have a raw edge. Perfect. So you haven't got the raw edge. So you could, if you feel happier, you could sew that down. You could sew that as one piece and then sew it to the bag lining. How far down have you placed that then? Is that just it's, to avoid you? It's just, yeah, so I've gone down about an inch because you okay. need to make sure that, yeah, you're avoiding that um, seam allowance of a quarter of an inch because you're going to attach the lining to the back of your bag or the front. They're both exactly the same, so you just need to decide whether where I like to place. I always like the pocket to be on the side that's the going inside. to be close to my yeah. body. Yeah. So just, just work that out, but it doesn't matter really. So sew that in place, and I always do a box stitch. So what I mean by that is, I've gone round the square of where I'm sewing that seam, and then I'm going to do a cross across the centre, I'll show you in a second, just to reinforce those stitches. So it's secure because if it has got your keys on it or something, you want it to be held nicely in place. So I've gone round in the shape of a box, a rectangle, and then I've just gone across it. So you'll see it there. Look, let's get rid of those threads. How big is this bag? Do you know the size of it? It's just about because. 13 inch yeah. square. Yeah. It's a good size bag, isn't it, actually? Yeah. But it doesn't feel too big to be taking out, like you say, if you're going out for a day trip and you just want your essentials with you, it's a good, good handy size to have. Yeah, you can just get everything in it. You can put a br little fold-away brolly in, yeah. your purse, your phone. Yeah. yeah, and you could, or you could even get a book in there, couldn't you, yeah. as well, if you were going to the beach or something. So I'm now going to put my magnetic clasp on. So I've, again, I've done the other side, so I'm just showing you this side. Now again, where at the side I have the pocket, I always put the wider part of the magnetic clasp, probably the magnetic bit. Okay. Just personal choice, because you, you, then your smaller bit, the narrower bit, sort of flicks onto it, get, just pulls onto it with the magnet. So you take your washer. I've already, I can see the crease still from the center of the bag. Okay. And I'm going to measure down. It's quite important you measure down properly here because you want both the magnetic clasps to join. They've to got to, join. They've got to meet. Yeah. yeah, they've got to meet. So I went down an inch and a quarter, I think it was. Let me double check. Here's the one I've finished. Let me just double check because I don't want it to mismatch. I think it was an inch and a quarter from the top. Yeah, inch and a half because of the quarter inch seam allowance. So I'm just using the ruler on my little... Um, pokey tool here so an inch and a half it tells you on the pattern anyway if you're not sure but that's obviously personal choice and then I've just marked the center yeah and then I put the washer over the line the little dot that I've just marked on the center of the washer and then with my friction pen I'm just going to mark those two little marks on the washer that's like a template stencil take that off just to reinforce the lining, I've just cut a little bit of scrap fabric. It just happens to be white. It doesn't really matter what color it is. 
You could even use the polka dot if, again. And I'm just going to glue that little bit. It's about two inches by one and a half of fabric. Okay. That reinforces the lining where you're going to put the magnetic clasp. Right. Have we got any magnetic clasps, Hannah? Not many, though. Not many. So um, now, the swivel clips are about to sell out as well. I need to. I'm using my quick and pick, or you could use scissors. You better just to do to, a smaller hole first, aren't yes. you? Then go too big. You can always make a smaller hole bigger, can't yeah. you? And then I've just cut through those little pen lines. You don't need to iron that out because you're going to place your magnetic clasp over the top, so you'll, those lines will disappear underneath. Poke them through. Put your washer over the top like that and then split them open and that's your magnetic clasp in place nice and that just gives it a real nice professional edge so you're almost at the point of constructing the bag now so i'm going to take the front piece that i did earlier the only thing i've got left to do put my pocket on put my keyring holder put my magnetic clasp on the only thing left on this side is the strap for or the little strap the tabs for the, for you. the tabs, that's yeah. the word, Vic. Tabs for your bag. Tabs for the strap. straps, that's it. So I'm going to put my rectangle ring this time through the loop and fold that in half. And then I need a little clip, actually, it would be better here. Got a clip somewhere in my. And then I'm going to measure two inches in. I think it was two inches. Again, let's double check. You know when you do your samples way ahead of time? Oh yeah, you want to You make can't sure forget all, all you, you tend to forget then all your measurements. Yeah, two inches. So I'm measuring two inches from that left hand edge and then I'm going to place that clasp or that tab just there and I'm going to clip that in place whilst, make sure all the raw and that's onto the together. inside of your bag. That's on the inside of the lining facing you. Okay. Yeah. And then take the front of your bag, the other panel, place that right sides together, so facing down. So don't need to sit just down yet. Will that just be enclosed in my seam then? I That's don't need to right. Sit now. Yeah. So then I'm going to pin or take another clip. So I'm going to sew across this edge here. Right. So I'm just going to make sure my corners are lined up. Holding this with one hand, just remove the clip and then place it back on. And just double check that all those raw edges are lined up together and then you're going to sew all along that edge and that's when it all starts to come together so I'm what am I on I've, uh, so I'm just going to move my needle back to a quarter of an inch um, and reduce the stitch length as well now remember today with those sewing machines I think it might be one of the last days we're coming to the end of sewing machine week you get a free walking foot so for I mean at the moment it's it's uh, the machine you've got there is the 570 am I right Deb yeah so I mean at the moment it's managing fine without walking foot but if you are doing lots of bag making and starting to work with lots of layers mm. we do recommend putting a walking foot yeah. on I, I mean I, if I had the walking foot now I would I would use it yeah because you've your sandwiches the lining, the top piece, the H640 and that tab. Yeah. So there's quite a lot of layers so the walking foot will just help it feed through better. It says standard closed toe foot on the graphics there, but which is a walking foot basically. Um, we'll show you them in the next hour, don't worry. Um, yeah, we'll show you them before the end of one o'clock, but they are amazing. So I'm just going to set that seam just to make sure that it's nice and embedded those stitches and then when you open it out that's wow, what you will have enclosed. so it's all the tab is all enclosed in your between your lining and your outer piece that's not affected and there's room there between the top of your bag and the magnetic clasp so I'm just going to press that seam out as well just so it's fully open because I'm now going to construct the bag and I'll um, show you how the strap goes on because the strap can sometimes be a bit tricky, can't it? Oh, absolutely. Um, just before you get to that part, let's just have a quick recap. So the bundle that Debbie's working with is with these really lovely blues and teals and mints. So you get half a metre of your spotty uh, turquoise. You've got half a metre of your like denim and sorry, that's a, a fat quarter and a fat quarter of your really lovely paisley. And that also comes with your 
instructions for £18.99. So all three fabrics that Debbie's working with, £18.99. The one that the sample was made up of is of your creams. Um, so this one's got the paisley, the blue uh, denim and the tan lining. So half a metre of your tan lining a fat quarter of your denim and then also there it is there's the finished bag and then you also have your paisley print as well i've got it here it looks amazing with the especially with the the um the strap as well it all ties in nicely in this colorway doesn't it and yeah we've used the magnetic clasp um, you've got the big pocket on the inside which is the contrasting fabric to the spot all works nicely so you get your instructions included 18.99 and all your fabrics um we then also have the reds as I said, don't let this one pass you by. This is going to look great as well. I think this was Hannah's favourite. You've got the red polka dot, your half a metre of denim, sorry, fat quarter of denim, and your fat quarter of your red paisley, half a metre of your spot fabric, all eighteen ninety nine, and along with your instructions included as well. We've also got the pinks. Now, I know that we're not demoing with it at the moment. It's called like denim. It's so popular. It's been really, really popular on pre-order. You can now get it at 18 99 You do get your instructions as well. Half a metre of your rose pink, really lovely polka dot. The light blue denim, uh, fat quarter, and then the red paisley as well. Instructions all for 18 uh, All of those uh, fabrics are available individually, by the way. So if you really love, for example, that blue, it's available by the half metre underneath us on the website. Uh, right, so where are you up to now? Sorry, Debbie. So I have now got, you've just seen me make this one. This is half the bag. And this is the one that I made when I was at home. So it's exactly the same, yeah. except the other half of the magnetic clasp, the thinner half, and the um, tab for the strap. But it's in exactly the same place. Okay, so they're the same. So now, what I'm going... Oh, no, I put that on the wrong Yeah, side. don't worry about um, why does time. Every, We're gonna why does anyway. everything always go wrong when I'm on the TV? What have you done? That's on the wrong side, Vix. Oh, But no. I'm going to unpick it. I'm going to unpick it. Yeah, we have time. Don't have worry, we? we've got plenty of time. Have we? Because yeah. what you want... Let me show you what I've done. So don't make the mistake, as I have, where you're doing the... This is what I just thought. They're on the same side. These tabs... Uh -huh. are on the same side right so let me just unpick it because it, i'll show you how simple it is just to if you do go wrong i mean my quick unpick this week i don't know why it's been one of them weeks it's been my most used tool in the uh. toolkit i put something on facebook the other day i don't know if you saw it about what is your favorite um tool yeah when you're sewing and I, I honestly, I think it was fate, you know, because I didn't really think about a quick on pick. I was like, is it your sewing machine? Is it the fabric that you enjoy? Is it this? Is it that? Um, and all week, all week, I have done a lot of sewing this week, though, but all week it's been my quick on pick. Well, like you say, it's your worst enemy, but also your best friend <laughs> a lot of the time, <laughs> isn't it? You is. curse it, but then also it helps you out. Oh, God, yeah. But I want to get it right because I just want to show you how this strap works. It has to be right, otherwise it won't work. So let me just sew that seam back up. That's not a bother. I don't take my own advice, which was make sure you do it the same way. And then I'd gone and done it the opposite way. Well, we got the instructions. We'll follow your instructions. Yeah, the instructions so. are right. Yeah, so if this, I've tried to keep it simple, you see, because if you do them both the same way, it keeps it easier. Yeah. So on this panel, you can see the colours are the same, uh -huh. and that's the same. And then this one, I'm going to now just unpick this about two inches, wasn't it? So that I can insert the tab here be careful when you're unpicking though because this is a sharp one it must be a new newish a one. one um you don't want to unpick stitches um and cut the fabric i've just cut the fabric there so let's just unpick it gently there we go and now let's just place that in so measure two inches in from the side um let me just 
this machine is so good. The stitches are very, <laughs> st they're very strong. My quick on pigs go in. No, not doing that. Not today. There we go. So unpick those and then take that two inches from that edge and pop it in. Let's go in that way. It does look a little bit confusing because it's on the same side as the tab I've put in for the key ring, but you can place yours, of course, wherever the you side, want. That's it. There we go. So, start again. Just make sure that's it's a good caught. thing with sewing. You know, nothing's that final. You could always no. pick it. You always get back. Just breathe and carry on. You're yeah, fine. that's it. It's always. You can always put it right, can't you? Oh, well, sometimes if I get really frustrated, I have to walk away, have a cup of tea, and come back to it. And it always <laughs> yeah. looks a lot better, a lot less yeah. daunting when you come back to it. Yeah, sometimes, you, you because everything with sewing, a bit like this, it's all the other way around, isn't it? So if you walk away, then suddenly you can see it clearly. Okay, so that's on the right way now. We got there eventually. So that's what I was saying about those being in the same place. That's how they want to be. Right. Then you're going to fold that one in half so you've got the line in. Imagine that's, you know, sort of one side of your bag, yeah. if you like. And this is the other. Yeah. Okay. And then what we're going to do is put the strap in place before we start to construct it. So that's how it should look. So you've got one tab with the rectangle ring on the left and one tab with the rectangle ring on the right because that's how it's going to work as a crossbody. Then you take your strap and we're going to put this slider in place. Okay, now this is the bit that I always get confused with. Yeah, so I'm going to take it steady. So I'm going to take the end of the um, strap, push it up through the slider. Oh, they fit perfectly as well with the Absolutely sliders, don't they? perfect size. I'm going to do it the other way because I'm right handed. And then back through. Don't pull that tight though, keep it with a big loop because you're going to go back through that in a minute. Okay, so keep a big loop. Then, that's why it's nice to construct the bag in the way it's going to be when it's finished. You've got your slider then. Make sure it's facing you, so it's the right side facing along with the bag. Go through your rectangle ring that's on your bag, and then you're going to re reverse what you've just done here. So you take that strap under, Move that out of the way and then you can see. Take it back underneath. Make sure this loop is really, really big so it gives you lots of play. And then back up through the first loop you went through. And there, that's done. Oh my word, that is something that I literally will have to watch along on YouTube. Yeah, I was going to say, you. You, could, you perhaps need to just watch that again so basically your strap is going up and over the bar and down through your rectangle ring yeah back up yeah the opposite direction under the ring yeah and then here okay and then what you're going to do i'm just going to pull it back a little bit because you're then going to sew this end because obviously that's still loose at the minute so i'm going to take that underneath by about uh, an inch you can afford an inch on this bag because the strap's two inches. Um, two meters. Two meters. So you've got loads of play. And then I'm going to do that same box design. Let me draw it on to show you because you can't see it, especially when it's the same color uh, thread. So I'm going to sew up there, across, and then I'm going to go across the center like that. Right. So that's how I'm going to sew it. You always see professional bags like that, but I don't know, if it, is it decorative or is it reinforcing? It's a bit both? of both, isn't yeah. it? It's more, I think, to re I do it to reinforce um, the bag strap so it's nice and together. Do you want to get the instructions on their own? £9.99, your main graphic is in. So I've made the stitch length longer because although this is a, this needs to be a strong stitch, you if it's if the stitch is shorter, the, the length, it will be a bit tricky because of the width, um, the width of you, that you've got. And you are you are going to have to sort of manipulate your strap and your bag around your machine, but that's fine. 
Is this doing alright without a walking foot? This is a good part to put yeah. a walking foot on actually though, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, I'm, it, it is doing really well, this machine, because there's three layers of web in here and it's no problem for it. Okay, just have to raise that up slightly higher to get the webbing out from underneath the foot, cut off your ends, okay? And then you can just use your iron to get rid of that friction pen mark. And then, to finish this strap off, then I'll show you how it all comes together. So that's nice and the right way round. Then you take your strap, you fold it in half. Can you see how it's quite long, isn't it? So make sure it's folded back on itself. And then with this one, are you going to use the full length of the strap? I'm going to use the full length. Yeah. I don't know if I did actually. No, I would have cut some off. Let's measure, because otherwise it'll be even longer, won't it? Yeah, maybe cut about 12 inches off. Because it is a long piece, isn't it? Two, yeah. two meters. Good point, Vix. You were thinking, God, that back, even with this adjustable strap. I think it's going to be doubled up constantly, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, you don't want it. it doubled up all the time. A meter length strap. Yeah. So half it, you know, go up and over itself, bring it back, and then that half, end of the strap, goes through that ring, rectangle ring, and then this time you've not got any up and over on the slider, you then just pull in that back an inch, and then I'm going to secure that. And then we're nearly at the end. Are we you just, sewing another box here? I'm going to sew another box. Uh, don't forget to add your um, hardware to your order as well. So those rectangular rings that we're seeing in action there are £2.49. I like a bit of hardware on the bag. It just really gives it a professional it does. finish. And don't be put off by it. I think some people can think, oh, it's a bit scary. But you're not sewing the hardware. No. You're just sewing around it. You have got a lot of bag now to kind of manipulate around your machine because you've got the front and back attached because of the strap. Right. You have to put it on like this just so you get all the levels right. Okay, so there we go. That's all done. So once your strap is in place, then we're going to construct the bag, which is the final and simple part. So I'm laying out my lining pieces. Can you see how it's automatically, the magnet's worked itself, yeah. magnetised itself. <laughs> so this strap now, I'm just going to fold it up. Six left of the, uh, the colour that Deb is using, by the way. Single figures for the paisley and blue. So I'm just going to fold that strap up just so it's in the centre of the bag like that because that doesn't want now to get into any stitches. Open up the bags so you've got your right side and your right side facing of the front and back okay I'm gonna pin those in a minute and you've got the same with the lining and the strap is somewhere in the middle you don't yep. worry about that then I'm going to pin because there's quite a lot of fabric here now yeah you don't normally pin but you're advising to I pin. would here because you've got two seams here to line up where your lining meets the front and back panel yeah then you want your corners ideally to meet and these seams here. So you've got seams there that would be nice if they join. You've got your corner pieces, so they want to be matching. So I'm not pinning sort of every couple of inches, just at the key points. So I'm going right. to pin in the corner. Then here you've got another seam to match because it's those squares, that patchwork, isn't it? Uh -huh. Then your corners, again. The lining's easier because you haven't obviously got all these seams. So line those up and pin there, because they're key pieces, and this one, key parts, and that one, because that's where your lining meets the main bag. Then here, I'm just gonna pin in the corners. Yeah, there's nothing to match there got a little extra bit of fabric there <laughs> that's come from not that it matters because it would have been swallowed up in the seam allowance anyway and then you're going to leave a turning gap along the bottom uh, yeah make sure you leave your lining good enough. okay yeah. have I got time to sew around here Vicky to go, go all the way around what's that have I got time yeah 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 
couple got, of minutes a couple of minutes it won't take long and then we can see the finished bag these are great for giving out as gifts aren't they as well oh these are perfect and what's your angel policy with the bag again it's the Make same it's the same for everything yeah just please don't reproduce the pattern but if you want to make and sell absolutely please oh, do crap. yeah i love to see people selling things they've made yeah oh, i love brilliant. it and these are really lovely aren't they to have the craft fairs and i yeah. think they look lovely in lots of different fabrics aren't they yeah because they look they always it's like everything isn't it any sort of block it does look really different in a different yeah. fabric it's managing all right, you know, without a walking foot. Yeah, it is. I have just extended the stitch length whilst I'm going over the wadding because you've got two layers of H640 here. So what have you extended it to? I've gone to 4.5. Right, OK. Because it was sort of just finding it a bit difficult without a walking foot. If you are buying the 578, which Deb is using um, today, then you'll get a free walking foot anyway. So put it on. Normally we would be saying, look, it's managing all right without. You don't get one with it, but you could buy one for an extra 50, 60 pounds. You want for free today. Oh, brilliant. They're really, really useful. That's the uh, 570A that's in your graphics now. It says for standard closed toe foot included worth 54 pounds. That's your walking foot. That you're going to get, which is brilliant. It's on split pay as well, 166, 162 pounds, sorry, and 25 pence. It's so it's always nice, I think, to have the walking foot. I would buy it anyway, but if you're getting it, then that's a bonus, a real bonus, isn't it? Yeah. So go to the corner, stop a quarter of an inch from the edge, pivot. And because I've pinned in those where those seams meet, you know it's going to be all nice and neat when it's finished. And then we're back onto the line inside. So that's a lot easier to, that'll just fly through the machine. Yeah. You see the difference there. Don't worry, we will go back through all the bundles so you know exactly what you're getting. And then just this last piece along the edge of this bottom of the lining. And then we're there. Fantastic. So, let's have a look. And let's keep our fingers crossed that everything's where it should be. <laughs> Have you left a big enough gap? It's all all right. To I, be able to pull I, yeah, through. I always leave a really big gap yeah. because once I I just stitch it all along. Yeah. So why would you? Why would you struggle? struggle? We like an easy life, don't we? Oh, Vic? we do. Now this is the birthing of the bag, Charlie. You ready? Oh, trim your corners. That will just trim the corners. Help it be less. Just to bulky. remove any bulk. And then, yeah, birthing of the bag. It's always a bit of a strange expression, isn't it? <laughs> Da, 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 da. I love this bit, especially when it's all alright. It's always a big, oh yes. Poke out your corners. It's an exciting moment. Oh, it's lovely. Poke out your corners. That machine's gone beautifully round them edges because I was thinking, God, I hope I'm going to get those edges in, but it. And your points look like they're all matching up on your side yeah, seams. Yeah, they're all matching <gasps> up. Ooh. They're all matchy matchy. And then. Did you say, Charlie, bag. there's your bag? Your bag. Charlie said, I can't believe my bag is finished. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your bag with obviously your lining. Yeah. So then I'm going to push. Normally at home, you would then either hand sew, but I machine it yeah. across that gate, uh, opening gap. And then pop your lining in. Did you do any top stitching along the top? I would top stitch around Just that to hold edge. the lining down. Yeah. And there's your bag. Oh, it looks lovely. It Look really does. I mean, you've shown everything there. So thank you so, so much. In and an they meet. Well. And they make Yes! <laughs> oh, amazing. Thank you so, so much. So there you go. Love lovely it. Lovely little make. It is. It's beautiful. And it's all, it's all quilted and padded. It's beautiful. Really plush. It's, I think you'll have lots lovely, of fun making it? that. And you made it within an hour. Like, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So not good. Too, not too bad. Thank and you. And that so was much. with a bit of unpicking yeah, as well yeah exactly um when are you back um 
3rd of July. 3rd of July. 3rd so of what July. are you doing now? Are you getting back in your camper van? Now I'm going to go back in the camper and head home. Yeah. Yeah. Until maybe tomorrow we might have a go out for a picnic. Oh, I mean, Never that's know. amazing. I really want a camper van. Oh, I think it's get such one. a good life. Oh, they're great. Do you love it? Absolutely love it. Yeah. <sighs> We just go out, like, so tomorrow afternoon we might go out for a picnic. Yeah. And then if you want to go out a little bit further and stay the night. Yeah. Oh, it's brilliant. So good. Look at oh, Susie. Enjoy. So I, did put some, I did put some photos. I did <laughs> see last night. Please keep us updated Got with your journey. Yes. What's her name? Susie. Susie. Keep us updated on Susie's journey. Susie and Debbie on tour. Yes. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Thank you so, so much. Thank we'll see you. you third of July. Thank see you, you very there. much. Uh, right, we've got a quick roundup. Those of you that missed out, I think there's literally a couple of these left. If you do want the colours that Debbie was working with, that lovely minty greeny blue, the turquoise tone, half a metre of your spot fabric, a fat quarter of your light denim, and then also a fat quarter of that amazing paisley print, plus your set, uh, plus your pattern, all for just eighteen ninety nine. All your instructions are there. But I tell you what, jot down today's date, which is the seventeenth of June. Watch it back on YouTube. We just went through all of the elements there. Even, you know, the bit, the difficult bit with the threading your, your strap, you can literally pause it and do it along with Debbie. All for 18 99 Three fabrics and your pattern. We also have the one that this sample was made up with. I love that. Love, love, love it. Oh, sorry. There we go. Sorry, Charlie, my fault. $18.99 for all of your fabric. So you've got your lining fabric, which is that lovely spot. Um, you've then got a fat quarter of each of your, your paisley and your denim, uh, plus your instructions. Don't forget to add your hardware in and any H640 that you'll need. $18.99 for your Camden bag, brand new from Debbie Harris today. Uh, we then also have the reds. Now the red comes with half a metre of red spotty fabric. I don't think your photo um, on the web shows the red spotty fabric, but it does come with it. Um, you do get half a metre of the red spot plus two fat quarters, your red paisley and your denim, plus your instructions, all $18.99. And then finally, we have got the uh, rose pink spot, half a metre. The light blue denim, I think this bundle is called light blue denim. There it is. There's your light blue denim and then your red paisley as well included. And your instructions. It's all for $18.99. Instructions are available on their own. So if you've got fabrics already that you've got in mind for the Camden bag, £9.99 for your pattern. Uh, all of your measurements, everything that you need to know is in there all for under £10, which is fabulous. Um, hardware, etc., all underneath us. If there are any lobster claw clasps back, they'll be there. Any magnetic clasps, um, your adjustable rings and things, they're all underneath us. We are going to do a very quick break. We're going to come back with our final roundup of Sewing Machine Week. So all of the deals that we have available get them ready. Uh, any questions that you've got, of course, get them in. There's a lot of people who've got different uh, machines in their basket. If there is a reason why you're having an ring, ask. Please do ask. Now is the time because a lot of these offers end tonight. So definitely get them in. Don't go anywhere. We're back on the other side of this. Hi, I'm Becky. I'm the soft craft expert for Crafters Companion. Um, I come from London and I've been sewing pretty much all my life. I particularly enjoy doing embroidery. I'm really keen on that, but I've, I've, my background is um, dressmaking and also sort of patchwork and quilting. Um, so I do awful lot of sewing for all sorts of different things. I suppose once you start sewing, you start doing lots of other kinds of sewing. So I particularly like got into needlepoint um, during lockdown, but I suppose embroidery is probably my real passion. My mum was a costume designer, um, so we were always sort of surrounded by bits of fabric and material and ribbons and that kind of thing. And I was always making teddies um, and my dolls clothes as a small child. So it was just something that was quite natural. And in fact, I've got so used to being able to sew, um, it's just become a natural sort of part of what I do. Um, I'm always fiddling around with fabric, as my husband puts it, um, making something new, um, trying something out. 
always measure twice, cut once. Um, I'm a great one for not doing that and I always regret it. And making sure that you've got an iron to hand is really important. I use a tiny little, um, sort of almost like a travel iron that I have right next to my desk when I'm working so it doesn't take up too much space. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PP all day. about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PP all day. Hello 
welcome back. National Sewing Machine Week is coming to an end. So we've got today, which a lot of these offers actually are ending midnight tonight. And then obviously it's John Scott's birthday all weekend. I don't actually think they've got sewing machine shows this weekend. So, well, we don't. Uh, so some of the offers that finish at the end of this, uh, this weekend um, are gonna be live on the website still, but we're not gonna be talking about them on air. So if there is any questions you have, please, 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 get them in today. If you can get them in in the next half an hour, that would be amazing. If not, of course, our customer service team are here till midnight tonight, and I'm sure that they'll be able to help you and answer any questions. Now, we've got three machines on the desk in front of me here, which are part of an amazing offer where you get a free walking foot. The amount of times I talk about these machines, about growing with them uh, and, and uh, com uh, completing some of the most amazing projects that we bring on air, and I say, look, Look, if you just buy a walking foot from Elna, a lot of the time we don't actually sell these on air. I would advise you to go to Elna or to Janome to get your walking foot. But today we are giving a walking foot away for free. So if you are buying the 550, the 560 or the 570A, these three machines, oops, squeaky squeak, uh, that are in front of me, you're going to get your walking foot for free. And that's 54 pounds. I mean, that alone, amazing. And the whole sort of faff of having to go out and buy it or pay a postage, or, or, it's all covered. Plus, you're going to get that for free today. So, should we start with the 550? Because the 550 is a machine, it's the, oh, this one here in the middle. Um, they all look very, very similar. From the back, especially, they all look very, very similar. Um, the good thing about this sort of, the, the best thing I think about this, this, this range of machine is one, they're very portable. So for example, I don't have a designating sewing room. I don't have a crafting room. I know lots of people lucky enough to have their she sheds or have different crafting areas where they might um, have a big machine that they leave out permanently. If you want to pack this away, it comes with a really nice hard cover. It's easily portable. It's still robust. It's still got that name, uh, that name the Elna name and brand so therefore it's got the quality of the build but today um, you are getting that free walking foot which means you're going to be able to grow with this if it is your first to ever computerized machine uh, you're going to be able to do all your quilts with it of course you've got uh, your free arm so if you're working with uh, bags and you want to work in the round or sewing sleeves or or trouser legs or anything like that then you have got your free arm um, it's got a huge selection of stitches as well so the size here you've got 50 stitches on the side um, and you have actually also got your few quick speed dial buttons which are like on the front of the machine but you've got a great selection of utility stitches you've got some buttonholes there you've got some applique stitches a few decorative quilting stitches so all of those stitches included 549 pounds now as all three are in stock at the moment, this is a great machine and I'd always sort of champion the, the whole sort of series. But as all three are in stock and as all three come with a walking foot today, can I also show you the other two before you make up your mind? Because the 560 and the 570A have all of the same features as the 550 and some more. And actually the prices are really, really good on all of them. So the 560 is the next one up in the series, which looks very, very similar. Um, oh no, that's 578. So it looks very, very similar. It's um, this time got a hundred stitches, uh, but still, all of your utility stitches, your applique stitches, you've got uh, uh, quilting stitches, decorative stitches, all on these little flashcards at the side. So, for £619, you're getting double the amount of stitches, and you've got this button here, which is a game changer. The amount of times I ask guest designers who have got machines that are thousands of pounds, what was the reason they bought that machine? The amount of times they say almost top of the list, well, it had a thread cutter, it had this, it had this, it had this, but always is mentioned the thread cutter. Uh, generally, you don't really see thread cutters on machines unless you're paying four figures, unless you're in the thousands. So I love that. I love that it's got the thread cutter. Now, so the 550's got 50 stitches. 560 we saw had 
a hundred stitches. This one has got even more. So you've got your 50 stitches that we were looking at on the first machine. You then got your additional 50 stitches here. And look, you've got even more applique stitches. Um, we've got some really lovely decorative stitches on here. But then we also um, have your memory button. So this machine has got a built-in memory, which I love. So if you press this button, it will cut the thread after every stitch sequence. You can turn it off if you want. So if you want to leave your threads longer, for example, if you're gathering stitches, you can, but it has got the capability of cutting your thread at the end of every stitch sequence without having even to press the button on the front. So I love features like that. So that is the 560. Wait, before you make up your decision, it's the same size. It's still another uh, beautiful, robust machine from Elna, but you're still getting your walking foot with it. This time, you are getting an alphabet included and a memory of stitch sequences as well. So you've got here, number one, here, all of your buttonholes, your appliques, your satin stitches. Uh, mode one, uh, again, is all here. And then it's also got mode two which goes into even more decorative stitches, beautiful applique stitches, loads of, uh, of applique stitches there. You've also got, uh, look here, little um, cars and planes and boats. You've got an anchor, you've got a cat, you've got a spool, you've got little scissors, you've got a bow. You've got so many stitches there. But the game changer for me is then number three, well, I say number three, mode A. So mode one and mode two are these two. Mode A is your alphabet. You're also getting a full alphabet as well included. Uh, so you can start personalizing, you can monogram, you can, of course, use the memory button and create a whole stitch sequence of, of letters or dates or numbers that are important to you. So I think that is brilliant. If you want to uh, just pay a little bit more, but trust me on this machine, those features are ones that are going to take you through your sewing journey uh, to, to a whole new level. This has got all of the features. Um, and then also the ones in brackets are the ones where they offer more as well. So number of stitches, it says you've got 50 for the 550. It says you've got 100 for the 560. Um, and 380 stitches in total for the 570A. Uh, so you can see there are all your different technical features. If you do want to have a look on the Elna website, you can actually download the different manuals to see whether the, the specifications are right for you what sort of fits um, your sewing needs. As I know everybody's sewing journey is different, but in terms of a universal sewing machine that all of our guest designers use comfortably on air, I would probably go with the 570A. I know that this is one that uh, dressmakers come in and use, bag makers come in and use, uh, quilters come in and use, people who make soft furnishings come in and use as well. Plus, you are getting your free walking foot worth 54 pounds as well. 162 pounds on split pay, 162 pounds and 25 pence on split pay, plus your walking foot. Do you know what I love about this machine as well? It comes with an extension table. So if, well, you're getting your free walking foot. If you did want to buy a free motion foot, maybe, you can put your extension table on and do free motion. If you are working on larger quilts with your new walking foot, uh, then it is just going to help even out the weight distribution away from your, your needle in the center there. Don't be put off by the fact that it says closed toe. Because I said to Hannah earlier, I said, what, what's a closed toe foot? Why do you want a closed toe foot with my machine? They all have different names. So this one is the closed toe foot. It's a walking foot. It's what we all know as a walking foot. It's what we recognize as a walking foot. It's um, something that we always recommend to get uh, if, you're, if you're doing any uh, you know, bag making, any dressmaking with, you know, big boiled wool, or if you go through multiple layers with your, your quilting, 
they are an absolute game changer that's a, that would take your whole purchase over 700 pounds i mean that's a game changer for me if i could say right i can get this machine today i know i'd want a walking foot so it's going to cost me over 700 it makes a massive difference when you're saying right you're going to get a free walking foot the only problem is is that you've got to decide today because this ends midnight tonight uh, we've had an amazing week for sewing machine week but those of you that haven't been able to watch maybe you've been away this is your chance to make the most of that amazing offer where you do get your free walking foot included it comes with all the other feet as standard anyway it comes with a great array of feet anyway in fact you can see there it comes with um your Standard foot A, your satin stitch foot, your over edge foot, your zipper foot, your blind hem foot, quarter of an inch seam foot, an automatic buttonhole foot. Uh, but today it is really exciting that we're also offering you a walking foot. They all come with an extension table as well. They all come with an extension table. Um, we we normally sort of bring it on air, but to be honest, we've got a lot of sewing machines on the desk today, so it probably wouldn't fit. But the, all of the extension tables, all all three machines, all come with extension tables as well, and a two-year warranty through Elna, which we all know is brilliant. We've always loved Elna machines. That's what we launched our channel with. So um, they are your three five fifty five sixty five seventy free walking foot while stocks last until um midnight tonight i believe on oh no this one might actually be until sunday you know i think this one's till sunday all while stocks last i think it's the other ones where we're doing the 50 pound credit it finishes today uh, it's anyway it's coming to an end you're not going to see them over the weekend i know with john uh, but the offer is there underneath us on the website if you want to make the most of those so if we get a chance, I'll come back to these and we can talk through some more of the features. But I just want to make sure everyone's aware of all of the offers that we've got. So, which one do you want to go through next, Hannah? 680. Right, it's right over the far end. Come on over with me. I'm bringing my coffee as well. It's lunchtime, isn't it? So... Um, <laughs> Hannah's saying, I think we're famous for this machine. I think what you're trying to say is this is like a flagship machine. Uh, this is a machine that we have known and we have loved from day dot. In fact, when Hannah and I first started, you know, with the, the launch of Sewing Street, there was only a very small group of us, and we'd go through, uh, you know, different, we'd say, right, what, what, what products do we want? What machines do we want? The first machine that we had here at Sewing Street was a 680 plus. It is John Scott sewing machine. It's one of our absolute favorite. It comes with an amazing range of features and feet and functions. It's a big machine. It's a lot bigger machine than the 550, 560, 570. Um, it serves a different purpose, but those of you who have got a bit more space maybe for sewing, maybe you're looking for that ultimate machine that you, you sew every single day or you're now sewing for a living, for a profession, and you want to be able to have something a little bit bigger, one with more stitches. I mean, look, the stitch chart is huge. You have got loads of stitches and alphabets. It is really, really, really special. Plus, you've also got a straight stitch needle plate as well that's included. So you can do perfect quarter of an inch stitches. Right. Tomorrow, what we won't have with this machine is £50 credited to your sewing machine, to your sewing street account. <laughs> You need to use the code sewing machine 50 when you check out, but you will get 50 pounds credited to your sewing street account. If you're purchasing, it says at the bottom there, offer lasts until midnight on the 17th of six, which is today. So if you do want any of those machines that you can see there, including the 720, um, the 680 that we're looking at right now, the 780 plus or the 580 plus, um, they are all available with £50 credit today. But th this 680 is one that we have done hours and hours of demos on in the past. Uh, I know that there's lots of videos on our YouTube channel if you want to go on. We are dipping in today just to round up the sewing machine week, just to remind you of split pay, to remind you that these deals are available at the moment. Split pay option this time has five, did that say? Five split pays. I don't think I've ever seen five split pays. 
Oh, see, that is so good. On special occasions, special days, every now and then, um, I'll team off with a five-way split pay. This is the special occasion. Uh, to be able to get, it with interest-free, five split payments, you don't need to wait until you've paid off. You don't need to wait five months to get this machine. You will get it after you've paid one payment of £240.80. I mean, that makes life so much easier, doesn't it? I know, look, we know it's an expensive sort of time at the moment and we're all sort of sit, counting our pennies, but if you are looking at upgrading your machine, if this is the machine you've always dreamed of, fingers crossed, that makes it more accessible because then 50 pounds credited to your account is gonna get you kits or is going to get you fabrics, is going to get you a, a lovely set of threads to get started, maybe some orofill. So that, that's gonna go a long, long way. But just being able to split those payments hopefully makes it manageable for everybody to get their dream machine. The, the easy touch screen, I mean, it's got a locking button, it's got um, your, your memory button, you've got your thread cutter, obviously, you've got your speed control. It's got so many incredible features and functions. It comes with an e-lift, it comes with an extension table, it comes with a walking foot. So if you're looking at the others and you're thinking there's a walking foot available um, with the others, this one does come free with a walking foot as standard uh, 1249 I understand it's a considered purchase but use those split pays as I said today is all about getting the most for your money on sewing uh, on, on sewing machines uh, now FIFO is an independent reviewer and so when you purchase something from us, you'll get an email in the, in the next couple of days. Um, and if you could leave us a review, it's brilliant because it is just, you know, a non-biased, independent, we can't control it, and they're always listed on our website. And we've had some really good FIFO reviews on this machine, actually. So, um, scared to use at first, but fantastic machine and easy to use. That's from a crafter in Greater Manchester. This is a machine that even I can use. I wouldn't, I'm no Stuart Hill, I'm no John Scott, but I absolutely love sewing, and I love something that I can just get on and sew with. And this is one of those machines, you can. Wow, it's an awesome machine. I love it, and all of the other features. So much quieter and sturdy than my other machine. Pauline, that's a really good point because when you start to think of about getting a big machine, you instantly think it's going to be a lot louder, um, it's going to be clunkier, and it's not. It's absolutely streamlined, seamless, and it's really quiet. Hence why you see this a lot on air because we can't have a really, really loud sewing machine on the telly, can we? So it's a really lovely, quiet machine. Uh, Margaret said, brilliant machine, appears to be worth every penny and still finding my way around it. This is it you could just get on and sew with it but then as you read through the manual and you want to learn to do different things um, of course you will then be able to uh, yeah expand your your sewing skills with it and learn along with it which I love you've even got things like look a circular pivoting pin in there to do quilting circles it's so cool there are so many really cool uh, features and feet that come with it um, which I would think, right, I'm really daunted by that. I don't have a clue how you'd use that, but you can learn along with it. So here are some of the key features. So it has 170 stitches, 10 buttonholes. It's got superior needle threader in there as well, superior needle threader. Um, it's also got your maximum sewing speed of up to 1,000 stitches per minute, which is speedy, speedy sewing. Um, it's got a free arm. It's got an, uh, an automatic and programmable thread cutter. So you can absolutely, like with the others, you can cut your thread um, at any point if you if you want it to, to cut your thread at the end of every stitch sequence you can. You've got your pressure, no, sorry, presser foot pressure adjustment. So if you're working with something like um, a velvet or something that's got a pile to it and you don't want to, 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 to crush that pile, then of course you can adjust your foot pressure. It's got an easy guided bobbin threader with built-in thread cutter. It's got your bobbin thread and upper thread sensors it's got your extra wide table that comes with it as standard as well all 1249 pounds that's just some of the features obviously this is a machine that is a, a really professional high grade machine that lots of people who sew for a living absolutely love it's a workhorse a real workhorse um what's that Remember, if you are shopping today, it's the £50 voucher with the code, with the code Sewing Machine 50 and that five-way split pay. That is brilliant, isn't it? 
It also comes with a two-year warranty uh, through Elna. Uh, it will come directly from Elna, but it will come with our posting packaging. If you've bought anything already today, you've paid your P&P. You've paid your P&P, you're going to get the P&P on this for free. That's crazy, isn't it? Uh, one P&P all day long, just £3.95. If you prefer to speak to somebody on the phone line, of course, you can still use the code. Just tell the customer service team you want to use the sewing machine code, sewing machine 50, and they'll be able to do, they'll be able to credit 50 pounds to your Sewing Street account, which is brilliant, isn't it? It is um, the last day to use that code sewing machine 50, and that's on the 580, the 680 plus, the 720 Pro, or the 780 plus. Um, so that's the 680 plus. Uh, what's that? Sorry, Delphine's machine. This is Delphine's machine. Excuse me. Right. This is the 720 Pro. Absolutely love it. It looks more industrial. If I'm honest, when I first saw this machine, I thought, oh, I'm scared of that. There's too many different dials and uh, uh, knobs. But actually, it's really user-friendly. What I love about it is it's got this really solid metal base. So it is a workhorse. Lots of industrial features that um, they have now transferred to their domestic machines. So you've got this huge, the first thing you notice is this really huge workspace. Um, the metal chassis, you've got that really, really lovely, clear LCD screen. There's no free arm function on this machine because it has got that metal base uh, and because it's based on an industrial design, but it does come as well with an extension table. So Delphine absolutely loves this for her free motion project. She says it's absolutely amazing. She says it sews like a dream. And you'll see this on air with Delphine all the time. I mean, she purchased this machine. It's absolutely brilliant. It comes with your stitch chart, which there's also a slot at the top there. Um, that's double-sided. So you've got your alphabets and all of your stitches. And then that can also just be stored away behind your machine when you're not using it. Uh, it's 1,799. So it is slightly, again, more expensive. But we've also got it on five-way split pay again. £359.80 and that is five split payments today um, of course still covered under the same P&P &P, but also it is um, only available today with your £50 credit using the code so machine 50 so this is one of those machines don't get me wrong if you've never heard it before or never seen it before I don't know whether that £50 credit will sway your decision but if you have loved this machine if you've been watching Delphine's projects if you've been a big fan of Baffer as well Becky Alexandra Frost she had this machine for years and years and absolutely loved it and now has the 780 she's still got this machine but she's now got the 780 as well so it's one of those it is one of those machines that for bag makers for quilters because of that extra sewing space it is brilliant for, for somebody who um, does a lot of sewing. I wouldn't necessarily say that this is very portable. That's the only thing. Because it's got that real metal base, I mean, I'm struggling to even list it, lift it. It is a real sort of workhorse and solid base. No extra postage, even for that solid base. I mean, that is absolutely huge. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's not going to get. Uh, it's not going to get delivered, and it's going to have to live on your doorstep. Uh, it, you, you've got a handle at the top there, and you would be able to, with some, with some help from somebody, it's movable. But I wouldn't have this as, as a machine if you have to move it every day. I'd have this as a designated sewing space setup, and I think that looks really nice if you've got the space to be able to do it it looks so professional well it is to have it set up all the time ready to sew uh, you can really you know completely uh, personalize it to to however you want to use it and it's there set up ready to go every time uh, no faff with it i think sometimes if you've got something like, I know a lot of people who, for example, have got an overlocker, which I'll talk to you about in a moment, but a lot of people have got an overlocker who they've kept in the box, so they've said, I haven't really got it out yet, I'm a bit scared of using it. And that puts you off using it if you keep it in the box, doesn't it? If it's out and it's there and it's ready and it's ready to use, then you go for it, you go for it. Um, <laughs> Hannah's saying, I never use my blender because it's in the cupboard. If your blender was out, you'd probably make smoothies more, wouldn't you? Rather than buying smoothies, but you think, I actually avoiding things that need to be blended because I can't get it out of the cupboard. I'm the same, I bought an air fryer and it's now in the garage and I think, oh, I want to use my air fryer, but it's, I need to go into the garage, get it out, plug it in, I'll just use the oven. But I need to start using the air fryer because it's healthy, isn't it? 
they are good. They are good. They are good. I'm not selling air fryers today. I'm selling sew machines today, but the air fryers are also very good. 1,799 for your 720 Pro. Quick reminder, use the code sewingmachine50. Use the code and you will get £50 credited to your account. The only problem is it's only for today. It is only while stocks last or till midnight tonight. Um, FIFO review on the 720. What a fabulous machine. The best money I've ever spent. Worth every penny. I love it. Uh, Jane, thank you. We didn't pay Jane to say that. We don't know Jane. Jane's bought the machine from us. We've asked her to do a review and she's done a review. She could have put anything. And she absolutely loves it. She says worth every penny. I understand it's a more considered purchase, but I mean, Delphine says exactly the same. Solid base, easy to understand dials and function keys, smooth when sewing, love the needle drop and scissor functions. There you go. Thank you, Diane. We've got three reviews for this machine. You know, not everybody reviews everything, do they? It's your choice if you choose to review. Every single one of those is really positive. I've shown all the reviews that I've got for this machine. Great machine, can't rate it highly enough. It is amazing from Jacqueline as well. Do you know when you look at TripAdvisor or do you know when you're making a review? I mean, I'm, I'm a bit guilty of this. Sometimes, I know this is really bad and I, sh I should actually change my mindset because quite often the bad reviews are always the ones that sort of stick in my mind as well. Um, but you always, if I think I really enjoyed going somewhere, I won't think, oh, I should do a review and I, I never always get round to it. But if something really annoys me or something I don't like, then you <laughs> I'll review it. Everybody who has reviewed this machine has left a really positive review, which I absolutely love. Brilliant. Um, 1,799. Well, that's the, that's the, that's it. We should start reviewing more things, shouldn't we, Hannah? Maybe that could be our thing. We could do a YouTube channel of reviewing everything. We could review everything, couldn't we? From dining out, to sewing machines, to blenders, to shoes, air fryers, jewellery. Yeah, we could do it all. Sewing machines, obviously. People. People. Um, so, yes. That's the 720 Pro. Use the code only for today. Right. There have been a few people asking about overlockers. Come on over with me, sorry. I'm coming back over to here, I think. Um, I think I'm over here. I'm kind of in the middle. Uh, so, this is your Elna air, uh, air threading overlocker, which, oh gosh, anybody who is a bit scared, threading the lower looper on a, an, a, an overlocker and that puts you off get this machine yes it, it is considered but for the 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 lack of the faff of trying to re-thread your overlocker this is a game changer uh, do you know what i think it was rebecca harrison that absolutely loved that it comes with a little uh, sort of gubbins box that you can keep all of your your loose ends that get cut off and then if i open this out you can see here, there are two holes at the top. That's where you put your thread. You literally then pump it here, pump it up, pump it up. And then that will shoot your threads across here through the lower looper and thread it up for you. It is brilliant. There are loads of videos on YouTube. We've done demonstrations on the show before. Um, it's an Eleanor brand as well. And if you want that real professional finish, if you want to take your, your dressmaking journey to a whole new level, Definitely get yourself an Elna overlocker. Uh, there are two options in terms of freebies. So we haven't just given you a freebie, we've given you an option. Would you prefer a piping foot? So if you want to do beautiful cushions that have got that piped finish. Janome Arauna, so obviously we talk about using the same feet with the same brands. Um, it means that you could pipe with your overlocker. I mean, that is brilliant, isn't it? That would normally be an extra £42. Today it's £1,059 with your free £42 uh, foot as well. And remember your split pay. Are we doing it on five split pays again? Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. £211.80 for five, uh, five split payments. Remember, you'll get it home after your first payment. And it is a brilliant overlocker. I actually spoke to a dressmaker who said, 
I said, when, it was, I think it was Adele, I said, when would you advise getting an overlocker's dressmaker? And she said, at the start, get one at the start. It's, it's you need one, really. I, oh, it was Rebecca Harrison. They are absolute game changers when you're working with stretch fabric. Your other choice of foot is your blind stitch foot. Um, so if you do want the blind stitch foot, then you've got that at £1,059. I'm so sorry that we're going quite quickly through these, but we have spotted the time. So if you've got any questions, the, co the call centre are here 24 hours. They're here till midnight tonight until this offer ends. So absolutely speak to the team and ask them um, availability and any questions that you have as well. There are some other offers on overlockers that are available as well. In fact, we haven't had a chance to show you all the sewing machines that are on offer. They will all be underneath us on the website. Uh, remember, the ones with the £50 credit are the ones that we've just listed. The, the eight, it's 680, the 580 plus, the 720 pro and the 780 plus as well. They all need the code sewing machine 50 to be able to get £50 credited to your account. We're just running the graphics through now so they'll all appear underneath us. Um, the overlocker comes with whichever foot you want remember to, to choose the right item code they're two different codes you see so choose the right item code for the foot that you want and then we've also got the elners don't forget that come with the free walking feet as well um, the graphics now at the moment is the overlooking pro there it is that comes with the piping foot um, uh, we did also talk about those series of, of machines that come with the walking foots. Thank you, Hannah. She's just making sure all the graphics are now underneath us on the web before we lose you to Hobby Maker. Um, do you know what's on tomorrow? It is John Scott's birthday. I don't know whether you've heard. He's quite subtle with it. He doesn't like people to know it's his birthday. Um, it's a very special show. Look at all of your PowerPoint. You've done it again. Hannah, happy birthday, John Scott, at 8 o'clock. We're just going to read out lots of messages. The Buddha wall hanging is epic. I saw it the other day after uh, Delphine's spin class. She showed it me. It is amazing. At 10 o'clock, the trio of storage boxes with Amber makes. Of course, Rebecca Reed's going to be live in the studio as well. 12 o'clock. Delphine's going to be on with kings and prawns and pawns, not prawns, king prawns, with a king prawn quilt at 11 o'clock. Oh, hilarious. No, it's Tula Pink's kings and pawns quilt with Delphine. Well, that's going to be nice. That is going to be nice. New Tula Pink quilt. Very exciting. And then... In ju adjuster forms introductory offers sounds interesting make sure you join of course you will be there live at 8 a.m tomorrow um just so you know tomorrow at 7 30 hannah will be loading everything onto pre-order you know what it's going to be like it's going to be manic at eight o'clock with messages and everything so yeah please do make sure you get ahead at half seven and look on pre-order hobby makers about to join you with oh i've just seen Anne marie from hunky dory eagerly awaiting in the wings she is so lo lovely and she's got amazing brand new craft pads coming up you've then got tony from wild spider designs if you haven't checked out the sticky roll you'll love that moonstone dies with Anne marie of hunky dory more from tony at spider designs and then concept cards with hunky dory at five um i will see you next week at some time happy birthday john scott we'll see you at half seven eight o'clock tomorrow morning bye <laughs>